morning, morning, morning. I, had to wait. I was waiting for it to come up then. It doesn't come up there because it's broken, isn't it? How is everybody this morning? Now, if you don't need to go out today, do not go out. My journey home last night was terrifying. The floods and everything going through. Well, it took me on a detour and then through Studley and everywhere like that. It was terrifying. There was one point when I turned down the road and there were all these white vans and all these men just in their pants and everything. And I was like, what's going on here? Anyway, when I got there, the, the, they'd all got stuck in the floods and the tr farmer was using his tractor to pull all the vans out of the flood. Oh, it was terrifying. It was horrible. Went around the corner to Wotton Wall and you wouldn't even know it'd been raining. Anyway, so don't go anywhere. Stay in. Stay in. Do not go out. Do not go out today. Stay in with us all day today. Shall we do today the early bird? Here it is. Tweet, 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 tweet. Here it is. Now, these are gorgeous. These are gorgeous. Look. There are five magnetic needle minders. Five, you get all five of them. Now, on a normal day, they would cost you £19.99. Not today. Early bird price. £12.99. £12.99. I know, I know. They're brilliant as gifts. Right, one, two, three, four, five. Five into £12.99 goes, what, £2? Not even £3 each, is it? Not even £3 each. Now, if you want to put them on a chain or a ribbon, look, you can do, because there's a little loop. I'll show you, actually. Oh, hang on. What was going on then, Charlie? No, push in on these. Look, because they've got a little loop and obviously you can put a ribbon through them as well. Uh, I'll just uh, yeah, wear, wear them as a little necklace or a thong. But now let's have a look at here. Let's see. Look, you see, now I don't think a phone charm would work, would it? Because it's magnetic, isn't it? Unless you tied it on there. But then you don't want a magnet so close to your phone, do you? I don't know. Anyway, look, aren't they gorgeous? Um, five, you get five of them for £12.99. Should be nineteen ninety nine. Brilliant, aren't they? Now, they have got magnets in, so obviously, if you're going to put them on your embroidery or your work or something like that, they're fine. If you're going to put them on you, because you could do this, if you want to, look, hang on. Look. Yeah, now, don't do that if you've got a pacemaker or if you've got a... What was the other thing called? LCD? What was the other thing called? Anyway, you know, if you've got one, you'll know about it, won't you? Aren't they lovely? So it's a magnet on one side and then the metal... Well, there's a magnet on both sides, obviously, to make it magnetic like that. Uh, so let's have a look at them. So you've got the cat. What, well, what you do is, when, you've, when you're doing your embroidery uh, and you've got your embroidery there and you, and you are out cross-stitch and you're doing several, several colours at a time, when you're not using the red, you keep it parked. That's on your ADA or your linen. You put your needle on there so it keeps it safe. So you can have up to five different colours on the go at the same time. So you've got your lovely embroidered black cat there. Or is it a, br a brocade, I'd say, a brocade black cat. Strawberry, have them for different seasons, can't you? Cupcake. Uh, singer sewing machine, oh, I can't say singer. Uh, old fashioned sewing machine. Are you all right over there, Joe Carter? And then you've also got your rainbow as well. 12 pounds and 99 pence. Now check out, check out, check out. Check out, check out. Make sure you check out on these. Tell your friends about it. Make sure you come in and buy those. I will remind you about these in the last hour. Well, in the fabric hour and the last hour, because I think they're a really good buy, these. Okay, Ben likes the cat best. Uh, I like the rainbow. Levi, what do you like best? Um, uh, strawberry. The strawberry. Joe Carter. Cupcake, strawberry, cat, sewing machine, or rainbow? Um, cat. Cat. Charlie? Sewing so machine, Charlie. Uh, morning, John, you're looking gorgeous. Uh, now, Paula, it's very kind to say that, but apparently I'm blurred. If you read everything on Facebook, I'm blurred. But that will change soon because very soon will be HD and then you'll be seeing every, you'll be moaning that you can see every pore in my skin by then. Uh, then, uh, let's have a look. Uh, morning, John, how are you? I'm good, thanks, Vian. How are you? How oh, now you've all got uh, COVID, haven't you, in your house? Hope you're all well. Uh, Lynn Tewitt says, morning, John and crew. Looking forward to seeing Joe Carter. She's over there, ready. She's ready. I couldn't resist and I've ordered Cora already. Brilliant, brilliant. Judith says, good morning. Good morning, Judith. Right. Oh, a different... What's that? What's, what's the letter of it then? Is it a message or are you just reading it out? Okay. Right, let's see what happens. So there it is. Morning, John. It's a defibrillator. Oh, now, Ben, for it to go on my big screen, you can't use your... That you have to use that. No, it's not done it. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. 
I can read that because I've got the big screen now. But yesterday I was having trouble because I hadn't got the big screen. No, I've still got, on my top screen, I've still got Magnetic Needle Mind, a pack of five. And on my bottom screen, I've got what you put on it for me. But I can read the messages because it's big. Yeah, never mind, we'll try again later. 12.99, keep going through loads here. There, you're loving these. Uh, Margaret says, morning, John and team. Good morning, Mari. Uh, good morning, best boy from a damp Islington. Not as bad as people up north. No, exactly. Anne says, morning, blurry, but still gorgeous. Trudel says, morning, John and team. Loving your shirt. Uh, Laurie, morning, John. Love to have you with us. <laughs> Thank you, Laurie. Uh, looking forward to seeing Joe with that elephant. Have you, uh, Laurie, have you bought it yet? Have you bought it on pre-order yet? Right. Let's have a look at today's menu. These, uh, Le Levi, these need to go on. 10 o'clock and 12 o'clock, Trolley. Here's the menu. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, we'll do menu, but I wasn't going to do that first. But here you go, menu. Let Safari with Joe Carty. Now, if you think a sloth is on Safari... Oh, I didn't see that happen. I don't want that. I definitely don't want that, though. Never, ever want that, no. Uh, the Avenir Jumpsuit Pattern by the Friday Pattern Company with Adele at 9 o'clock. Perfect pre-cuts at 10 o'clock. Austin Dress Pattern by Grainline Studio with Adele Rowland. And then overlockers and tools. At oh, actually, it's a little bit different. So 11 o'clock, half an hour of it is the Austin dress pattern and half an hour of it is the 664 and 664 Pro because um, Adele's a whiz on those. And then the last hour, I'm doing the air threader and tools and things like that. Before we go to how to get in touch, I've got two slides that I need to show you. Oh, there you go. Morning, John. It's a defibrillator. I've got it now. Thank you. Fiona in Devon. Thank you. That's just come up. Right. OK, so the two slides I've got to show you are these. Which one's first, Charlie? Advent calendar. Is that it? <laughs> Apparently there's a whole advert coming on Monday. I put a bit of a spanner in the works because whilst I was away, Alan, who makes the videos, messaged me and said, oh, now what day are we coming to your house? And I was like, well, I'm in London. He said, oh, we've got to do the promo for the advent calendar. And I went, oh, well, send me the script and I'll learn it. And then I'll, you know, he went, oh, no, you're not in it. And I was like, but you come to my house. He went, yeah, we only want your house. So I said, I've got a fee. No fee. Well, I'm not coming back from London then. So I don't know where they filmed it and whose house it was filmed in, but it's coming on Monday. The advert's coming on Monday. Uh, and the other slide is this one. Very important. If you entered the Crafters Companion competition, the winner is Moira Rice. Mo now, I've got no idea, Moira, what the competition was. I've got no idea what you've won because we've got no information at all. All we know is your name. Right, there are three ways to get in touch. The first way is by email. There we go, studio at sewingstreet.com, studio at sewingstreet.com. The second one is by Facebook Live, which is the one that I was just reading out. Uh, there it is. Then the third one is you go to the website, www.sewingstreet.com. At, at Levi, we need that big screen twisting around to us, please. Uh, uh, and then you get to the website, uh, you click on watch the show live either on the big telly or big screen or up in the top right hand corner. See the right hand side, there's a white box there where you can write your message and they're the ones that come on the bottom later. Then, no, we need to, oh, sorry. Then here is everything, everything that's coming up today. There will be two columns in a second. One is pre-order and one, uh, no, one is things you've seen already and one is pre-order. So where's Cora? There she is. There she is, Cora. Beautiful, beautiful. Brand new today. Brand spanking new today. Uh, that's Cora coming up there. So that's Joe Carter. She's here for the first hour. Then Adele is doing a jumpsuit. Where is it now? It goes from, oh, goes from extra small to 7XL. She, oh, now, I don't know if we know this, Charlie, but she's going to be modelling it at some point. So she'll need to step out and be modelled. Uh, then we've got pre-cuts, perfect pre-cuts. Gorgeous. Now, the only two we haven't got, but you can still buy them, are that fat quarter bundle there of the Indian summer. We've, in the move, we don't know what happened to that. And all the others are still available. Gorgeous. Then, oh, we're still pre-cuts, still on pre-cuts. Loads of them in that hour. Then, that night, half an hour, Austin dress, Austin dress for half an hour, sizes 14 to 30. They're American sizes, I think. Uh, actually, it comes in two different sizes, that 14 to 30, and keep going. There you go. Eight, not to 18, American sizes, American sizes. 
Lance Fabrics, then we've got the overlockers. Adele's going to be doing the overlockers. Those two. When we got, then the last hour is books, comics boards, replacement blades, everything you want. Uh, iron, uh, the air threader. I'm doing the air threader there. Oh, now, now, are we still on the deal? Oh, it's the last day of the deal today. Last day of the deal. Oh, I'll tell you why I haven't checked. I will try and check those um, overlocking needles. I completely forgot about that. I'll get them. I'll get Levi to get them out for me. Uh, we've got the threads. We've got everything there. A dark who's book from yesterday. Lotta Jan Dotter's Everyday Patterns book. Then we've got Tilly and the Buttons pattern book there. Got a lot of pattern books, haven't we? Then what else have we got there? Clips. And that's it. Oh, the massive clips there. We don't have those in very often. We don't get those in very often. You get 20 for 12 99 They're the long ones. I'll show you them at 12 o'clock. Right. Joe Carter said, oh, we haven't padded this one up either. No, I'm still cutting my head off. Anyway, Joe Carter. Good morning. Lovely to see you, Good as always. You. Have you got enough room there? I'm well. Okay. Um, Look at the shop. Look at the shop. Look at the safari. Look at the safari. Right. It's important that I introduce. I'm going to get on straight away with it, and then we can chat if that's all right. Yep. Check out, check out, check out on your Cora. Check out on your Cora. Isn't she gorgeous? Now, I did ask on the Facebook Live I did this morning, why Cora? Um, my sister, who has not named one yet, she came up with the name Cora. And I thought... Um, because normally there's a reasoning behind it, isn't there? No, I'm running out of reasons now. OK, <laughs> yeah. so just the sister. Just the sister <laughs> named this one. Anyway, £29.99. £29.99. They get everything you need apart from the stuffing. Yes. So everything is in this box. And they're so beautifully, beautifully packed with... Look at the little hands. What do you call those bits there? Well, I call them toes. Toes. <laughs> I don't know. I wonder what they have. They just they have elephants, have special names. Be look, 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 look. Confident beginner, you can make this. Confident beginner, love little tail. When we went to um, Alex's birthday party at the zoo, he was allowed to wash an elephant. That was beautiful. Ooh. You can pay to wash an elephant. The elephant was like, oh, again. It takes a while. Isn't lumbering it? out, and you have a great big power hose. And it goes like this, and it turns around like that. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Oh, they're called toes. They are, they called, are toes. called toes. Oh, well. Oh, each, each elephant on each foot has five toes. Okay. Isn't that funny? Because I would think it was a three, but not everyone has a nail. So yours have just got three nails. Anyway, should we look in the box? Right, here we go. So, inside the box, you do get... Your instructions, very, very, very thorough instructions, look. Oh, I haven't got any, I can't go any further. Oh, this, a new studio and it's, can't even use the overhead, it's getting me angry now. 29.99, so you get the instructions, right, look. Beautiful. I thought the whole idea of having that one is it just could move where you wanted it to move. No, no reply. Cora Elephant, beautiful. Then inside the box, we get... Oh, now, what's this? That is Cuddle Soft Solid. So that, it's really velvety. And then that's a bit f more, more, more furry, that one, isn't it? That's his tail. Oh, oh tail. and then the white one? Toes. Toes. Pink one. Inside the ears. Is. Eyes. Now, we do say if you're going to give it to a child of under three, don't put those eyes in. But look, you also get this. Oh, can't say that way. Also get this. Ooh, there you go. Beautiful. Now, when you get your parcel... Oh, quarter of the stock's gone already. Quarter of the stock has gone already. How long have been on it? Minutes. Minutes and quarter of the stock's gone. Two minutes and 33 seconds. So, quarter of the stock. Well done, Joe. Thank you. Have you warned the post office? You'll be coming on Monday with all these. Um, I, I gently let them know on Saturday, um, Friday morning. OK, right. Now, what I'm trying to say to you is they come direct from Joe. They come in a big envelope. Is that right? Yep. This comes in the envelope. This... Won't be inside your box. It'll also be in your envelope. I don't want yeah. you opening your envelope, throwing it away and going, oh, where's my badge? It's only because we can't put it in there. I don't know why we don't put it in there, but it's, it's separate anyway. Something we have to do. Uh, anyway, that's your kit for £29.99. £29.99. We love it. Brand new today. Cora the elephant. Cora the elephant. Now, I'll just introduce you to the other three animals I've got here on the safari. It's National Sloth Day and every safari you go on, you see a Godfrey, don't you? So this is Godfrey. Now, he was named Godfrey after Dad's Army, the slow one in Dad's Army, because sloths are slow. Yes, my son got really into Dad's Army at one point. <laughs> so, Which yeah. one, the oldest one or the youngest one? The youngest one. Oh, OK. Mm. Is he into it now? No, 
Well, less so now. What now? What's his What's his foible now? Then what's he like? Um, now? He's a big Spider Man sort of fan. As in, he likes spiders or Spider Man. Oh. Like, choo, choo, choo. No, he really doesn't like spiders, but he does like the. Choo, choo, choo. How weird. Mm. Anyway, uh, uh, he's gorgeous. Go twenty nine ninety nine. Now these are limited. These are limited. Okay. Okay, so please be careful. 10 percent has gone already and I've only just shown you to him. Beautiful, beautiful. It's just gorgeous, isn't it? Look. Uh, just standing right in the box of this one, of Godfrey, is, I have to do it here, you get your instructions. Godfrey Sloth. Again, I'll just flick through this, but the, the instructions, all of Joe's patterns, right? You get so much. You get photographs, you get drawings, you get writing, you get all the pattern. But look at that. How to do every single bit of it, and the pattern pieces, and the grain of the fabric, and everything like that. Little tips and darts, and everything there. Inside, oh, you get lots of this one. There's your badge. You get your Godfrey badge. Then you get, now, what's this one? That is. She's thinking. The fabric tag is called Heather, um, but it's, it's got it's like a two tone it's feel, two -tone and it's a bit so text, soft. Yeah, text. Now, are well. they difficult to work with, the fabrics? Um, there are some tips to, to make them a bit easier. I would use, for this one, I would use a walking foot. Okay. Um, which really just stops them slipping. Yeah. Any seams that are a bit tricky, just tack together by hand first and then sew over the top by really, Which is what we always did anyway in the old, old fashioned days. Uh, uh, stripes in the face, hang on. So I've got nose, stripe on the face, face, hands and body, little tail, uh, badge, instructions, and embroidery thread for your face. So everything, again, everything in there, apart from the toy stuffing that you could want. Yes, yeah. Brilliant, that's lovely. Right, let's then move on to... Oh, sorry. That's his hand in the box then. Let's then move on to Hugo the Giraffe, who we love. Hugo's very popular on pre-order. Now, I have to, I've got an admission to make. We've got a Hugo somewhere in the building, but we can't find him. So... Joe had to make us another really quick one <laughs> this morning. So she sewed this together in prep this morning. Shows how easy it is, doesn't it? Now, any tips on the neck on this one? Um, only because it's a long seam, a walking foot works well. Sometimes my mum, if she doesn't put the walking foot on, she'll do half the seam, start in the middle. Right. Just to stop it slipping too much. Right. So one side at a time. So you can do that. And what about stuffing it? Do a toilet roll holder in there. No, 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 it's all just stuffing. Oh, wow. But the opening's in the base, so it right. makes it easier to get pack right up. the neck and then make sure that it will lie down. Or... Brilliant. So this is Hugo the giraffe. Here he is. So, badge, instructions, pattern, fabric. Oh, look, it's proper giraffe fabric. So did he come first, or did you see the fabric and go, I'll do a giraffe? I saw the fabric and yeah, yeah. beautiful a Hugo because he's huge. I can't remember why he's Hugo. Honestly, you need to write this. I know, down. I know. Now you're getting on a bit. You know. Okay. We were saying this morning, Joe's oldest since at sixth form college now, yeah. isn't he? I said that must be terrifying. Then, last but not least, we've got Mortimer the monkey. Twenty nine ninety nine. Look, 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 look. Oh, now it's a funny little kink in the tail though. Is that meant to be like that? Yeah, it's. It's brilliant. Yes, it's <laughs> yes, it's meant to be kinky at the end of the tail there. How gorgeous. Oh, and there's a bit of um one touch fasting. On there. Uh beautiful. Joe Carter's Mortimer Monkey. Where's the box for that? Then that's here. There you go. So we've got monkey badge. Uh instructions. And then all your oh, that's gorgeous. That's not the rose one, is it? Bo Bear's the rose one, isn't it? That's, yeah, that's um, marble. Marble. All these different... Who thought... Who would have known there were so many different choices of, like, faux fur to use for all these gorgeous animals? Now, we do also have Bo Bear, but we don't have the kit and we don't have him here, but he is available, isn't he? Put the graphic through and we'll show you a picture of him. Yeah, we'll show you the web image of him. There's only three Bo Bears left. There's only three. Now, do I get the... Do I get the bow... Bow. The bow fabric's in there. And, so you, and, and the instructions for the bow, are they in there? Yes. Not bow the bear, the bow round bear, bow's neck. Uh, bow the bear and bow the bow. Yes. Yeah. Right, OK then. Right, uh, the, I'll just show you two other things available in this hour. We do have uh, toy stuffing. 
I have to do this because Ben punched it earlier, look. Uh, he says a fit of masculine rage. I said peak. <laughs> 4 99 recyc It's recycled toy stuff in this one. Yes. What it was, he was on the desk like that, and he went, oh, that looks a bit... And he just went like that, and he went... Poof. And then he went, oh, no. Anyway, 4 99 The other thing... The other thing I've got is some toy, do they're called doll needles because you often do a little bit of um, face sculpturing, don't yes, you? Yes, and this one has. Okay, and you want a slightly longer needle to just go through the fabric. So these are brilliant. They're only £1.49. Add them to your order. Right, okay, make me a Cora then. Okay. Should I put Cora over there? Yeah, thank you. Oh, right, where do we start then? Start with the wrinkles on the trunk. I know I'm putting Pardon? I'm putting in wrinkles. Oh, so he's not a bow she's not a Botox Cora then. She's not, no. Um the templates for the um trunk, there's a upper trunk and a lower trunk. Um they need to be bending in opposite directions to work together. And on the template it says template this way up. But if you accidentally have it the other way up, as long as you cut the other one facing the opposite direction, yeah. it'll be fine and the trunk will just face the other way. So this is the yeah. upper trunk piece. Am I in the right place? And there are lines on the trunk mm -hmm. that um, we sew over. So I'll do one on here. And I start at one side, sew across, sew back, sew one more time. So they're three. So if I flip it over. And what, because the fabric's stretchy, it just holds that little bit. It gives the look of a wrinkle, but it holds yeah. the stretch from stretching. And you do them in black, do you? Well, in that one, I did it in dark grey. Oh, right. I did this one in black just so it would show up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. So, so it's just a straight line? It's just a straight line. So I don't even um, sew over the first few stitches. I just go straight across and then stop at the other end and then just pivot round. And go back over it again. And go back over it. And how many times did you do it? Just twice? Three times. Oh, three times. Three times a lady. Three times, indeed. And then, so when I get back to this side, I will reverse over the last couple of stitches. Oh, okay. So it's white thread underneath. So if you wanted them to be more subtle. Did you not check the machine before you started then? Um, I did. And I thought, I don't have time to find a matching bob in front underneath. <laughs> You've been there for hours. I, <laughs> it's just a very early start. I know. Did you set off this morning? <laughs> yeah. What time did you leave the house? I left the house at 10 past five. Well, I leave my house at half past five. Well, I... Every day. Okay, well... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I haven't got two kids to look after and a husband. I haven't got an answer for that, really. No. Um, I yeah, it looks nice. Uh, thanks. What colour is it? What colour did you do it this month? Um, it's supposed to be natural golden brown, but it's just brown, isn't it? There's nothing no, no, golden. No, 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 it's got a, t it's got a um, sheen to it. Yeah, I wouldn't say it was golden. No. Then it's lovely. And it's a nice length for you, that. I like that length on you. All right, so we've done the three wrinkles. Three wrinkles. Yeah. And then at the top of the um, trunk, there's a very small dart. So right. I'll just close that now as well. Are these all the bits for the whole elephant on the desk here? Have you got more? This is just the head. Oh, I was going to say this. There doesn't seem to be very many bits on the table. Marcia, good morning, lovely John and team. Could you please say happy birthday to Mike Ewan? He's 53. Oh, Ewan, 53. Now, you know Marcia, you know Marcia from Brazil, right? So she's lost loads, loads of weight. She's been in all the newspapers and everything because she's, um, she won't mind me saying, she had type 2 diabetes, she went on the sugar-free diet, she lost lots of weight. Anyway, Ewan, her husband, the first time I met Ewan, it was at Festival of Quilts and he went, you're the bane of my life, you are. You're never off my telly. And I was like, oh, thank you for that. <laughs> you feel special. Anyway, he's a lovely man. He's a and he did me a, a drawing of my face for my 60th birthday. So it's up on the wall in my office sort of thing. So happy birthday. I didn't know you were that old. 53, eh? 53. Kate says, only one bad day Wednesday. Oh, hang on. What's that got to do with I don't know what that's... Do. Jan says, uh, safe journey to Kate. Where's she going? Uh, she's coming back from her holidays. Uh, and... Uh, She's 55. She's had her 55th birthday this week. I'm a bit confused with those messages that have gone all over the place. Right, so carry on. Am I allowed to go and get some scissors off the wall? Uh, you can get scissors off the wall. Or, oh, yeah, well, then I don't know how sharp they are. Just try. I don't know if they're... Let's there have a go. go. If they're not, I've got, I'll get sharp ones from over there. But these are just stunt scissors for the uh, wall. Well, we don't know. But we're not allowed to... Levi goes, Levi! I've moved the pink scissors off the wall. He normally, he normally takes a picture of the wall where I've taken something off. 
right? And then so he knows what goes back there later. Pink scissors here are here. I'll put them back. Yeah. I should. Yeah. No, don't you don't get the wrath of leaving. <laughs> um, so are they sharp this is the, they are, they're okay. really sharp. This is the face piece and the trunk is going to fit around this curve here. Right. But to make it slightly easier, just clip into the curve at regular intervals, not quite oh, as they deep. Are sharp, aren't they? they are, aren't they good? Not quite as deep as the seam. Oh, I know which ones these were the other day. Right, so they come in a pack of two, right? And I looked at them and I thought, oh, pink, they're novelty scissors. They're not, they're Mundial scissors and they are so sharp. There's a big one and a small one. I don't know if we've got any left on the website because uh, we sold hundreds of them when I was in last week. Because I opened the packet and I went, oh, pink handles, they'll be novelty. They're not novelty at all. They're some of the sharpest scissors I've ever come across. They're really nice. Right. And so I'll remove that thread. Um, now I'm going to sew the top of the trunk around this curve. Right. And the easiest way to do this, I find, is to have the trunk on the bottom oh, okay. and just bring the cur this curve, now that it's clipped as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah, look how easy that goes around. Yeah, around yeah. So I'll do that. And everything's a quarter of an inch seam allowance, isn't it? Quarter inch, six millimetres, yes. All six millimetres. You've got well, all... well, we had this com whole conversation the other day about metric and imperial and everything. And it came in in 1965. And I was like, but why did we get taught inches at school? We didn't do centimetres at school. Well, I did centimetres at yeah, school. Yeah, you're a lot younger than me. I'm not a lot. <laughs> well, I think so. I think the first numbers are very different, aren't they? Um, yes. It depends how, <laughs> how you define difference. There we go. So I'm just going to bring it round and make sure the notch that marks the centre corresponds with that dart. And just go, don't pin it then, you're not pinning it. I never pin anything, okay. um, mainly because I just catch my fingers on them. This is very like when I love... Have you, ever, have you seen Lucy Brennan? Because don't you live near each other? Maybe. Well, I've oh. not seen her in a long time, but um, I'm optimistic I've seen her <laughs> at some point soon. You've done what? I'm optimistic about seeing her at some point soon, but oh. I've not seen her in a while. Well, no, no, because she does her, her, um, her what's-its like that, doesn't she? Her... Uh, Drunkard's Pathway, like that. Yes. Uh, you need to check out. Lots, you got it in your baskets. Check out, check out, check out. Right. So that's the upper upper trunk and the face. Yeah. And then the trunk underneath, there's this chin piece, and then the underside of the trunk just fits around that V there. Right. The right place. Uh, the pattern pieces, sorry, Joe, I'm just going to show somebody who hasn't seen one of your patterns before. They're not pre cut. Look, all the pattern pieces are here in your instructions so it's very very easy to follow how many you need which fabric they're out of and everything like that they're full size as well because and they're full I, size I just to copy them and make enlarging them yeah so in the middle of this it's a v-shaped seam and there's a pivot point in the middle just to make it easier okay so now is the pivot point marked on the pattern it is yes yeah. it's faded on my pieces though i don't think it shows up yeah So that's the underside of the trunk and then make a clip to the V just right. to give it a bit of freedom of movement. Yeah. And then we want to sew this piece, so the chin to the side of the face there and then bring the trunk around. Right. And the key thing to remember with this, I think, is as you sew up to this point here and this seam will correspond with this seam, so right. pause with the needle down, but make sure you well it's not slipped forward and you're not taking too small a seam allowance on the yeah. bottom side. I'll try and show. Why has that happened to you before? Yeah, I did it twice. Mm -hmm. And I thought, OK, that's the problem with this. Mm -hmm. Brand new today, Cora. This is what we're making, in case you didn't know. Isn't she beautiful? Look at those ears. Oh, I love the top bit. We'll come to the ears in a minute. Look at that. At twenty nine ninety nine, it's just adorable. I've got Hugo, Godfrey, and Mortimer in the studio as well. Um, now I had to remember; I couldn't remember the last one. Uh, Bo Bear will have sold. Oh, there's one Bo Bear left. There's one Bo Bear left. So you could tack. This is probably the trickiest seam in it because of the the trunk needs to match up. Yeah. And getting the curve in the right place. But just take it. Nice and slowly around the end of the trunk. I'll speed up actually because I'm running out of time. We're halfway through the hour. 
So again, as I come up this side, I want the seams to line up. So I'll finger press this one open as I get to it. Uh -huh. And just make sure they'll correspond. And then as a pivot, to bring it round and you can just make a couple of stitches just to free it up a little bit and then pull it the rest yeah. of the way. Yeah. Um, also, what I love about this fabric is that the side that you're sewing isn't fluffy or anything like that, so you can see your stitches. If you've got an issue, they're easy to unpick and everything like that, aren't they? It's, a, it's really great for marking out on yeah, as well. Yeah. It's a nice woven back. And if you think it's not quite going to fit, just give it a bit of a stretch. It, make the stretch work for you. Right. So that's the trunking. And then at this tight bend, just make a couple of clips yeah. in the seam allowance mm -hmm. and then just take a couple of um, v-shaped notches out at the end and I did a class last week and this was the thing that people found most helpful I do notches by cutting up one way and then just turning it round to cut the other side but apparently that was that was the best oh was that was best it well just shows what your classes offer. are like <laughs> <laughs> no. so that's the face close the dart at the top but I'll move on to the ears okay the ears I'll just give that shake yeah now when you do do this make sure you clean out your machine afterwards yes because joe will be cleaning this one out before she oh, leaves I today will. yes um it's quite satisfying as well getting the fluff out. it's quite satisfying getting the fluff out of it's like doing the, like your belly button well i was going to say the filter and the do you know what dryer. that doesn't happen anymore when i was little you'd always have fluff in your belly button i don't seem to ever have fluff in my belly button anymore well i like it oh no what is, like kids always used to have boils and things, didn't they, when I was a kid? And nobody has a boil anymore, do they? I've never had boils. OK. <laughs> maybe, maybe I just... just <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe in the, you know, Victorian England. Boils? Yeah, There's I guess something... it's very Victorian, it that. Is, it is. But, like, nobody... Yeah, OK, I'll stop now. Did you, uh, did you have boils when you were little? No, but I remember a friend had a boil. Oh, but we had chicken pox and measles, because we had chicken pox and measles at the same time. Mm. But um, we got some indoor fireworks, I remember that, because we were so poorly. Yeah. <laughs> indoor fireworks. Anyway. Um, this is the earpiece. Right. It looks a bit awkward. Yeah. But the And there's a notch on the template to make sure that this piece fits on the right way. Because right. Go on that way. Um, so that when this is sewn together, it's actually symmetrical. Right. But I'll sew this on. And again, it's easier to have this piece on top to sew. Like the drunkard's path sort of technique. Yeah. But none of, them, none of the curves are frightening curves, are they? They're all gentle curves. So it's not like, I hate it when you have to get a real, I don't want to say a right angle curve, but you know what I mean? Like a really yeah. sharp curve. That's always a bit frightening, isn't it? Whereas this is fine. Because the fabric has a little bit of stretch yeah. and um, clip and clipping it just makes a huge difference. So then if I turn it that way, you can see it makes oh, it symmetrical. Oh, I see. So yeah, that's not symmetrical to that, but the whole piece is then symmetrical. Once you fold it over. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that bit there is slightly bigger than that one. Yes. <clears throat> when you were saying together, I was thinking, how can that be symmetrical to that? But what you mean is the whole, if that was a unit, that's symmetrical, but yes. the pink is slightly smaller than the grey. It is, yeah. yep. So that you get this yes. Got top it now. bit of grey. Yep. And then once you've sewn them on, push the seam allowance up towards the grey right. and then sew along just above your seam just to hold that seam allowance in place because it just gives a little bit of detail. Actually through, oh, okay, actually through to the other side yeah. of the thing. So, so it's not like in dressmaking, it's not like, you're not understitching. No, this is, it just gives the, uh, a little bit of detail, yes. but it, it just thickens up that seam on yes. yeah, the yeah, side, yeah, yeah. which yeah. gives it a nice finish. So how is your mum? You mentioned her earlier. She's good. She's, yep. Yeah, she's decorating at the minute. Decorating? She doesn't stop. But she's not, I don't mean to be rude, but she knows to bring chicken, is she? She's up a ladder. <laughs> oh, I mean, I'm just glad she's up a ladder because sometimes she would just use a stool to reach heights. <laughs> she's lethal. You know, we had this place painted before we moved in it, right? And Munch, you know, little Munch from there. Yeah. He painted it and up there is as far as he could reach. He couldn't get any <laughs> higher. So if you, you can't see it at home because the cameras never go that high. But the paint stops at a certain point where Munch couldn't get any higher. Right, so. So that's the ear. Yeah to that point and then fold it over so that it's symmetrical and yeah. sew around um, the sides. Right. So it's folded on this edge. Mm -hmm. And then this, taper this to the fold and you'll get a rounder edge to the top of the ear. Right. If you just come straight off, it will give it a little bit of a all, corner. All of this is, is in the instructions though, isn't it? It is, yeah. 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 
I, when I sew it, I start from this edge, this bottom edge, and I like to finish on the fold. Yeah. Um, and there's a pivot point for the bottom of the ear. Just to and there's a point at the pivot point. And there's a dot on your pattern for the yep. pivot point. Uh, your fluff was probably from the fluffy blankets and windsiette sheets and vests we used to wear. Oh, Sue, so you could be right. Morning, John and Joe. Sorry I'm late. My brother was chatting to me from his, off sh his rig offshore. Oh, get you, Cheryl. Uh, to make sure we're okay. The rig has had a life raft swept away and they've lost one of their anchors. Oh, my word. Morning, John and Joe, says Heather. What a perfect start to my birthday with my two favourite people on TV. Happy birthday, Happy Heather. birthday. Um, right. Kat says, morning, John. And all at Sony Street. I'm having a sneaky watch fog off to paint princesses. Will they still be there in this weather? Pam Mini Harley says, good morning, John and Joe. Morning, everybody. No. So that's... I'll turn the page just so I make sure I'm actually... But look, every... I just put that into shot, right? Every single stage... There's a picture for, and there's writing for, and there's special notes drawn on as well. So you're never, ever, ever left on your own. Uh, now, if somebody buys this and they get stuck, are they able to contact you? Yes, just drop me a message. They, where? Facebook's quite good, or just email me through now, the website. Now, we've got two Facebooks, and it always confuses me. Which Facebook should I send it to? Probably Two Owls Design one, because that's the page I have on my so phone. So it's Joanna Carter, Two Owl Design, is that what it's called? Yes. Fine. I don't really use my personal one, if I'm honest. Oh, so I'll stop tagging you then, shall I? Well, no, I do check it. Although I had a friend saying, did you see that thing? I and I thought, no. I'm no. No, I no. don't see that at all. Uh, and have you got a website as well where we can contact you? Yes. Two Owls Design, all one word. Yeah. At um, .co.uk. Yeah, lovely. Um, clip, and it says in the pattern as well, clip okay. the tip. And then just clip a little V-shaped notch at the bottom. Oh. And then turn the oh. ear the right way. There's something wrong with the camera. Ben's having a play. You carry on. So just... There we go. So that's... And you want two mirror image ears. Of course, yeah. Ears. And then just Aww. face the end closed. Oh, so it's... I thought it was folded over, so, not, so it's not folded over. It's not folded, it's... Um, yes, it's sort of patched. Yeah. Pieced. I'm taking it off for clips. Um, so I'm, I'm muttering now yeah, as you well, are. aren't you? Yeah, sorry, yeah. sorry, sorry. It's a very early start. You've said that four I times know. so far. No. You're going to be home by what time? You'll leave it at 9, 10. And you'll stop at Stafford Services. Yes, yes. If it's not flooded. Oh. Well, because yeah. you have to do that, don't you? you go do. past the pond with yeah. the ducks on and everything. So since you mentioned it, every time I go up north, <laughs> I get there and think, oh, I'm going to stop this. And <laughs> then nice. I forget how far off the motorway it is. So it you, is quite a windy road. It's a windy road. Yeah. And then you think, oh, I should have just gone to one that you just pull off and it's there. Not, but it's always lovely to go in there anyway, isn't it? Right, so two ears done. Two ears done. Um, I'll close the dart at the top of the face quickly and yeah. then... What time um, is it? Oh, 38. We're all right. Yeah. No, we're doing it. We're doing it. And how many baskets? OK, almost half the stock. Once you've all checked out, it's gone now. And then base the ears into position and there are notches to yeah. mark where they should be. <clears throat> so just stitch those on very quickly. You're going to Malvern, isn't it this weekend, the Malvern show? Oh, no, I wasn't going to. I think, it, isn't it this weekend? Whereabouts is Malvern? Huh? Whereabouts is Malvern? Malvern. It's in Malvern. No, I know Malvern's in Malvern. I'm, I'm not very good on... Uh, uh, no, it's not that... I can't go because I'm here all weekend. It's near here, isn't it? Past, well, just past Worcester. So, Worcester is it a quilt Herschel. show? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, if I'd have been thinking, I'd have scheduled... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. In. Oh, it's high up. Yeah, you've got to get to it, though, haven't you? I always remember going to the one in Utoxeter once, and the floods were dreadful going to that one. I've also promised my son I'd take him for pancakes. Say I that again. There. I promised my son I'd take him for pancakes. Where'd you go for gluten-free pancakes? Oh, oh I don't. I just have a coffee and watch him eat pancakes. Oh, oh he's not gluten-free. I thought you no. did for gluten-free as well. No, they're both fine. Isn't that, so you and your hubby, both yes. gluten-free, but the kids didn't get it? No. How weird. It is strange. Um, so the ears are on, and then I will sew the back of the head on in a minute, but just yep. to, because they're quite big, it's a good idea to just fold the edges of the ears in. And use a pin. Oh, clip. And just clip them. OK. Um, just so they don't get caught in the seams. Yeah. So the back of the head, same technique I usually use, 
um, two back head pieces, one on top of the other, and sew along the back edge for about four or five centimetres, a couple of inches, yeah. just to join them. Don't sew the whole back of the head together. Right. Um, because I like to machine sew the head to the body. Yeah. Um, I saw, I was at a sewing machine last weekend and somebody, the technique for the pattern they were doing is just make the head complete and make the body and then sew the two yeah. together. But the danger is it looks to one side. If it, and um, yeah. Well, you might want your elephant looking one. You way. might, well, it's often quite nice if it's yeah, but, cute. Um, right, so I've just joined those together. Yeah. And then clip the ears up, tuck them in, and line up that seam, that partial seam, with the dart at the top. Right. And sew one side at a time. Right. And I've got a head. Oh, you've got one already made, Valerie. Uh, good morning from our caravan in Porth Call, spending the weekend with our granddaughters, introducing them to hand sewing this afternoon. Oh, Kim, that sounds lovely. Morning, all. Love Joe's patterns. Any hints on future projects coming up? Well, you have to buy this one first. Who was that that just messaged that? Susan. Um, I don't know. Any hints? Um, well, I'm open to suggestions. Oh, that's yeah. it now. Open to suggestions. Get them in now. Get them in now on Facebook Live. Get them in now. I've got a couple of things. No, now. No, they've just said John's... I haven't got any distinguishable features for a John Scott toy. Oh, um, She's happy to make other people, not me. I'm not very good at making people. Well, no, because she said it's because I hadn't got a bulbous nose and big ears. You need you like a, like a, some sort of comedy, like comedy glasses or something that you could, you know. They're not comedy glasses, are they? No, I have to see. I have to use these to see. They're no, not fun at all. Right, what's this bit then? This is a leg. Um, they're all four of the same. I call them upper legs and lower legs, but I'll probably end up referring to them as arms. Arms and legs, yeah. Are um, they different sizes or are they all exactly no, the same? No, they're all exactly the same. No, because they topple over. Because elephant needs four legs to be the same size, because if one was shorter, you'd topple over. It is a design flaw for this one, if this one came to life. <laughs> it would We'd have to walk like that if this one came it, to it'd life. Have to, yeah, it'd have to be on two legs. She, it's a she. Oh no, she can't be on four legs, look. Yeah. Oh, she's beautiful. She's beautiful. Make sure, make sure, make sure you check out. This is just gorgeous. This is one of those you really, really, really want to cuddle. The, the, the fabric is so soft. Beautiful. Why did she put monkey nuts around it? Is that what elephants eat? Don't elephants eat peanuts? I don't like, know. Oh, maybe. Maybe I just got a bit, got a bit Is that all you had in the cupboard? Well, let's do a photo I shoot. I bought those monkey nuts specially. Oh, you bought them specially? Yeah. We used to sell those at Sheldon Fruit and Veg Store when I worked on a veg store in 1975. Oh. Yeah. Anyway. Um, oh, put the eyes in as well. Okay. The head before you say the back of the head on. Yeah. Right. The arm stroke leg, upper leg, lower leg. Yeah. The toe piece is a piece of wool felt. That's in the kit, isn't it? It's yeah. in the yeah. kit, yes. Wool felt, very important. Wool felt, yeah. yeah. And there's Ooh. a notch marking the centre of the bottom of the leg and yeah. the centre of the bottom of the toes. So line those up and then just baste close to the edge to keep the toe piece in place. Uh, Rachel, we've done a hedgehog. I have done a hedgehog. We've done a hedgehog. Yep. Have you got is, is hedgehog on your website? Oh, then you I'm down to that. about... Three. Three hedgehogs left, left on the website. We haven't got it here. Derek, I agree. I'd like a Highland coup. Have you ever done a penguin? I've seen you've done. Oh, no, you did a penguin where you could fit an egg in, haven't you? What was that one? A chocolate egg? That was a hen, I think, wasn't it? I'm going. Well, I'm thinking about. No, we've done a penguin. I have done a penguin. Penguins are quite. But pen, we didn't do a penguin this size. I seem to remember. Wasn't the penguin the. I'm thinking. I'm, I might do a baby penguin, so it's got a grey body and a black and white oh. head. And I was thinking about maybe doing that next. Well, Aurelia says, an armadillo, pretty please. Yvonne, that's a mystery we've had. Now, that, whenever Hannah's producing, that's the first thing she always says, armadillo, isn't it? That would take some specialist fur. You know, like a... Oh, fur. Fur, uh, I thought yeah. you said that, that takes specialist to design that. I was going, that's what you do, but yeah. No, you'd have to find, you'd have to find the fur first yeah. before you made it, wouldn't you? Okay, so that's gone in there. So I've just basted the bottom edge together to hold this in place. And now, because these are the stitches that will show, these ones will be hidden. Yeah. I'm going to top stitch around the top to keep the toes in place. Oh, it's very clever because on the actual toy, they're scalloped, but they're not scalloped in real life. No, that's the hand stitching at the end uh... that gives it that. I'll just carefully... Like when you make urchins. Yes. Oh, please, Joe, a baby penguin, says Heather. Right, well, that's this week's job, then. I We've done a chicken. Done a chicken. Was the chicken the one that had the 
chocolate egg in it. What, what's it have in it? I actually remember we I did a hen. Gertie hen. Has like a little pouch for a chocolate egg. Oh, okay. So what was the chicken then? Okay, what was the chicken like? Oh, that's a glove puppet. Oh, oh that's right. That's yeah. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, um, foot. I didn't do a very nice job of top stitching that, but we'll gloss over that. Um, and then, yeah. if this overhangs the edge too much, you can trim the felt just to make the sewing the footing easier to exactly the same edge as the grey yeah. fabric. And now Derek's getting greedy. Could we have a penguin family? Emperor penguins, please. Ooh. Aren't emperor ones want all the flappy bits going like that? I don't, I don't know. know. Is that a macaroni? There's a lot of, penguins have great names, don't they? Rock, macaroni. There's a macaroni penguin and a rock hopper. I knew there was a rock hopper. Because okay. um, uh, at Chester Zoo, I used to watch The Secret Life of the Zoo. And um, they can also, um, they, they mate for life, don't they? But I think they mate for life, anyway. They, they get very sad if the partner. But they, they also have um, same sex couples, don't they? They do? Yeah, I think that's so cute. And they nick the eggs from somebody else, don't they, for the two boys? Or they look after, they, they nurse the eggs, they don't nick the eggs. Is it? What? You've got fluff on your forehead. Oh. Is it what? It's the egg that they keep sort of on their feet, isn't it? Is yeah, to keep it warm, yeah. yeah. Do they travel with it on their feet or is it just... I presume so. Because so it must sit there and they must shuffle like that. I do like a penguin. I do as well. I think they're gorgeous. When we went to Chester Zoo, recently, well, the day we saw Alex uh, clean the elephant and everything, they're just amazing to watch them, aren't they? And then on the Chester Zoo thing, the lady that was looking after them was as mad as the penguins. But just go... I just think anybody that works in a zoo must be quite special, but they're all a bit yeah. kind of like personalities, aren't they? They've all got big personalities. You'd have to really love animals, wouldn't yes, you? Yes, yeah. Um, right, so... This is the foot piece. So it starts... On one side, leave the seam allowance to so start in the middle of the foot and just bring it round. Yeah. This, with a so, uh, walking foot on, is a little bit tricky because the foot is quite bulky. Right. But it can be worth persisting with because it just helps it to go But go now, up until recently, you never used a walking foot, so you could do it without a walking foot if you wanted to, couldn't you? You can. The walking foot is a new sort yes. of technique for me. For years, I thought, I'm not sure it'll make that much difference. And it, it does... Yeah. especially with long seams. Yeah. But this is quite a tricky curve, so just do a few stitches and then just keep bringing, just do a couple of stitches at a time and just sort of slowly walk the seam around the bottom of the foot. Yeah. And make sure you can see the fabric for the leg yes. underneath, just so you know you're taking at least the right amount of seam allowance, maybe a little bit extra, but it's better to take a little bit more than not enough. Than not enough. So it's quite a slow seam. Just keep bringing it round. There we go, that's the foot on the bottom of the leg. Right. Then the difference... Have you gone right the way to the end? No, I've tried to leave. You can do, but I've left the seam allowance. Oh, yeah, brilliant, free. brilliant, brilliant. Just it gives a little bit of yeah, flexibility. Um, the way the upper legs, the arms, are different to the lower legs is uh, one pair goes in stuffed, ready stuffed. Right. And the upper ones go in empty. Oh, okay. Often I leave the legs empty, but with this I find having the arms empty because the head's quite bulky with the trunk and the ears. Right. If there's no stuffing in the arms, it's easier to attach the head. So you stuff the legs first, but you don't stuff the arms. That yes. Said, yeah. And have I got one here? Gorilla, sheep, pig, horse. Is that one animal, Susan? Gorilla, sheep, pig and horse. Orangutan. I'm, orangutan's definitely on the list because a okay. few people have asked for orangutan. Baby so, seal. I've done a pattern for a baby seal, actually. That needs... Sort of. You've done the pattern. You just haven't, we haven't brought it yet. We haven't done it, have we? It's, no, we've not done it yet. It's, um, it's all just in cut-out pieces. I think you tested. need to bring those mermaids back. I loved your mermaids. Yeah, I wouldn't mind doing the mermaids. Yeah, they're gorgeous. Um, donkey. Sorry, donkey horse. They're all coming in now. Right. They're really hard, donkeys. Koala, kangaroo. I've done a koala. I've not done a kangaroo. Hippo. We've done I a hippo. I quite fancy doing a hippo. I've never done a hippo, don't Have think. you not? No, right at the very beginning, so of course, what was that then? We did never. Right. Anyway, carry on. You know what you've done. I don't know. Well, I do forget now, yeah. if I'm honest. Um, so for the upper, once you get to this stage, if yeah. you're making the arms, the upper legs, 
So from the top down to about here and leave an opening in the back. Right. So this is an opening. Oh, OK. So that there's an opening so that at the end, when the toy's been stuffed, you can stuff the arms separately and close them by hand separately. Right, OK. If you wanted to, if you wanted to really make it easier and you don't mind hand sewing, do the legs in the same way and right. keep the legs empty. It will be easier to sew them on, but it's quite a, li a lot of... Um, Quite a lot of hand closing at the well, end. Well, hardly. Well, if... Four, four inches, that's all. And the back as well. See, I normally reduce as much yes, finishing at the end if you, like sewing, you if you like hand sewing, then... If you like hand sewing, that's... Yeah. 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 OK. So, sew down, leave the gap for the arms or fully close them for the legs. Yeah. And the way that the legs and the arms are different is the way they are based oh, sealed at, at the, the top. top. Yes. I think I've got a leg somewhere... Do you know what they look like? Big um, those ones in your box there look like they're, they're like big fingers cut off with the nails on the end. <laughs> what are you looking for? I've lost a leg somewhere along the line. Well, let's just pretend I've got them all. So when you close, base close the top of an arm. Yeah. Have the seam at one side. Yes. We can show on here right there. So the arm is there at the side. Sorry, there's the seam for the arm at the side, but the seam for the leg is at the back. Oh, sorry, seam for the leg is at the back. Lovely. So yes, it runs down the back there like that. Yeah, hi, another, another Highland cow. That's two Highland cows. Gorilla, says Tracy. Uh, mythical dragon, says Alison. I don't know what one of those is. I do fancy revisiting a dragon. No, it's... Uh, uh, well, uh, unless she's called Alison Smith-Jones. No. Right, what's next? How are we doing for time? I've got a few more minutes. Oh, th right, I'll race through this. This yeah. is the stomach. Sew it together along the front. Is that my tummy there? And then open it up. And the legs, so these are ready stuffed. Yeah. Seam along the back. Base those into position. Where oh, I see, why, I see why it would be easier if they weren't stuffed and you hand stitch them up afterwards. Because then that would just be empty. You wouldn't have that, would you? It is a bit of chunk for later yeah. on. So if you don't mind hand sewing, leave the gap. Just make sure it's basted in the correct way, but yeah. just leave the opening in yeah. the back. Or even if you got to this point, you thought, oh, they're too chunky and I can't cope with it unpick a few stitches, yeah. take the stuffing out, and then hand sew, Lovely. opening closed. So when the legs are in place, stomach's together, legs are basted in place, sew the base around the bottom of the body. And then the back body pieces, you need to sew from the top down, and then there's a pivot point at the corner which meets the seam where it joins the base, and then pivot, do a couple of stitches just to free it up, and then sew the back body around yeah. the back of the base. I have a ready-made body here. So if I turn it this way, you'd sew a back body down here, pivot at this corner, and then sew it around right. the back of the base, but mm. leave the seam allowance free at the back there. Of course. And then you would baste the arms in position. The arms overlap these seams. There's a notch either side. Right. And just make sure... So a bit either side of yes. the seam, yeah. It goes about there. Yeah. And so that the toes are facing, facing forwards. Facing forwards, yeah. And then you can sew either from the centre out. I did make one and forgot to put the arms in recently, so okay. it does happen. But there's a notch to mark the centre of the head. And you can either sew from the centre out yeah. each time or go from one side, but just make sure... What, would you, what do you do? I go from one side... Oh, on gold round, because if you're going to at least you're going from the centre outwards, at least you know your centre's in your centre. Yes. yes, and you know it's face on. Yeah. Budgie. We've done budgies. I've done a budgie. We've done budgies. Yeah, Julie, we've done budgies. A duck. Oh, I fancy doing a duck. What's like a mallard. Well, I fancy a goose. A goose? Mm. They're quite vicious geese, aren't they? They can be a bit. Yeah. Um, anyway, come on, what are you doing next? Tail. Right. So... It doesn't really matter because the pile direction moves around. It's right. quite swirly on this yeah. fabric. But sew the tail tip to the end of the tail. Mm -hmm. Peacock, imagine how difficult that would be. Oh, it would. You'd have to have some sort of pre-done fabric that... Yeah. Or set aside two years to make it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So the tail, sew the tail tip on. Yeah. And then loop it so that the, it just overlaps. We've done a tail like this before. Haven't same we? for the giraffe. Oh, it I might suppose I've seen this technique before. Yeah. It might be set the same for Chester lion as well. 
and then sew on top of the seam you've just made just to hold that looped fold in place. Uh huh. And then open it out, fold it over, and sew from one end to the other. And then that gives you the little stuff. Lovely, stuff fluffy tail. tail. Have they got a fluffy tail then, elephants? Yes, they do, like tufts at it's the It's like, like a bit of a paintbrush sort of effect, yeah. isn't it? Right, this is um, a completed one. Yeah. Just stuff the head. And then there's some face shaping between the corner of the trunk there, so where the top of the bottom trunk and the chin all meet. Yeah. There's oh, it goes that way. Because normally you go through that way. It does, it? often yeah. goes that way, but it does that. And it sort of gives the face a suggestion of a smile. Oh, I could do one of those. <laughs> do you want me to demonstrate? Oh, I've, I've, can I have one of... Oh, no, you can't. What do you need? The big needles. Oh, yeah, I can open it. Is that okay? Yeah, but you've only got a two minutes. Right, I'll do this very quickly. Which one would you like? The big, the medium, or the large? Or no? The small one would be fine. Oh, okay. for, but that's quite a good size, isn't it? Because I like... When I just stuff the head so it's more Make manageable. a note, Levi. But you can... Designer taking the needles. Sorry. You can go in... If you've got a long you needle, you can go in through the back and come out at the position you want on the front so then a knot's held inside <laughs> and you're not having to disguise a knot. <laughs> this is going to be the end of the... Oh, no, this is really tricky. <laughs> oh, we're doing it wrong. Is, there a, is it like uh, a toothbrush where you pop it out? Oh, I've got a new toothbrush. Is it good? It's called a Surrey toothbrush. Right? And first of all, it's... What's it? Like, um, environmentally friendly. Uh, you charge it up and it stays charged for eight, forever and ever and ever. But it's um, not like a toothbrush that goes... Zzz, it goes... Like at, the, like, at, like at the um, dentist. Yeah. Red squirrel or a highland cow, please, says Sandra. An axolotl. An axolotl. Is that adorable. what axolotty would be nice to sue? A meerkat, says another sue. What about Punch and Judy? Otter, says Ange. Got to get off. Um, oh, Rachel, you know you said you had two hedgehogs left on your website? Yes. You've only got one now. Oh, OK. <laughs> Right, so I come in through the back because the needle's really long. I can do yeah. that. There's a knot now is hidden inside. Just yeah. make a few small stitches just to anchor the thread. There's a few seams here, so it's a bit... How, sorry, how, I'll just do this. How many are in baskets, please? 25 of you need to check out. 25 of you need to check out. Way over half the stock's gone. Oh, you're going to have a big, heavy bag going to... Um, they love me at my local post office. They've given me a free bag to bring things in now. Yeah. Oh, I've got all the stuff. Yeah, that's only because you have to buy them chocolates at Christmas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, so go on. Where are we? Where are we? There we right, are. so I'm going in at that seam and then up to the eye and then back down again. And do this a few times just to strengthen that stitch. I'll just do another one quickly. Yeah. And then if you pull on the thread lightly, it will just draw the eye down and create a bit of a cheek. Yeah. Can you, if I do that, can you see one side compared to the other? Yeah. It just gives it a little bit of a cheek and like a little smiley sort of expression. I'll give you a bit of cheek. Look, it's 8.59. We're going to go Sorry. into the Dell's hour now. Anyway, look. Cora, 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 brand new today. Brand spanking new today. She's gorgeous. Right, there are 26, you say, in baskets. Tw 28 people got it in their baskets. Please check out, please check out. 30 people got it in their baskets now. Check out, check out, check out. She's adorable. Now, what is brilliant is we know six years ago, we did an elephant together. Yeah. And it had the most impossible scene it did. here. This doesn't have any of those at all. And I think what a lot of you were looking at... Uh, that one wasn't as beautiful as Cora. Cora was, uh, Cora was absolutely beautiful. But I think a lot of you are going, oh, I've tried Joe's Elephant before. And it had a really difficult seam. And uh, No. It no was... difficult seams. Confident beginner, you could make this. You've got a walking foot, makes it even easier. Twenty nine ninety nine. You get all the fabric. You get all of the, the pin badge and everything. Right? Check out, check out. There's also Hugo, Godfrey and Mortimer. When are you next? When are you next? I don't know. Um... Oh, hang on. What's sold out? Bo Bear's sold out. Okay. Uh, um, soon I'll, I'll, well, no, no, I'll, no, no, I'll no, run no. A, a penguin together and yes, maybe a family. Right. Yes, a whole family for Derek. Uh, thank you, Rose. So oh, thank you. Um, single figures on which one? Godfrey and Mortimer, single figures. Right, you've got four minute break now. Check out, check out, check out. Adele's up, up straight after this doing a jumpsuit. I'll see you in four minutes. It's so lovely to see you. Nice to uh, see I'll see you in four minutes.
Hi, I'm Jo Carter and I'm a soft toy designer and I quilt as well. I've been sewing for as long as I can remember. My great grandma, my nana, my mum all sewed and so it's something I grew up around. If I was to give some advice to a new sewer, somebody who wanted to try it, um, that would be to watch a few tutorials but then to just give it a go um, and try not to focus on achieving the perfect end result. Instead, at first, oh, well always, focus on enjoying the process and learning a new skill so, so those perfect results will come in time but developing a love for sewing I think is a really great way to go and a tip I've been given that I still use today is make sure you have plenty of seam rippers it's frustrating enough if you have to remove some stitches but then if you can't lay your hands on a seam ripper and you have to hunt around for one that makes it doubly frustrating um, so yes plenty of seam rippers would be my um, go-to tip Back by popular demand, introducing the one, the only, Gemporia Festive Ball. Party with your favourite presenters from Gems TV, Hobby Maker, Jewelry Maker and Sewing Street. We're all together for a night that's going to be the talk of the town. Situated at the fabulous Stratford Manor, close to the world famous Stratford-upon-Avon. Tickets are just £99 per person, including a welcome drink, a three-course dinner, half a bottle of wine and music that'll have you dancing all night long. There'll also be a shop at the party and even a tombola if you're feeling lucky. Numbers are limited, so order your tickets today to avoid disappointment. Let's make it a night to remember at the Gemporia Festive Ball on Saturday the 25th of November. See you there. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times, or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself something fabulous. Back by popular demand, introducing the one, the only, Gemporia Festive Ball. Party with your favourite presenters from Gems TV, Hobby Maker, Jewelry Maker and Sewing Street. We're all together for a night that's going to be the talk of the town. Situated at the fabulous Stratford Manor, close to the world famous Stratford-upon-Avon. Tickets are just £99 per person, including a welcome drink, a three-course dinner, half a bottle of wine and music that'll have you dancing all night long. 
There'll also be a shop at the party, and even a tombola, if you're feeling lucky. Numbers are limited, so order your tickets today to avoid disappointment. Let's make it a night to remember at the Gemporia Festive Ball on Saturday the 25th of November. See you there. Have you heard about all the different ways you can shop on Sewing Street? You can shop on our website, sewingstreet.com, and you can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. Just call 0800 001 4433. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Sorry about that, we're a little bit longer than we should have been, but that's, everyone wants everything to be perfect for you at home, that's all. So please bear with us, right? And we're doing brilliantly, brilliant teamwork, by the way. Adele's here. Hello, Adele. Morning. Uh, oh, you look lovely. Thank you. Oh, Thanks. look at you in your new set and everything. I know, right it's a beautiful studio. Isn't it? Isn't it mm. gorgeous? And next week or whenever, it'll be HD. Really? I don't know what date is, next week, week after, but we're going to go to HD. Oh my God. I know. I know. Well, you see, the newsreaders have special HD makeup. Do they? What, like thicker? They, shh, it goes on like that. You, like, shh, you spray it on. You don't really? do powder like we do and everything, foundation. They go, oh. shh. So we'll That's what to... we need. Yeah, well, definitely. Although you don't need it, John, because you look fantastic. What do you want? <laughs> Nothing. Right, we're making the Friday Pattern Company Easy to Sew Avenir Jumpsuit. Here it is. Beautiful, isn't it? Lovely. I'll just move my head up there. There you go. Graphics coming in. Now, the thing that's special about this, it goes from an extra small to a 7XXXXXXX size. It's brilliant. It's comfy. It's cosy. It's stylish. You can dress it up. I mean, we're going to make it in some denims and chambres and things like that. Imagine if you made that in like a soft taffeta or a, a silk or something like that. For e oh, hang on. She's having an idea. Yeah, like a velvet. Like, um... Like a panne velvet. Oh like my a gosh. Stinky velvet. For Christmas. Anything. Yeah. Christmas yeah. day outfit, and it doesn't matter how many oh. mince pies you have. No. Because well, it's you all had stretching. Where was I yesterday? Oh, Julie upstairs. Oh, wait, what are you eating, Julie? Like mince pies. Oh, we're on the mince pies. It's um, October. Uh, I'm sorry, but once we're in the shop, it's fair game. Well, they're in the shop in March, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. But, anyway. but we always like the, um, I don't know if I can say it. Yeah, yeah, go on. Greg's ones. Oh, do you? Yes. The pastry, the filling, perfect. Isn't it funny? Because, uh, I, I mean, Greg's do really well because they did their vegan bacon and everything. Yes. Like that, there's one round the corner to here and there's always a queue. Well, not when we come in the morning, but if you go past, like when I'm driving home at lunchtime, yeah. there's always a queue there. Anyway, the pattern is <laughs> $19.99. Let me explain. Let me just take this out of here and I'll explain the size to you. So, it goes from, hang on, there we go. Goes from a 32 bust up to a 60 bust, right? 32, 32 bust to a 60 bust, right? Waist 24 to 53, hips 34 to 63. 
That's in inches, obviously. Then we've got it in the centimetres there as well. The finished garment measurements are listed inside the instructions booklet. Yeah. Which Adele will show you in a second. And you can also scan that QR code there. This is how much fabric you need for the short. Oh, it's oh, look, short sleeve version, long sleeve version. I haven't yes. even noticed. So summer weight. Now that'd be lovely in yeah. a lawn or something like that for summer, wouldn't it? You've done the longer length, but it's I not, have. It's not right the way down, is it? No. So it's sort of a midi length on you. Bracelet. Yeah, that's it. I actually really think this is quite a flattering cut. Right. Now we're we were taught when we were doing the thing on no matter who you are. That bracelet area yep. is always very elegant to show. It doesn't matter it what is. body shape you are, what you think of yourself. We all hide the top of our arms. Yep. We all hide our tummy. Don't hide that bit because that bit on everybody is lovely. Yeah, and it just is out the way that when you're doing stuff, it doesn't feel like dinner. it gets... Yes. Doesn't get in the way, and it's it's really flattering. There's enough poof there as well. What? Poof. Is that a technical term? Uh, it's a, a dial technical and term. And a technical term. <laughs> and now how... Right, uh, we, we can't... Uh, I don't think we see how long it is, but can we see how long it is? Yeah. Uh, right, do you want to step... Actually, John, step so over here. Is this going to work? Is Levi around? Can we see this? So this is Adele actually wearing it. Now, what's, what size dress do you normally so wear? So I normally wear a 10, 12. Right, and okay. what size have you made? So this is a medium. Oh, oh, that's me, that's me, that's me, that one. Uh, you <laughs> normally wear what? Um, a, tw a 10, 12, and this is a medium. Oh, okay then. So, so it's now 36 it's, bus. It's got, it's got yes. room in it. Oh, look, it there has. you go, there you go. So it's got room in it. Yeah. It, like, if, I was thinking the next time I'm going to make this, yeah. I'm going to lengthen this a little bit more so that it so can... more poof. Yeah, more poof. Yeah. That's just really how, how I like that, it. I yeah, like yeah, it yeah, yeah. a little bit more. There's, there's enough there. Like, yeah. So if you're, if you're doing a job, if you're a school teacher, for yes. example, and you... Oh, you are a school teacher. I am. But if you're reaching... I don't know why I'm seeing a primary school teacher reaching up to shelves and everything like that. There's enough room in it. It's yeah. Not gonna, so yeah, look, when look, I'm on the board, look, like yeah. this. There There's go. enough space and it doesn't ride up. It doesn't no. feel uncomfortable. And it's, it's not cutting of... in because no. sometimes in a bodysuit, on a jumpsuit like that, you reach up and it's like, yeah. Ooh, but there's none of that, is there? No, it actually says that in here, that it's got quite a low sort of crotch, crotch. area. Yeah, really. um, and if you don't like that or yeah. you want more room, I would definitely say make now, a toile. Uh, I'm going to ask a question. Can we go to we see the bottom of the hems? Is that, is that possible on these cameras? Can we go right down to the ankles so we can see the width of them? Yes. Uh, it's a lovely... Oh, hang on, he's just going to bring the other camera in for you now, camera two. Oh, blimey, this is proper camera work, Levi. He, was, <laughs> he wanted to be a cameraman, and here he is. Right, there you go. Oh, look, they're lovely width, aren't yeah. they? Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, we'll get there. We'll just wait for it to go to focus. Because there you go. Hey, look. Oh, look, my, and my trainers need a bit of a wash, don't they? Yeah, it's fine. But it's a, a lovely wide leg, and it goes all the way from the top down like that. So it's comfy, comfy, yes. comfy, comfy. Yes. Uh, the ladies on the pictures are wearing, one's wearing heeled boots and the other one's got some like wedgy strappy sandals on. Yep. Okay, brilliant. You can come back on in now. So, uh, it's 19 99 It covers all of those sizes. If you've got any questions, get them into us because we can do that. We will get on and do it now, but I just need to tell... Right, all you need is some matching thread, a safety pin and three yards of half inch wide elastic. Yes. Right, shall we start then with the fabric? So... You've got yours made of... Uh, it, are you that one? Or that yeah, one? this one, this but one. it's the other way around. Yeah, this one here. Oh, this one here. Right, so this... And this is the light one. The light one. Uh, uh, this is four and a half metres here. So four and a half metres will make you... Oh, here we go. It's four and a half metres. Where are we? Uh, uh, it'll make you up to the double XL. The double XL with the long sleeve. And it will make you... Oh, the same with the short sleeve as well. So that will, the bundle will only make you up to double XL. Uh, but there you go. It's 39.99. You get four and a half metres in there. Now, this feels... Have we got the composition of this? What, are you thinking if there's some stretch in it? It feels like there's a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of stretch in it. Mm, I don't feel it. You can't... I'm going to wear it. Oh, woo! Just, just have it only one way, but have a look, have a feel of it. Yeah, I think because it's quite a lightweight denim, it has a bit of give in it. OK, it, OK, weave. I just want to make sure. It's 100% cotton, but yeah. then, you know, 100% cotton, it's but it does feel like it's got a tiny bit of give in it there. Well, only going one way, only going one way. Right, how wide is it? Don't forget, your denim always has a bit of give in it, doesn't it? Yeah, look, look at the width. So you're getting four and a half metres. 
Beautiful, $39.99. That's the light one. That's the one um, Adele's wearing. I'll do the medium and the dark in those next then. Oh, this is nice. You see, I like this. Oh, do I do? I like that one as well. We're calling this this medium. They're calling it um, four ounce denim. It's not four ounce at all. It's like your lovely lightweight chambray. It's gorgeous, mm. gorgeous fabric. Oh, that one's only $38.99. Wasn't the last one $39.99? Uh, I would say I wasn't listening, but that's oh, thanks. the truth. Sorry, John. That's right. <laughs> Asda Bakery Mince Pies. No Ooh. horrible candied peel and beautiful short pastry, says Alice and Marion. Right, I'm going to go and try them. Oh, I thought you were standing here then. You <laughs> suddenly sounded really loud. <laughs> uh, 38, 19, so, so, so there's the light one we've done. Here's the medium one. Okay, then we've got the dark one, which is gorgeous. You see, if you did this, you could top stitch in like the yellow of a denim or a red or something. Or yeah, do, and do these will look nice with big like winter boots. Yeah, winter boots. Actually... You could wear a, a polo neck jumper underneath that or some yeah, you sort could. of jumper under that, couldn't you? Yeah, absolutely. This one's 39 .99. Someone's obviously just typed in the wrong... Oh, no, because the computer works out, doesn't it? We don't... Anyway, it's only a, it doesn't matter. What's a, friend, what's a pound between friends? Uh, 38 99 uh, 39 99 39 99 <laughs> that one. Then, which one are you making? So, that one there. This one. Yeah. <gasps> oh, this is nice. So, this will be like your summer one, won't it? Yeah. Oh, this is lovely, this one, isn't it? So this is, I'll tell you the, do you want the bundle? AK6607, that's what's on the bag. Uh, so this one's 39 as well. So what have we called this one? Hang on. Oh, hang on. We've got, still got dark blue on our big telly. Uh, this is grey yarn dyed chambray fabric. I have to read it all the way over there. Oh, no, I can read it. That's fine. It's gorgeous. This, that, that's love. That's one you're going to see being made. So I think this one is a colour that, you know, when, if you want to wear a white jumpsuit but too scared that it's too white. white, this is the alternative, I would say. Oh, do you? Yeah, and I love grey. Yeah. I think grey is such a classic colour. Beautiful. Four and a half metres is a lovely, really, really lovely colour, that one. But then, if you're slightly more adventurous, we've got this beautiful soft pink... Now, it's not the kind of pink that people are going to look and think, oh, she's naked. No. Not that kind of pink. <laughs> it's a proper rose. Oh, what colour what have we, what we called it? Oh, just pink. <laughs> but it's got that really lovely warm tone to it, hasn't it? Four and a half metres. Pink cotton, chambray. That is lovely, isn't it? Even if you're not making the jumpsuit, these are lovely bundles to get. Then I've got these two, which are like kind of mottled -y. I'll do this one first, which is uh, QW6639. They're called this navy, this one. Oh, I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Now, it will be a denim. If they'll have called it, it'll be, it, what they called it, chambray. But it's white one way and blue the other way. But a navy blue and white, that one. That's beautiful. And then last but not least, I've got a dark grey. Look at that. Beautiful. So this one is your... Uh, oh, black. They've called it black. Well, I suppose it is black because you've got black going one way. Oh, you can see it there. Little flaw in that fabric. Yours won't have that. Um, uh, but you, it's got black going one way, white going the other way. So like a denim, but it's black and white weave, that one. Beautiful. That's black. Thirty nine ninety nine. So pattern, fabrics. The other thing you need is some elastic... Has it here? Now, I just need to check. We think this is already cut in one metre length. Is that how it arrived with you? Yes, it did. So I had like sort of six. Yeah, I was going to say, because you need three metres of it. So you need to buy six of those, but you are going to have to... Well... No, 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 you buy three. I had six because I made the sample and then... Oh, to come in a metre? Yeah. Come in a metre so I'm just oh, sorry, a metre piece. Yeah. Three you need to buy three. Um, but, but actually, so where does it go then? So it goes around here at the top yeah. and then it goes around the waist. Okay. So there you go. Uh, by how many? So did you use all three? Uh, did you use all three? Uh, yeah, all three. So oh, so and also the sleeves. Oh, the cuff, the cuff, sleeves. the cuff. Yeah. That's why. So I'm making a short version. I won't need it for the sleeve. Right. Okay. So that was one piece. So basically, one piece is your neck, one yeah. piece is your waist, and one piece is your cuff. Perfect. Um, so we remember to send you the elastic. We just forgot to send you the fabric. Yes. 
So Adele came in this morning. She mm -hmm. went, haven't been able to do my demo or anything. We said, well, I haven't had any fabric. And, we went, and then Charlie came through and went, oh, I think this might be it here. <laughs> the poor old Adele had to arrive, didn't have a cup of tea or anything. She had to start making a, a demo for you. Right, do I need iron on his facing anyway? Not on this one, no. Nope, don't need that, don't need that. Um, so that's it, that's yep. it. So let's make a start. Yep. Skill level, first of all. Okay, so I would say this is fantastic for a beginner. Oh, OK, brilliant. if you've never made a jumpsuit before or you've only made like a, a gathered skirt or something, go for it because it's really simple. There's no fitting. Um, I'm hoping you said how much you're going to get done. And I was like, let's see if we can have if we can do it all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's two uh, front and back trousers, front and back top, two sleeves. Jump. So it's like raglan sleeves. Yes. So it's not even a sleeve head to set it no. or anything like that. No. And I'm going to ask a, 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 a saucy question now. You've got it worn like that. Can yes. You, if you want to do Alex, if you're going to a barbecue in the summer. So I did say this. I, when I was trying it on with my husband, I said, look, you could have it like this. Look, and what like did that. he say? He went, yeah, that looks nice. Look, like that. That looks lovely. On both yeah. sides, obviously. Yeah, on both sides. But obviously, I've got my microphone on that side. All right, then. And they're old. Pulling my brow back up. <laughs> <laughs> I said earlier, when we, when we said it earlier, I said, oh, you've got an old grey brow. And she went, it's silver and it's meant to be that colour. <laughs> yeah. He thought my, my bra had been in the wash too long. Well, you know, they go. Yeah. Anyway, all right, okay. let's go. Let's go. I'll shut up. You get it. Yep. Me. So there's fantastic information in this uh, instruction book. Oh, sorry. I did say I was going to be quiet, but I've got a question. Oh, go, go, go. From Morag. Morning, John and Del. Can I add pockets? Yep, the pockets are also in this as well. There are pockets already? Yes, there are. How brilliant. Yep, so they're they inseam pockets. They haven't drawn it anywhere. No, they're inseam pockets. Oh, brilliant. Um, I just haven't put them in. No. But they're dead easy. It tells you exactly how to put them in. Excellent. Yep. So they it's can have there. pockets in. Brilliant. Yep. Catherine says morning, Adele. Good morning. Right, okay. Carry right, on. let's go. go. So the size chart, let's just quickly talk about the sizes. So extra small is a bust of 32 to 33. Yeah. And then 7X is 100. These are, sorry, that's inches. 7X is 59 to 60. That's inches. your measurement, is it? Or is that uh, finished yeah, measurement? Yeah, so that's your measurement. Okay, then has it got a chart with finished measurements? Yes. That's brilliant. So finished measurements, the chest for extra small is 39.5. For extra large, uh, no, 7X, it's 66.5. Brilliant. So what I would say, like, I did my measurements based on, um, I, sorry, I did the size based on my measurements. Yeah. Like I said, I might want a little bit more volume in there. It is down for a B cup. Right. So what I would recommend is if you are more full of bust, maybe choose a bigger top. Yeah. And then grade down for the bottom because this elastic here will really help. Oh, so you say it doesn't matter if you have a slightly bigger top on the smaller trousers. Yep. You just ease it in and then the elastic's going to pull it in. Yeah, anyway. so you could just redraft yeah. these edges to make sure it's the same size. Yeah. Honestly, it will be so easy. And it also says that it's drafted. This is how much information it gives you for a five foot six oh, lady. Okay. So uh, I think I'm five foot six. Yeah. yeah. So 168, yeah, I'm around 170. Yeah. That's why I remember when I do my year seven lesson, I have to take my height. Okay. Um, 170. So it just hits the top of my converse. If you want them to be like palazzo pants and wear them with, with heels, with heels you could easily extend I like those trousers that are really wide and go right to the floor yes. so you don't see the shoes for evening wear, so I think. Do you know who's that like? Uh, Victoria Beckham. Yes. She always wears them. Have you watched the Beckham documentary? No, I haven't. Everyone keeps asking. Sean, I thought you would have been on it. I'm too busy at first sight. 90 Day Fiance. Oh, you've got to watch... Oh, David Beckham and Victoria Beckham. Oh, oh. so lovely together. OK. Um, you know, I made two of her bridesmaids dresses, didn't you? Did you? Yeah, well, story. the wedding... It, they, they showed the wedding. No. Show. Oh, I better go then and have a look. Yes, because you never know. You might be in the background. No, no, I wasn't there. I just made them and delivered them because it was just the little... I did the little ones. The little yeah, fairs. but I'm sure... Oh, anyway, anyway, go watch it. Yeah. Then it talks all about the elastic length. So it does even give you suggested lengths for your elastic. But uh, what I prefer is to try it on because they might want a little bit more ease or a bit tighter and I, it's all about comfort so I didn't follow any of the elastic lengths apart from the neckline because yeah. um, I put it around my waist and thought well that's actually how much I want that's how much I want there okay now I just want to talk about the cutting layouts okay for anyone that's a beginner 
They do it as it's flat, not folded in half, and I don't understand why. Oh, OK. Because uh, it's so it much easier. Could it be for the 7 XL size? No, because it even does it for extra small to medium. Oh, OK. So I'm a little bit unsure as to why they do that. Right. I actually prefer to cut on the fold right. because when you've got a piece like this, which is the top, where there is a fold there, it's really easy to get it offline if you're having to flip it over like that. So How weird. So the pattern has actually got a fold on it. Yes. You don't fold the fabric. Yes. That's very odd. But I would say try it out. Have well, it The fabric's folded. so wide. Exactly. Yeah. I had no problems uh, cutting it out on the fold. So I just want to say that. Yeah. Okay? Also, seam allowances are 5.8, yeah. 1.6 centimetres. Yeah. And it also tells you how to finish seams. So this is why it's brilliant for a beginner. Brilliant. Okay. Yeah, and then look, it says, let's sew a jumpsuit. Oh. Oh, oh put oh, that no, look. And yeah. Oh, how cool is that? Oh. I like it. Simple things. Yeah. Simple things, simple minds. Yeah. Okay? Right. Right. So it really takes you through all the steps. It's only 23 steps in all of this. And we're going to get straight on with the bodice. Now, like you mentioned, it's a raglan sleeve. Okay? Which means that the seams sit from your armpit going up to sort of collarbone. Yeah. Okay? Now, this is where confusion can happen. Oh. I'm going to say, I'm going to honestly say I went wrong on this bit. Oh. Yeah? Because... I just assumed that I knew what I was doing. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -dum. Oh, didn't read? No. Nope. Fine. Okay, so we all make mistakes. That's why it's also a little lovely unpicker there. So yeah. make sure you have an unpicker. Okay. okay, so if we could just have a look at this, we've got the back, the front, and then the two sleeves. Let me bring it into the centre. Do you see? Yeah. So the back and the front look very alike. Right. There's a difference in length because you need length for your bum. Yeah. And then the sleeves, this is why it caught me out. I sewed up the sleeves thinking they were the bodice, tried it on, <laughs> couldn't get into it. So I had to unpick it up. OK. OK? Yeah. So make sure you realise which are the sleeves, which are the bodice. Fine. OK? Lovely. So I've got my back bodice already here yeah. and I've got my sleeves. And this is why it's fantastic for a beginner because all we're doing is draw, uh, so doing There's straight. no curves, there's no, no gathering in of anything like no. that. Brilliant. Isn't it I love fantastic. a record. Well. I, I think they're really um, flattering, aren't yes, they? they are. Definitely. Right, so it's five eight. Remember five eight. So I'm a metric girl. I always go for one and a half, but I've got to remember the seam allowance is different. Yeah. It's a bit faster. Right, and then this seam, and then what I've done is I've got the sleeves onto the bodice first on both sides before I even bring out the other bodice. Uh -huh. That way, I'm not getting myself all mixed up. Yeah. And if you want to, this is what I used to do in the very early stages when I used to sew. I used to get little pieces of paper, write what pattern piece it was, and then, like, pin it oh, yeah. Yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. OK? So... That is the back. And then what we're going to do is get the front bodice piece. OK. And don't forget to put all your notches in. These are really important. And they also help you remember which is front and back because mm -hmm. front has one notch, back has two notches. OK. So put the bodice down. OK. Now, also with this chambray, there is a right and wrong side to yeah. it. So do check, OK, which side you're going to have and make sure you're consistent with it. When you've got a plain fabric, it's a little bit more challenging. Yeah. So again, put a pin on right side or wrong sides. OK. I saw that Vicky was back with her little ones. Who what? Vicky was back on uh, yeah. the show. Yeah. I haven't seen Vicky in so long. Oh. Were you on with her? No, oh, that's what watching. I said. I was watching. Aww. And I saw the little uh, the little girls. Yeah. Bless them. Right. And, and then and Charlie and Ben, because the, Charlie and Ben here wanted them to be named after them, but obviously they weren't. <laughs> that would have been brilliant. But they're growing so just I haven't seen them for, Yeah. Just from the pictures photos. on uh, on socials. They're really growing, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, and getting little personalities. Oh yeah, and they look so different. Yes. One looks like her and one looks like him, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, it is unusual when you get twins, when they're, they're not identical. No. 
But these are very, very different. I it's interesting teach, to watch them grow up. Yeah, I teach set twins that are really identical. I even struggle working out who's which. Or in your class. Yeah, and my husband's a twin. Oh, is he? Yeah. Is he an identical twin? So he says he's not identical, but we always get stopped and mistaken. Like, he always gets the, oh, how are you, Dean? He's like, no, I'm, a, I'm Dean's twin. Oh. Even when we went to the dentist the other day, the, we have a different dentist, but in the same practice. Yeah. Uh, Dean's dentist came out and went, uh, and she, he went, I'm Alex, I'm Alex. Oh, no. And I was like, you just need to look at which wife's with them. <laughs> well, you can't presume. <laughs> well, that was funny, actually. The other day, they were around our house, and uh, a friend, uh, one of my daughter's friend's mum, came over, and Dean answered the door, and I was with Dean. Cos I was there with Dean, she just assumed that it was Alex. <gasps> so... Right, here we go. So that is the bodice complete. Oh. Okay. Yeah. All we've got to do now is put our facing on, like our little um, what's it called? Yeah, it's a facing. It's a facing. To put our elastic Channel. through. Channel. Channel. There we yeah, go. Yeah. Okay. Now this comes in two pattern pieces. You need to first of all sew them together at the short ends, and then you fold it over. Right. Okay. Then what we're going to do is you find your sleeves, okay? Let me make sure these are the sleeves. Yes, they are, okay? And then the join will be at the top, right side to right side. On, uh, uh, on, a, on, the, shoulder, uh, on the shoulder. On the shoulder here, shoulder, right, okay. okay? You've got a notch, that's where the end goes. Yeah. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to sew this all the way around, but leave a gap, and that's where we're going to post our elastic through. Okay. Okay, so it's really simple how this comes together. So now, they haven't left a gap in the short bit where you've sewn it together. Nope. Leaving so let me go over again. Yeah. I've got my two pieces, they look like this. Yeah. I've sewn them together at the ends, yeah. folded it over, yeah. and then I'm now going to pin that to the top of the bodice. Right. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a space. Okay. And that's where I'm going to put my elastic okay. through and then sew that back up. Right. You're thinking, aren't you? Yeah. Because I think right, what I would have done is where I've sewn the fabric on the short, I'd shown what? I'd sewn yep. one, because you you've got two. Two seams. One yep. would go all the way across the whole fabric. The other one would only go halfway across the fabric. Yep. Still fold it, still sew it on like you are, but go all the way around. Then you've got a gap in the back of the channel to put yep. your elastic in. This is the beauty of sewing. There's so many different ways of doing it, yeah. okay? And if you're an experienced sewer, you might look at the instructions and go, well, I know a different way, I'm going to do it that way. That's fine. Yeah. As a beginner, I would always recommend Follow the instructions because you never know one thing might lead to another That's in the future. Told, isn't it? It's not you being told, it's just my, me teacher, advising I mean, you. The Saturday, but not a teacher <laughs> today. Well, we are just oh, teachers yeah. all the time, yeah. aren't we? <laughs> I've got non identical twin grandsons, totally different. They don't even look like brothers, says wow. June. Wow. I bet they've got, like, even my husband and his brother, they're very similar in some ways, but they are, do have different personalities. Oh, yeah. But it's really weird, because I've got a twin brother and sister, and then you wouldn't even know they were brother and sister. Would you not? But yet my older brother... Looks more like... It's like, like people think we're twins, even though he's five years older. I know, the one that you go on holiday with. Yeah, yeah. Yes! And he's five years older than yeah. you. Yeah, thanks, yeah. I didn't mean that. I mean... But yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. But our mannerisms, we grew up completely apart. He was at boarding school and I was at home. Yeah. We have so many mannerisms and... Why do you get sent to boarding school? Because I'm not the special one. <laughs> no, surely you are the special one because you... No. Oh, John, sorry if I just opened up. I was up never the special one. But we're not going to go there, Adele, otherwise I'm going to have to pay for more therapy. <laughs> oh, John, I'm so sorry. Oh, it's fine. <laughs> But that must have been weird, him being away. Yeah. And then coming back and your mannerisms are still so alike. Yeah, completely. And, wow. And, 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 and I mean, for years and years, years, we didn't get on. So I only really started talking to him when he met Julie, which was, you know, like when he was in his 30s. Yeah. So, uh, and then it was then, it was only Julie then going, oh, you just said Mike does that. Oh, Mike does that. Really? Oh, that's lovely. And you go on holiday quite a lot together, don't yeah, you? Yeah, we do. This year, three holidays. Oh, my God. Look at you. Look at Tavrol.
Oh, I bet it's nice yeah. to all go away together. Yeah. Well, also, he's got three kids, you know, Mike, Alex and George. So if we can't, like, George is in America, so when we go to America, we visit him and everything. Yeah, so you're really close to your niece and nephew. Oh, yeah, really, really. Oh, yeah. that's nice. Yeah. That's really Message nice. on our bottom. We love you, John, Carol. That's Aww. so sweet. I wasn't, looking for, I wasn't looking for anything, I promise you, but thank you, Carol. That's lovely. Uh, Levi's not agreeing with you. <laughs> What's that look for? The youth of today. The youth of today. Right, so this is quite a long scene, yeah, the way is. that it's been done. <laughs> and then what we'll do is we'll get the elastic in. Yeah. OK, well, we have to do the side seams first and then the elastic. Yeah. And this is a great opportunity for you to try it on. Is that comfortable? What I would recommend yeah. is don't make the top too tight right. with elastic. I once made a top like this and the elastic was too tight. I never wore it because it was just so uncomfortable. But you could have loosened off the elastic. I know, but that was a job, John. That was oh, just like... Oh, uh, Deblan, you've got so much in the wardrobe. I didn't mean it like that, but you know, like, sometimes when something doesn't go right, you're just like... Oh. Yeah. OK, so let me just show everyone what I've just done. Yes, please. Before I move on to the next stage, OK? So I've just gone all the way around, OK? Mm -hmm. Now, I've left a little gap. This is the sleeve. What I would recommend, though, is do, don't overlock this first. Put your elastic in, then overlock it or zigzag it. Finish right. it off afterwards. Yeah. Don't finish it off now, because that will actually... Finish it really nicely, look. Lovely. OK, so we're going to put the side seams together. Now, this is where I went wrong. I thought this was my bodice. Yeah. This is my bodice. Right. OK, so I need to remember which side is which. Well, you'll remember because your seam of your thing is on, is on your sleeve, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. yeah. OK, so it does look quite boxy. This is the thing. When this garment's hanging on a hanger, it does look quite square. But as soon as you put it on, the elastic just cinches in at the right places. Yeah. Even Jo, who was on before, when I walked in just then, she went, oh, that's lovely. So it's definitely a garment that once you put it on, you're like, ooh. You yeah. have that with some. Lovely. Right. Go along like this. Only the light denim's in. There's only six of those bundles left. Limited on most of the fabrics now. OK. And then sew up these side seams again. There's hardly any shape and it's quite a straight seam. So again, brilliant project for a beginner. Yep. Okay. And jump... Oh! Go on. So, no, no, sorry. Uh, can you just check something on the graphics? Because Diane's saying the medium denim was only for four metres and the others were four and a half. Now, I think they were all four and a half, weren't they? Uh, they are... You're going to get four and a half. Let me just check the label. Oh, no, you're right. We'll just double check. We'll just double check. We'll just double check because... Well spotted. Well spotted. We'll have a look for you now. Yeah, we're looking into that now, but thank you for noting. But it was only a pound... There was a pound less, but it, you wouldn't... Well, anyway, we'll, we'll wait and see. We'll wait and see. Oh, there it is. That's this one that's in, is it? Oh, yeah, look. Oh, but then it shouldn't be 38 99 it's 34 because four, four and a half is 39 99 We'll look into it, we'll look into it. But thank you for noticing. So if you've bought the medium coloured denim, there won't be enough. You can only make the... Oh, no, you know what? I'm talking rubbish, right? 60 inches wide, you can make up to the four extra large with a four metre bundle and with a four and a half metre bundle you can make all of them. So... Okay, so why is four and a half metres only 39.99 then? Okay, I don't know. So you are only getting four metres, sorry about this Adele, it's four nice. metres in the medium colour, but that will make you up to the four extra large because it's 60 inches wide. All the other four and a half metres will make you every size because it's 60 inches wide. Do we have a tape measure anywhere, John? Yes. Yes, please. Only because we, um... oh, in case it melts. Whoop. Right. OK, I'm just going to measure this elastic. Okay, neckline, 34 inches, that's fine. 
just want to double check before I thread it through and then we'll have the bodice completely done. Brilliant. So that's how quickly this yeah. comes together. Sometimes as well, if you're an experienced sewer, sometimes it's nice to have a really quick project. Oh yeah, yeah, totally. Or sometimes One... you just want a new outfit to go and meet the girls in, don't you, or something? Yeah. I'm forever doing that. I'm like, ooh, where are we going today? Oh, let me quickly make something up. Yeah. Okay, right. I'm now just threading it through. So all I've done is put a bit of a last... Uh, safety pin. Safety pin on the elastic. And I'm just going to take that all the way round. Okay. Do you want to do this job while I do the... Yeah, all right, then. The legs? Yeah, of course. And then we can have this whole thing yeah. done, John. Right. So, again, there are different ways to put trousers in, okay? Sometimes they ask you to sew both front pieces together, both back pieces together. This one asks you to put a front and a back together and then you post it through and then do the whole crotch. That's how I do it. One of your um, pattern pieces is floating yeah, across the okay. floor. Yeah, that'd be okay. I can look, pick look. that up. The aircon's got underneath it. It's going across the floor. <laughs> I'll run round. Let me run round quickly. It's got caught on the camera wheel now. You're all right. Oh, yeah, that's all right. Yeah, these are like tissue yeah. pattern pieces, but all of the sizes are on the same one. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. So it's not like other pattern companies where you have to, if you're in between sizes, you've got to think, well, which pattern do I buy? Yeah. All of them yeah. are here. So that's my front. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is a front and a back together. And we're going to do the outside seam, okay? All right. This, let me get all this out of the way so I can show everyone what I'm doing, okay? So we're going to do the side seam and the inside seam, and this is where you'd put your pockets in. Okay. Okay, and it gives you all the instructions of how to put pockets in as well. But they're not patchwork pockets or inset pocket they're just in the seam mm -hmm. okay let's go down you getting on all right there john mm -hmm. i've just got i've only got one safety pin oh i want to keep this end in my mouth otherwise it'll come scooping round. thought it did go quiet <laughs> See, okay Again, it's just straight seams in this whole jumpsuit, mm. so it is really fantastic. <laughs> right. How long we got? Uh, minutes. 14 minutes. 14 minutes, no problem. We can do this. And then the inside seam, and then we'll do the same on the other leg. And then once you've done that bodice... I'm ready, I'll... I'm done, done. Perfect. I'm going to pop the waistband casing on that. That's another way that this waistband elastic is slightly different on this pattern. Oh, OK. It has a casing that goes on the bodice. Yeah. And then it almost comes a piece. Oh, lovely, John. Thank you. You're welcome. Whoop. Okay, and then all I'm going to do is sew up that gap that I left open. Right. Okay. And oh, watch the, I've left the safety pin in, so just watch you don't sew over the safety pin. Where did you put it? Pulled it round a bit. Oh, yeah, I feel it. Yeah. I just didn't want you to go over the safety pin. Oh, no. Sure. Right. Do, 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 do. Yeah, Kim Suleiman broke a needle on the embroidery. Was it on the embroidery machine? It was, wasn't it? <gasps> it was her fault. It wasn't her fault. How? What, going over a needle? No, no, it didn't go over a needle. It just, um, w when she set off the embroidery machine, she looked at me and went as if to say, oh, it's making a funny noise. And yeah. It, went, dunk, dunk. it just broke. But she changed it on air, showed how easy it was. Yeah. I remember one of my first shows, you know, when we were over in the tiny little place 
and I broke a needle on I her. I don't work. I didn't work. Oh, no, you didn't. Wait, oh, hang on. The, right at the very, very, very beginning. Yes. Oh, yeah. I was with Debbie, yeah. and um, it, I had a walking foot on, and it just didn't feel right. It looked just like that, and then live on air, it Good snapped. Job. Yeah. Right, so all I've done is sewn that up. Yeah. Okay. And then pull that through and we've got our bodice finished. So the sleeves, if you're doing a short version, there isn't any elastic on this. No. They're quite fluty. Okay. Quite what? Fluty. Fluty. Yeah. See, I've got all the words today, John. Yeah, yeah, haven't you done? And then what all we've got to do now is put our casing along the bottom here. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that comes in two pieces. Yeah. So the thing when we do... Uh, Ben's saying that'd be nice just to top on its own. You could just yeah. hem it. Yeah, it would. It a bit longer and hem it and you'd find Yeah. Yeah. That or shorter nice. if you're Ben, going to the gym. Oh. Go to the gym and have it all short. I, d I have a personal trainer that comes to the house now. Do you? Wow. What have you been doing then, John? Like weights. He brings the weights with him and everything. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Wow, how are you finding that? He bought that? the heavy weights now because I was the first one I started, he went, he thought, oh, like a six year old man, I'd be only bed to But you're stronger than you look. You should feel it. Just, last night I was like, oh, yeah, ooh, I'm getting shaped. Hey! Anyway, what are you doing? Waist. Right, so I'm just doing the waistbands, okay? So there's two pieces. Again, we're going to sew the short edges together, yep. okay? Now, this one, we don't fold in half. We fold one edge down by a centimetre, okay? And I'll, see, I'll show you what I mean by that. Like this. Okay. I've just joined the gym at school. Oh, have you? Is it up? Yeah. We have, like, a fitness suite at school. Oh, get you. And, um, I don't know why I've never used it. And then me and my friend were like, come on, if I do it, we'll do it together. Yeah. So we've done it together. What, did you in the lunch hour? No, after school. We'd have an hour for lunch, John. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we do it after school, get the music going, once the kids are gone. Yeah. And go I, um, what time do you finish your school? So we finish at three, but quite often, well, three... On Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, yeah. half three on a Thursday, because yeah. our year 10s have an extra lesson. Right. The Wednesdays, year 11s have an extra lesson, so they, they're in till four. Right. Mondays, we have meetings, and then Fridays, we can leave. Finish at lunchtime. Um, uh, ooh. But no, 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 because I had to go to this, this new foot consultant this week, and the, yeah. this place is obviously near a school, and it was 3.15, right? Yeah. And they're all and coming out. Like, and they're all just walking across the road. Nobody looked where they were yeah. going. They were secondary school age. And they were just walking all across the main road and yeah. everything like that. And I thought, I used to have to stay at school till ten past four. So what time did you start, though, John? I can't remember, nine? Or was that, I don't you know. see, we start at uh, 8.25. Oh, OK. So we start a lot earlier. Yeah. Um, and and then what time's we have, lunch? Uh, well, it depends if you're what year group you are, because oh, it's all different. Ten past twelve lunch used to be when I was. Yeah, there. and then it's only a 30, uh, forty minute lunch. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was just ten past twelve to one o'clock. Yeah, so you just have an hour there, yeah. Um, and yeah, we finish at three or half three. Oh. And do you have a break in the afternoon then? No, um, no. So you just have an afternoon tea break. Yeah, no it's break in the afternoon. Break, yeah. So it's very full on. Yeah. It's like hour after hour. You don't clock watch. You're literally like, boom, 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 boom. Yeah. The day goes quickly, then. Oh, it does. OK, so yeah. what I've done here is I've just folded over that edge by one centimetre. Right. And that's now going to sit on here. Right. And what we're going to do is sew along oh, here. Oh, so it's sewn on top of? Yes. Oh, so it's not a separate, like, waistband. It's sewn no, on top of the it's panel. It's sewn on top. Right. And then you treat this as a whole top when you put the trousers right. on. Right. OK. OK? Yeah. Right. Oh, that's clever. It is. And this is the thing. This is why I like trying different pattern companies because they all sort of do something different yeah, yeah. and you do learn new things. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Every day <coughs> school time. It certainly is. Right. OK, and then just the back. Uh-huh. OK. Oh, Friday, yesterday, because it rained all day, the 
kids were wet all day. Oh, no. Because some of them don't bring coats, do they? No. Because it's not cool to bring a coat. No. I said that in 1971. Did you? I put a cagoule in my bag and I was like, oh, I've got this lovely umbrella. And I was like, I am not going to school with an umbrella. Because <laughs> <coughs> we had school caps as well in those days. Oh. You had to wear your cap when you were outside school. Oh, really? You used to get drenched because they were wool. So they get absolutely drenched. Oh. Well, they have their blazers, so they, they consider that a coat. Even though it's not really a coat, is it? A blazer. Right, and then all I'm doing now is top stitching. So I have increased the length just slightly. Yeah. Because this is going to be on show. Yeah. But don't forget, it's all going to be ruched up. So again, it's just another straight seam. So don't worry if it's not exactly straight. You're not going to see it once all the elastic's in. Yeah. OK. All right. All the way round. And you didn't need to finish that seam because that inner seam is going to be completely hidden. And then we treat this all now as the bodice, and then we can attach the trousers. And then we're virtually done. There we go. With my helpful assistant. Thank you, John, for that. I'm going to put that to one side. Anything else you want me to do? Oh, no, there's no time now. Oh. <laughs> So you've made the trousers, so you've made two separate legs. Yep, so I'll just show. I've made one leg. Yeah. OK, I'm going to quickly do the other leg if I've All got right. time, No, 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 you do that. I'll do and a then recap you can while do you're recap doing that. So the pattern, that. the pattern, the pattern here is £19.99. pence. goes from an extra small to a 7XL. You do need to check out your baskets now. It's £19.99. So it goes from, inches wise, a 32 bust up to a 60 inch bust. goes from a 24 waist up to a 53 waist and a 34 hip up to a 63 hip. They're your measurements. In the little booklet that you get, uh, it tells you the finished size. So you can change that as much as you want. You can do a long sleeve version or a short sleeve version. Uh, it has got pockets if you want to have pockets in there or in the seam in the pockets. Um, and it's a really, really lovely, easy, versatile pattern for £19.99. Beautiful. Right. Uh, all the fabrics, I'm not going to go through all the fabrics, am I? Unless there's any you want me to pick out them. They're all available on the website. Uh, just pop down. Uh, now, you, the, the medium one is only four metres. So the medium denim one, uh, you can only make up to a four extra, four extra large. You can't go any bigger than that, I'm afraid. Right. Right, I'm just quickly doing the inseam and then we'll do the crotch seam and then the trousers can go on to the top. Lovely. It's like I'm on sewing bee. Oh, yeah. And you've just told me. Five minutes. Shall I be Esme or shall I be Patrick Grant? Who would you like to be? Esme. Do you want to be quirky? Yes. I'll be Esme. I need to find something to put around my neck as a necklace. <laughs> Right. No, no, she just picks anything up, doesn't she? Makes it into a necklace. I might use those pom poms. Oh, no, that's somebody's name. She's like iconic, isn't she? Yes. But same, same background to me, she did costumes. Is she? Yeah, that's, that's her history. If you look wow. at the book, she did costumes, yeah. Okay, so what we do now is yeah. we turn one leg the right side round. Yeah. Keep the other leg the wrong side. Yeah. And then we're going to post that into here so it's right sides to right sides. Okay. Yeah. And then we're going to do this seam going all the all way, way around the crotch. There. Yeah. Okay. So find your inseams. Yeah. Pop them together. Quick pin. And then your trousers are done. And then we can get that onto the bodice and then we're done. Okay. Oh, now. Charlie, how long have we got? But until we have to go for a break. Okay. Okay. So what's he saying? Got five minutes. Okay. I cut you short earlier, apparently. I said it was shorter than that. What? What did you do wrong? Well, I said you had 13 minutes when you had 18 minutes. Ah, uh, right. I'm just double checking. I've got this the right way round. Okay. So I've got my there. Yeah. And then double checking. I've got these. Yeah. I think I've done. Have you sewn two? Yeah, don't worry. 
It's no problem. You sure? Yeah, it's no problem. What I'll do is I'll sew that there, and then yeah. in the break, I'll lump it. Just, I just want everyone to see the illusion of what it's going yeah, to yeah, happen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. All that's happened is, in my little mistake of having right side to right side fabric, I've just done two of the same leg. Yeah. But it's no problem. Don't, if if you've done that home, don't take it together. I'll no. pick one of them. Sorry. Them, yeah. I'm literally just doing it so that you can see what the trousers will look like. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Right, going right round. And then this goes onto the bodice and you're done. Yep. There we go. Oh, the bobbins. Oh, what's the matter? Up. It's just gone all a bit funny. Oh, honestly. More haceless speed. Oh, sorry, John. Okay, so there's your trousers. Yeah. Okay, but that would be done up because the bobbin's just gone. Yeah. Okay, and then I just wanted to show. Oh, your bobbin's we... run out. No, the bobbin went all up. Oh, okay, it's gone a bit skew with it. Oh. Look, yeah. don't worry, because look what I did. I had a second bobbin ready. Well done. Always be prepared. Yeah. I was a girl guide. Were you? Yeah. Do you? I can imagine you'd be good as an arcana or whatever. What's the head of girl guides? Oh, sorry, uh, you're not meant to see me packing bags. A Go tawny back to the owl. What, what? Brown owl? Brown owl. Have you ever thought of running a guide or a no. brown? No. Sorry, but... Not enough to owl. Uh, it's though. primary school, isn't it? And I'm a secondary school. Yeah. I just prefer secondary school. Now, what I've done there is I've put my bodice inside out, OK? And what we're going to do is put that over the top of the trousers that are the right way. Yeah. OK? Find your side seams. So I just, this is why I wanted to quickly put it together, even though I had no, that no, that's fine. That's day. fine. It's only me in the next hour. So okay. Fine. So that goes over the top. Yeah. Now, this is another important part. Oh, yes. You don't want to sew all the way around. Just right. like we did on the top here. Yeah. We're going to leave a gap. Yeah. Then we're going to post the elastic and then we can do up. Lovely. Okay. And then that is it complete. So it's a voila moment. It's a what moment? A voila. You teach French as well? Uh, no, I did German. Just as well, yeah. <gasps> German? That wasn't German. Uh, voila. And wunderbar. Yeah. Carlis Krankter, Dr. Weber, Compzurim. I've lost the bag for that one now. There. OK? Yep. So then I'll sew all the way around, leave a gap, yep. put your elastic, and then you're finished. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. All in an hour. All in an hour. So you can have that made in an afternoon. Yeah, Easily. If absolutely. You, if you're suddenly think, oh, I'm meeting the girls for cocktails this evening, one little number to wear, just run one together in whatever fabric you fancy. Dress it up, dress it down. Because you could put a lovely belt around that as well if you Ooh, wanted to, yeah. to make it more stylish. Or you're like, a, I'm thinking of a, a link belt, like a chain link belt. You could make it in velvet fabric. You have to be a lightweight velvet. Don't make it in our, you know, the one, the beautiful ones we sell. But uh, I think they might be a bit much for the whole thing, might be a bit too heavy for the gathering and everything. Anyway, Adele's back in an hour. We're doing uh, a dress and we're doing an Overlocker Masterclass. Yes, yes. Uh, so that's in an hour's time. Uh, don't go anywhere. In four minutes, I'm back with perfect pre-cut. Oh, fabulous. I thought it was perfect. Pre-cuts. Hi, everyone. I'm Yvonne McAtamney. I'm a patchwork and quilter, and what do I do the rest of the time? The rest of the time, I actually own and try and manage village fabrics in the town of Wallingford. How did I start my sewing and journey? Well, I've been sewing since as long as I can remember. I started out dressmaking with uh, my mum and my big sisters. And since then, I've tried my hand at most things and have finally ended up with patchwork and quilting. And I think that's probably due to one of Elner Burns' Quilt in a Day books. Let me assure you, you don't make a quilt in a day. But it's been a passion of mine for the last 25 years and I'm still at it, so there's hope for us all. So what do I enjoy sewing? Well, I like to do a bit of most things, to be honest, but 
My favourite thing is anything to do with my Japanese fabrics. So as you can see, we've moved to a different part of the shop and here we are in another of my favourite corners. And I really enjoy combining the lovely Japanese fabrics with some hand stitching and um, hand quilting. So I've moved to the permanent Christmas room at my shop here and as you hopefully can tell this is quite a large shop here so most of my time is uh, involved in keeping this running successfully so i don't really have a lot of time for claims to fame so what i suppose i could say um is that my claim to fame is actually managing to manage john scott um i'm sure he'll take that the way it's meant so um Love you lots, John. My top tip is that children's colouring in books are a really valuable resource whenever you're crafting. You've got nice, clear outlines that can become templates for your applique work, or you can transfer them and use them as quilting patterns. I can't draw, but I can create lots of things using bits and pieces from things like children's colouring in books. Give it a try. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Sewing Street app. Head over to your app store now and search Sewing Street and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favourite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? then click the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking here for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching on the go with Sewing Street. Back by popular demand, introducing the one, the only, Gemporia Festive Ball. Party with your favourite presenters from Gems TV, Hobby Maker, Jewelry Maker and Sewing Street. We're all together for a night that's going to be the talk of the town. Situated at the fabulous Stratford Manor, close to the world famous Stratford-upon-Avon. Tickets are just £99 per person, including a welcome drink, a three-course dinner, half a bottle of wine and music that'll have you dancing all night long. There'll also be a shop at the party and even a tombola if you're feeling lucky. Numbers are limited, so order your tickets today to avoid disappointment. Let's make it a night to remember at the Gemporia Festive Ball on Saturday the 25th of November. See you there. about all the different ways you can shop on Sewing Street. You can shop on our website sewingstreet.com and you can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. Just call 0800 001 4433. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again.
If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Have you heard about all the different ways you can shop on Sewing Street? You can shop on our website, sewingstreet.com, and you can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. Just call 0800 001 4433. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Now, that's the weirdest, it look, I, you know how I look dead straight on at you now, like that, right? Um, the actual camera looks like it's looking at that wall. It's weird, isn't it? It's very strange. Anyway, I'm fine, I'm fine. Don't, 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 don't touch it, it's absolutely fine. Perfect pre-cuts now, perfect pre-cuts. Starting with some beautiful tilde. I've got the fat quarter here. This is a big bundle. This is a huge bundle, look. So, let's have a look. Uh, 79.99, well, I mean, that's good. 79.99 for 20 of these. I love this collection. What's the matter? I'm not in that near where. Oh, the price. I thought you meant where I was in the wrong place on the table. Oh, crashing, apparently. Crashing. Why is this? Why are we doing this? What's this for? Okay, you've got 20 in here. What does that make them now, then? £2.70 each, is that right? No. Hang on. Uh, so if they were £60, they'd be £3 each. That must be about £2. There you go, £2.74. Oh, I've just realised, sitting at this table, I can see next door. I can see a cameraman. Yeah, so I can see through a window into the, into the what's it called that? The Gemstone Museum. And then through there, I can see a cameraman's hands. He's just got his phone out. Who's that on camera in there? Have a look there, Levi. I don't, I, don't know the I don't know them next door. We have to get to know them, don't we? A curly haired man. Right, 54 99. Buy this, buy this, buy this. It's fantastic. Look, for these are fat quarters. They're Tilda fat quarters. I opened some of them. Oh, love that one. I, this, is the, this was my favourite ever Tilda collection, this one. I had no idea we still had these. These are fat quarters. 20 of them for fit. Do you know what I'd do? I'd buy this and then I'd split them up into like little piles. How many you got? Little piles of four. And that's five friends' Christmas presents. Put a little ribbon around them. Oh, I love them. Love them. Love these. Look. 20 of them. <gasps> Look. How gorgeous is that? Look. £54.99. Check out, check out, check out. Christine says, morning, gorgeous. John Scott and Adele. Oh, she's gone now, Christine. The messages come through a lot later on my um, iPad here. Um, now, apparently, Sheila says that Adele's on till 10.30. I don't know where you've read that. Right. £54.99. Let me show you what the fat quarter is. Oh, these are gorgeous. Oh, OK. And how many have I got in baskets? Oh, check out, check out, check out. I've only got 23 of these left at that price. Beautiful, aren't they? Absolutely gorgeous. Now, I know this is a couple of ranges ago, but this was my uh, one of my favourite ever, Tilda. Uh, well, 
I didn't know how, where, do you know what's happened? I think somebody must have found these in the, in the, I think they got, I'm not going to blame the warehouse, so it's not their fault, but I just think we lost the code, yeah, you know what I mean? So, um, because I don't think, we won't be ordering any more. That's it now. Yeah, look. Yeah, when we launched this in the half meter, we said, can we have pre-cuts? We have pre-cuts. Oh, <gasps> lovely, aren't they? Beautiful. I love the colours. The thing is, if you buy this, it'll go with all the other Tilda ranges because she uses the same kind of um, colour ranges. Colour palette the whole way through, doesn't she? Where's that ginger jar on there? Look. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Look. Oh. £54.99 for 20 20 fat quarters you get in there. Love it, love it, love it. How gorgeous. Oh, oh, now I meant to ask you something in that break as well. It was a bit chaotic. I'll have to ask you in the next break. Remind me, Ben and Charlie, to ask you in the next break. I've got a question I need to ask you. Uh, 54. Oh, okay then. You might not say that when you know what the question is. I love this, love this. Look at that teal, beautiful. Check out, check out, check out. Uh, what a fantastic saving. What a fantastic saving. Work it out per price, per price, per fat quarter. £2.70 something, £2.74 fat quarter. Right, I'll leave that one with you for now. I've got another chic escape. I'll keep that next to me here. This table looks like there's glitter on it from Hobby Maker. And I, I bet, didn't Jewelry Maker used to make things on here as well? I'm going to blame Claire McDonald. It's who I'm blaming. She's gorgeous. Right. These are the same fabrics, but in fat eights. That's not the reduced price. I know. Here you go. Right, you get 20 of these. One pound. 30. 147, I was better off, didn't really think. pound forty-seven each. Now, a fat eighth is a half, fat quarter cut in half. I'll show you one. This is a lovely way just to have a taster of all the fabrics. You could make a patchwork jacket out of this. You could make a lovely quilt out of this. So, so how, many, how many have I got? 20. 20 fat eighths. Beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful. Two and a half metres of fabric you got there. What, are you going to mix solid with yours? Oh, what, for a quilt, you mean? Or for a, for a I thought you still talking about your quilted jacket. Patchwork jacket. Oh, quilt, it depends how big. You need a couple of metres, though. Stuart always buys a couple of metres, doesn't it? Two and a half metres for the sashing and everything. £29.40. Look at the flowers in there. Just stunning. Beautiful. Lovely. Loads in baskets. I'm not surprised. Look at the price. Check out, check out. We have found that yesterday as well. Check out, check out, check out your baskets. There's loads of you there for that. Don't you be, he, he, leave us like this. Oh, I love it now, put it away. Not ready yet. I'll tell you when you can put it away. Eager Levi. That doesn't really work, does it? Eager Levi. Keen Levi. Le Le I have to think about that one, won't we? Leave me alone, Leon. Uh, Leon, Leon, Levi. <laughs> That's someone else. 29 pounds and 49 pence. Leave that one with you. No, leave. I can't have those yet. Right, where am I going now? Fat quarter pack of five. Is it William Morris? Oh, no, 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 there it is. I can see it. I've never seen this before. Right, hang on. This is um, uh, Visage Fabrics. Oh, isn't it? We never, we, ben and I have never seen it before. The reason we've never seen it before, it's never been on air before. Three pounds a fat quarter. Is that right? Yeah, look. Oh, you don't need a calculator for that. This, yeah, three pounds, three pounds each. Luscious Levi, says June. Don't 
Don't worry. We won't let her in if she turns up at the door, Levi. But if you go and get to the 1930s chip shop, shop June, at the, um, what's it called, that place? Black Country Museum. He can't guarantee gluten-free. Do they cook them in beef chipping? Or do they? Oh, and you ate them? And did you love them? That's the problem. You see, if someone makes me a coffee or uh, makes me pasta with real pasta, I'm going, this is delicious. And they go, oh, it's real pasta. It's real, it's real milk. And you're like, oh, no. No, but I have discovered in Waitrose the most incredible gluten-free pasta, which has been unheard of until now. Look at these, they're gorgeous! $14.99, never been on air before. Let's have a look, what else does it tell me? Fat quarter pack, what are you going to make out of this? Oh, uh, Ben's going to make cushions. Have you turned the conservatory into anything yet? Fourteen ninety nine. Do you know what can make some lovely cushions for outside in our in our reception area, our green room area outside? They'd look nice, wouldn't they? Hi, John and team, and the lovely Levi. Leave it, Levi, says Viv. Oh, look, they're very popular, Levi. Not everyone else gets this much attention. Fourteen ninety-nine. Have you not got a microphone anymore, Charlie? You was not switched on. No, it isn't. There, you're back now. It was muted, was it? Fourteen. I could hear you through Ben's. That was all. And that's fine. I just thought you'd turn me off on purpose. Well, leave that one with you, Levi. Levi, that one with you. Right, yeah, moving on. Where to now? Okay, five inches. I've got hot and cool. Hot first. Now, I've got this one open somewhere, but... Here you go. These are beautiful. Fifteen ninety nine. Gorgeous, lovely, luscious colours. Latest, um, latest collection, some of these, look. Gorgeous. Look at the colours in there. Now this make a lovely quilted jacket. I don't know why we keep talking about quilted, because it's gone cold, isn't it, that's why. You see, I don't, I don't have, um, I only have a fleecy. That's all I ever have. I've got a posh, like one of those posh green quilted coats when I go out. And then I have a, a hoodie for when I get in the car. No jumpers. No. I did do uh, my personal training this week in a long sleeve t-shirt because it was very cold in the garage. But it soon got hot. Oh, I have to do all sorts of things. What are those burpee things called? Oh, burpees. And um, we had, they had all names for all these different things. And I was like, just, just show me and I'll do them. Beautiful. Gorgeous colours there. Fifteen ninety-nine. Yeah. Look, now, the theme of today is everyone's putting everything in baskets. You're very slow in your checking out today. Just saying. Just saying. That's fine. Obviously, it's your choice. It's absolutely your choice. But well, I don't, there's no pressure here. No pressure. Right. Now I've got the cool. Yeah, there's no pressure, but please buy it. Have you lost the bag again now, Levi? We just found it on the floor. He's dressing up now. He's pretending he's Superman. Bit tall for Superman. Beautiful. Limited, limited, limited now. Gorgeous, aren't they? 
Which one do you like best? Do you like the cool or the warm or the hot? I like the warm, yeah. But these are lovely as well because these are very cosy, comforting colours. When is winter? December the 21st, something like that. Oh, actually, what date is it? The clocks go forward, uh, back soon, don't they? Fall back. 15, that next weekend it must be. Yeah, I think it's Sunday the 29th. Yeah, it is. So you do it on Saturday night, don't you? And on Sunday morning, they've gone back. I'm not in that day. Oh, winter's not till December. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. 15.99. Go, just keep going through for those. Does she know? Right, next. 10 inch cave here. Oh, and I've got cool. I haven't got hot. Is there a 10 inch? No, no, just the cool I've got in the 10 inch. Ten inch cool. Well, actually, you'll know the fabrics. You'll know the fabrics of this. Oh, yeah, sorry. $49.99. I've got a lot of design. Oh, no, because they're all doubled. That's all right. I've got those lovely Christmas fat quarters coming up. No, we never found the Indian summer box, did we, Levi? I don't know where that... In the move, a few things got, not delayed, waylaid. But they'll be in the building somewhere. We just don't know where. Gorgeous blues and greens and purples. 49.99. Now, I need to warn you that... Um, she was saying that the prices of design rolls and of 10-inch charm packs and things like that are going to go up very soon. Not, not us, not just us. I mean, as in going back, because he knows, because he designs fabric, doesn't he? So he knows what's coming up industry-wise, wide. Uh, price is going to go. And 49.99 is brilliant for a 10-inch layer cake. Beautiful. Lovely way of getting it. And also, if you think about it, if you chop it like that and like that, 5-inch, 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 you see. So you're going to get 42 times 4, 164 five-inch charm packs in there. Yeah. Isn't that right? Yeah. 42 times 4. Yeah, 164. Um, Levi, have you, can you swing a camera? Oh, no, it's all right, don't worry. Um, Louise has just said, what happened on Wednesday? I was intrigued to know. I was at work. Uh, different studio. Completely different studio. We're now sharing a studio with Hobby Maker. It's huge. Look, there it is. Look, there's Levi. Wave, Levi. No, it's behind you. There. There. Up, up, up. There. There he is. Uh, that's the whole studio. And you can see the gallery as well. The all brand new gallery, Ben there and Charlie. Or Chris, as everyone likes to call him now. <laughs> yeah, suddenly everyone starts calling Charlie Chris. We don't know why. Um, anyway, 49.99. That's what happened on Wednesday. We moved in here. He's gone from leave it, Levi, to lose it, Levi. Only joking, Levi. You're doing a great job, says Viv. He didn't lose it. He, he, I just presumed he'd lost it. 49.99. Leave that one with you now. That one can go there. Where am I going next then? A what? Cave design roll. There's what I've got that in hot and cool. Hot. Cool. Which one first? Hot. Now the hot was more popular in the five inch squares, remember? These are the I'm not going to unravel it because because it's they're very difficult to ravel back, ravel, wind back up. You need two forks and a friend to help to wind these up. And as Levi's got neither, we'd be here for a long time. 49.99. Okay, Facet Collective, hot. Hot, 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 hot. 
Oh, yeah, now, if you're looking, I don't know if they've changed it, the TV Guide on the website. Uh, this I should have been Chrissy from e -Collip, but uh, um, it's not. I, I know why, but I don't know what I should say. She's not, well, she's not very well. No, nothing serious, nothing serious. Nothing serious, nothing serious at all, but she's not well enough to come in, that's all. No. 49.99, so she'll be in again soon with her e collop 49.99. Not sure what day it is, though. Ben's looking forward to working with her. 49.99. Gorgeous. Right, then I've also got to think cool. $49.99. Keep going through now, keep going through. Lots of people popping these all in their baskets. The five inch ones are going very, very well. How are Matilda's doing? Fat quarter pack. Oh, I thought the fat eights were the most popular. Fat quarters are in the lead. Well, I'm not surprised at that price, for goodness sake. Field of Memories, very, very popular. All it is, it, I'm not, uh, I don't know if it's a system or what, but um, it, it just, it, everything's a bit slow checking out today. So I might be going, oh yeah, yeah, there's a few of you, and then suddenly a load, a glut of people come in. Well, that happened on Joe's show, didn't it? All during the show, it was like regular people coming in, people coming in, and then suddenly at the end, it's like, oh my goodness, more, 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 more people, more people, more people. Maybe you're waiting till the end of the hour to see about this as well. The aircon's just kicked in, hasn't it? How weird, what time is it now? Oh, it's a big clock in front of me, 10.26. What time did we go down there? Half past seven to switch that. What time? No. Well, it was earlier than that, wasn't it? So it takes about four hours to kick in. <laughs> oh, I thought it was just the two that were in here had to be the same temperature. We've got two in here. We've got one on that side, one on this side. And they're down at the gem, you have to go down to gems, but you just press the two, one on that side of the pillar and one on that side of the pillar to put them both on. Because uh, Munch, no, Munch was, Munch was in here painting the other night. And, and he, they, the other night, the, in the what's it night, the swap over night, Munch painted this set and the jewellery maker set. All this has all been painted. This is all brand new paint all around here. That's why it's so bright, the white paint. Uh, anyway, so, uh, and he was sweating, he's sweating. He's like, oh, I'm not very fit. And then he realised somebody put one heater on hot, 29 hot, and the other one was on 18 cold. So they were fighting against each other and it was a, the room was bo boiling up. Then he had to go next door and paint jewellery maker. Then he went home at like half past three, came back at half past six to carry on. Scott came to do some painting as well. What did you do, Levi? You just went home, I hear. Levi went home. Didn't help or anything. Did you have a shift at the chip shop? No, no we just left. 49.99. That'll do for that one. Thank you very much. Now. Reindeer Games. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's this one. Five inch time pack. We're going to have a little section of Christmas now. $14.99. Morning, John. Lovely pre-cuts. Just wish I could concentrate to do any sewing. Oh, Amanda, what's the matter? It'll come back. Your mojo will come back. Or your sojo. Your sojo will come back. Look, 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 look. I've rearranged the design of some of the shelves today. The, the uh, core of the elephant's now got a home on a shelf. Beautiful. Red, white and green. Oh, yeah, and in, at now and 12, yeah. Yeah, what, two and a half hours later. Beautiful. Well, I didn't realise Levo was doing two people's jobs. What's St Paul's in Manchester, then? Is that a club? Turn around. St, from St Paul's to Manchester, the unbeatable spirit. What's that, motorbikes? Oh, I don't know, you just bought it because you like the T-shirt. Okay. I 
I've got a Rolling Stones T-shirt. I mean, everyone thinks I love the Rolling Stones. Oh, you old rocker. I just like the T-shirt. I don't wear the Spice Girls one. That stays in the drawer. But no, what I was saying was, when I did my um, personal training this week, I wore a long sleeve T-shirt. It's a long sleeve T-shirt that was the crew T-shirt <coughs> from Interview the Vampire, which is the one that's old. The T-shirt is older than Charlie. Well, well, truly older than you. T-shirt's older than Charlie. Because I worked on Interview the Vampire, the film, you see, we got a free T-shirt at the end. We also got, in those days, you used to get a crew jacket as well, like an em embroidered crew jacket. Oh, no, because I used to keep them in my kit. And then I did a film in Africa, and all of them got nicked. My Interview the Vampire one, my... I did mine because I would never wear them, but I should have kept them pristine and then could have put them on eBay as an old person, you know. Or Vinted is the one to do now, isn't it? Hannah's making a fortune on Vinted. And Little Paul is as well. You'd be surprised that, that that many people could wear his clothes. 14 99 He needs to um, pay for his tattoos, you see. Now he's getting them coloured in. 14 99 Oh, now. This is amazing. This is Christmas Fat Quarter... Oh, I thought... Oh, yeah, very good. Christmas Fat Quarter Bundle. Look. All of these... 20 fat quarters in total. They're gorgeous as well. They're lovely, aren't they? Morning, John. Fabulous shirt. A cause very close to my heart. Oh, thank you, Teresa. Off to the Essex Social tomorrow. Baking cookies today to have with our tea. Oh, lovely. I know. Right, look at the price. Look at the price. Look at the price, right? That is, at the moment, right, they're £3 a fat quarter. How would you like it that they go to a pound a fat quarter? Is that right? Yeah, yeah. There's 20 fat quarters for 20 pounds. I know. Now we can do these individually. Oh, I don't know if we can do them individually today. Oh, I've only got the bundle today. Normally we do them individually, but this is the way to save you money. Oh, have you not? Have you not? Right, so the blue one has the blue background. Then you've got red, navy, stripe and uh, mink. This one, you have your holly berries and leaves, that gorgeous emerald green, white, red, and stripy. Think of all the things you can make with these. This one here's got your lovely little Christmas icons. Then it's more of a minty one, this one. So you've got mint, white, ivory, and the gingham. And then this one here, your green, loads of you want this, loads of you coming in for this. Then you've got your green robins, then your kind of... Um, Cyclamen, white, green, and red. Oh, I tell you what, I drove through. Um, where was I going? Where was I going yesterday? Where was I going? Oh, I've got to think about this now. I mean, I was driving through Pebworth, and there's a house with a bank. There's a house with a bank going up to it like that, and it's completely covered in like miniature cyclamens, all out in flower, all pinks and magentas and lilacs and whites and everything. Look beautiful. Because I was like going, are they crocuses? Are they? As I was driving by like that. It's opposite my friend Fiona's house. She lives in the old vicarage. It's opposite her house. Uh, but why was I going through Pebworth? Where was I going? No, no, no. This was my no. You can't be yesterday because I was at work yesterday. It was on, on my, no, on one of my days off. Where was I going? Isn't this awful? I can remember what I was doing 41 years ago, but I can't remember what I was doing two days ago. Where was I going? Right, I was driving through Pebworth. Evesham, went to Evesham. No, I didn't go to the country park. Oh, I was going to see my friend Michelle because it was her birthday. That's what I was doing. Well, no, no, because, you know, she didn't know I was coming. I just turned up at the door and I hate people when, when like, it happens to me. Oh, Christine says, back soon, doggy sitting, time for walkies. Walkies. Who wants walkies? Oh, that's like when I was doing my Facebook Live and I went, Alexa, play Baby Shark. And everyone went, don't do that because all our Alexas will start playing Baby Shark now. 19 99 these are a pound each. I was meant to do what? Oh, yeah, don't. <laughs> Nineteen ninety nine. Beautiful. Oh, Amanda's got sciatica. Got consultation this afternoon. Right, what you need, yeah, what you need is I apparently that what I've got in my foot is like a sciatica, because you know the sciatica goes from your foot right the way up to your bottom cheek, right? 
And yeah, and I've got this thing. Oh, I tell you what, this, this machine is brilliant. I haven't been able to sleep for like five years properly, right? I've had one and a half sessions on this machine on my feet and I'm sleeping through the night. I think Ben's got the machine at home because he totally slept through the night last night. 1999. Oh, look, Sharon says, thanks, John. It started. And Sue says, thanks, John. Baby Shark started. John, you've set off my Alexa again. <laughs> I've got an Alexa, I don't know how it works. 1999. Um, uh, Francesca's house, I think they say Siri on theirs. Do they say Siri? No, they don't. No, they don't say Siri. They say Google. Hey, Google, turn the radio down. And it turns, it's incredible, isn't it? How does it know? I have to, yeah. But I did look up something the other day. Oh, I know, the Surrey um, toothbrush, right? On the website. And then, and then I um, uh, went onto my Facebook about half an hour later and all these adverts for the toothbrush I just bought. How does it know? Anyway, 19, 19. So they can't be listening because I haven't got a, I haven't got a, a thingy. A, a, a. No. Do they? Oh, uh, I know. I know somebody. I know somebody um, uh, once said. I read it in the paper, and two a old couple watching the telly, and they heard giggling in the room, and they were like, "Who's in the room with us?" And they they went to the telly, and it was coming out. The, they were, I haven't got the telly on. It was coming out the telly. Uh, what machine? I've got Temple Satica. I'll ask what the machine is, um, June. When I've got another appointment next. Must be one next week after work. Uh, I'll ask what it is. It's, I think, it, I don't know if it's, it won't be a TENS machine, but it's, he's a chiropodist, per, per, podiatrist, because mine's obviously in the foot. And then I saw a different one this week, and he said, oh, it's a bit like your sciatica thing. And I said, oh, no, no, I've got any pain up here. And he went, no, no, it goes from your foot right the way up to your bottom. Anyway, um, oh, my Alexa just started playing some random song. It definitely isn't Baby Shark. Oh, Viv, I think you're... Um, I think your Alexa needs sorting out. Uh, right, let's move on. Move on. Peter Rabbit, most wonderful time of the year. These are more fat quarters. Well, it is a pre-cut hour. If you're thinking there's a lot of fat quarters. Pack of five. Oh, these are cues. Never, ever been on air before. Are we meant to have this? Peter Rabbit, the most one... It's moving. Was that moving then, Nemo? Okay. Flashing, does that matter? Oh, is this the one that Becky dropped on a presenter? I've got a camera up here, you see. This camera here, right? Yeah. 14.99. All my lights, ovens and everything are on Alexa. I do my shopping and keep all my appointments, radio and TVs powered by Alexa. Oh, Sharon, that's a bit frightening. They'll hear everything that you're up to, apparently. 14.99. Oh, well, my Facebook's open all the time. So they can hear everything. No, how does that work? I don't think, have I even got a microphone on my computer? Have I? I haven't got a camera on my computer. So it's heard all my conversations. 14.99. Oh, I'm going to try that one again. Because my, my computer doesn't have a, a, a camera on it, so I won't have a microphone on it, will it? But my phone would be, and I do Facebook on my phone in bed at night time like that, don't I? Oh, no, that's not Facebook, is it? That's Facebook. Fourteen ninety nine. <laughs> Fourteen ninety. Oh, now are you being? I didn't know. Fourteen ninety nine. By whom? Oh, what all the time? Oh my word! So Levi. You can't eat your lunch in there then. 
There's no food in the gallery in this new studio, you see. So everyone stands at the door like that, eating in the corridor, right? But if you step inside, the camera sees you. At 14.99. Uh, good morning, John Scott, says Gillian. Julian says your, uh, June says your iPad's got a microphone. Oh, I know that, but my iPad lives here. Oh, so it's listening to me now. Uh, but this, this, is, this is my work one. So the only time I take it home is to do my Facebook Live on a Sunday afternoon. That I do that for my iPad. The rest of the time it lives here. You want to be careful what sites you go on, John. Too late for that, Sue. Too late for that. How funny. So it knows everything you're doing. So when I get in my car and go to Michelle's, it knows I'm going off to Michelle's house, does it? Because I've got my phone. I've got sat-nav. Does the sat-nav know then as well? Oh, it's a weird world, isn't it? William Morris. Oh, I had the most beautiful William Morris bundle. Was it yesterday or the day before? Oh, gorgeous. The new one, Stuart launched it on, um, what's it? Half of them have sold out now. And we've got the mega bundle. Doing it tomorrow, doing it tomorrow. Uh, Strawberry Thief. Now... That one doesn't look very William Morris to me. Is it in the right pile, Levi? Yeah. No, no, it's not. Yeah, it's not William Morris at all. It's Jolie by Chamois. So it's not William Morris at all. I do apologise. That this is with that's William Morris, isn't it? That's William Morris there. Yeah, but Moda, Moda will have made these as well. Moda's not a designer. Moda's just the, like free spirit. Is the car it carries it, doesn't it? Oh, there's no, there's no salvage on that one. Right, so what's this one then? Was it made for a project? Here you go. This one's Bleu de France by French General. So you've got three different houses in there. Anyway, it's very nice, but I knew that wasn't William Morris. That one you could have got away with, being William Morris, but that one definitely not. Anyway, 13.57 for four fat quarters, then. I've got no secret, says Sharon, and if it wants to listen to my mad ranting, it's very welcome. It'll soon realise it's not learning anything. Oh, Sharon, it'll have heard your conversations with the kitchen fitter, then. Do you think everyone has got secrets? Levi, you can't have secrets. You're only about 12. 13 pounds and 57 pence. Oh, you don't need a CV to get a job here. You just turn up. <laughs> uh, I order my food shop to be delivered and I got an ad on YouTube for fudge, which is on my order. Isn't it weird? Such a weird life. You yeah, early bird. <laughs> We had this brilliant early bird at 8 o'clock this morning. We had hundreds of these, right? And half the stock of it has gone. It's meant to be, oh, there you go, meant to be 19 They're, they're um, needle minders, right? Twelve For five. For five. Twelve nine nine for all five. You get the sewing machine, the cat, the strawberry, the cupcake, cupcake and the rainbow. Now, I've just had a thought, right? If that's got a magnet on it, it'll click to your fridge, won't it? So on my fridge, I have fridge magnets to hold up my shopping list, my what I can and can't eat, uh, all different things like that. I wonder if that would hold... You'd need more than one, I think, to hold a notepad up, whatever. But uh, really that trolley to me, would you, Levi? <laughs> they're in the, the, at the front of the fridge, it says, do not eat these. You're at the fridge and it's full of all the things that you can't eat. Have I got one open? Already? No, not the great big plastic trolley. Is that little metal? Is that a metal trolley there? I just need to see if it'll stick to a... What, did I not open one of these earlier? The rainbow. 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 rainbow not there? Oh. Yeah, but... Oh, oh, you did. Oh, you put it back to front. That's why I'm confused. Oh, that, <laughs> it's not metal, it's plastic. <laughs> Pinboard behind me. That's wood. 
Yeah, but these might be metal. Can you see, still see me if I go here? I'll, I'll bring it out, I'll bring it out. Right, I've taken that off there, Levi, so maybe it's got to go back. Look, how pretty would they be on your fridge? Look, right? I don't know what's in here. These are the things that Craig knocked over yesterday when he came in. But hang on. Oh, look! It is strong enough to hold up a note. So put them on your fridge as well, as well as needle minders. But you do get... Well, I knew... That, oh, look, at stupid, John. Sometimes your stupidity, John, amazes me. <laughs> right. You get all five of those for £12.99. Are they... Oh. Right, here you go. Oh, £12.99. Loads of you coming in for those. Now, you, the other thing is, is right there, stay there, Levi, don't get up. Right, look, look, watch. Now, don't do this if you've got a pacemaker, but look. He's down on the floor there, so he won't be able to go and come to. He's picking up the tray I dropped over. Levi, camera two. And he'll be fit at this rate, won't he? Look, like, a, what's it, a, a butcher's dog. Twelve ninety nine. So you were a butcher. I thought you were vegetarian. Oh, I couldn't work in the butchers. I always remember when I, I well, I went to, to sign on once when I worked in theatre, and um, the questions just got and I, I just went. I, don't, I can't be bothered. Um, I said they said any jobs you won't do. I said I won't work in the butchers. Won't work in a fish. Can't work in a supermarket fish stand. Well, I'll be sick all day long. Anyway, I did, then didn't sign on. Didn't fill it. Didn't carry on filling the form in. Ooh, no, I couldn't do that. Ooh, no. I'm bad enough. I'm heaving when I have to feed the cats. Oh, leave I've ripped the bag. Is he still there? Look, five of these. Twelve ninety-nine. Oh, that's not the overhead. There it is. Sharon says it wasn't plugged in. What wasn't plugged in? What did we plug? What did we not plug in? Uh, my secret is the fabric I buy will Alexa tell my hubby. <gasps> I, wonder if, I wonder if your husband came in and went, how much fabric has my wife bought today? I wonder if it would tell you. I wonder if it would tell you. You just don't know, do you? You just don't know. Okay, I'll leave those with you. I've ripped that packet, I'm afraid. Accidentally... Oh, I don't know. <laughs> These youngsters are oh. giving me lip. Uh, oh, there's loads I love here. Um, 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 what's that Lewis and Irene one there? Oh, no, I love this. Oh, no, I've never seen this one. This is a bumbleberry. Oh, I love this. I've never seen this before. Oh, is this the one I'm allowed to open? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's only been on air once before. Oh, love it. Because now, Bumbleberry, Bumbleberry is um, the Lewis and Irene blender, right? So sometimes we'll get one or two in to go with the project. But look at these colours. Imagine that as a Bargello. Oh, that's gorgeous. How much is it? $49.99. Oh, I think I might be off on Thursday. Oh, the Alexa was switched off when the house kitchen was being done. I bet you any money it's clever enough to work when it's not plugged in. Anyway, don't want to worry anyone. <gasps> Look at these colours. Oh, look at that one. I love all of these. Right, so the two and a half inch strips are 44 inches wide. You get 40 of them for 49 99 You get all the colours. Oh, I love it. Look. Now, let's do a Bargello. Oh, I don't know if I can do a Bargello without cutting it up, but let's just do this then. Oh, do you know what you could do? Right, so I made a dress for Princess Margaret once, right? Clang. And I, what I did is I got, got strips of fabric like this, and I did like this, like this. Then that one goes underneath. There, like that one. 
And then that one went over there like that. Beautiful. And then you do it the other way around. So it goes under that one, over that one. What? Oh, okay, not this. Look. So what I did was I got all lot. I made lots of ribbons. Oh no, no, it's good like that. Oh, look, 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 look! How gorgeous this is going to look. So what colour shall I have next? Then I think I want a blue. Uh, I don't know if I want a blue. Purple. Let's put one of these in. Let's put a yellow, uh, greeny, chartreuse one in like that. Oh, I've already got that one. Come on, John. Now put that one in. Maybe I'll put that one and that one in next. No. Look. Three. Have I? Look, how gorgeous is that? I, it's obviously not a barge yellow because I can't do a barge yellow without chopping it up. But you get all of these colours in here. Oh, now check, you need to check out. There's check out, check out. There's loads of you got this in your basket now. Right, so let's just lift that one up. And that one, that's the way to do it, isn't it? That's me struggling. Put those down like that. Oh! <gasps> Right, what colour should go here now, Levi? Red, okay. Right, so that one goes there. Oh, lacklustre Levi's in there now. No. No, he's always first here. Uh, which one? That one goes there like that. <laughs> Look, how beautiful. Oh, hang on. I've gone wrong. Oh, John. <laughs> right, hang on. Come on, concentrate now. So that doesn't go like that. That goes like that. That one gets folded up. I'm confused myself now, look. There you go. Look. Love it, love it, love it. And then that one goes on there. Oh, oh no, I've never heard the phone ring before. I'm listening. Listen to the phone. Oh, it's not even for us. Wrong. <laughs> Wrong number. Wrong number. Look at that. How beautiful is that? That's joyous, isn't it? 40. 40 strips, two and a half inches wide, 44 inches in length. Oh, that is lovely. Yours will arrive looking like this. That's how yours will arrive. Oh, cracky, where's the outcome? There are only eight left, but how many in baskets? Ten in baskets. They're going to go. They're going to go. They're going to go. Oh, I think they're lovely. I love bumbleberries. So there, let's just do one more then. I think I'm having, I'm not in on Thursday, I don't think. <laughs> You're sure? <laughs> there you go. I'll put the blue in there. That's lovely, isn't it? Anyway, what I did was I did, lot, I did lots of ribbons like that and then I stitched them down and then I cut the, fab, the, the bodice out of the fabric like that. So that was the fabric. Six left now, six left.
49.99. Yeah, I think sharing is caring, isn't it? Right. Now we've got to go in the dark, Lewis and Irene. Huggy, I love this one. Hugga, it is. Hugga. Where is it? Which one is it? Is it, is it this one? A B R U L 89. Yep, that's this one. What's the matter? I won't make as much, much as a mess of this one. Just unravel that one a little bit. The, all the white bits on here are glow in the dark. No, no, hugger. I know what it is. It's like, it's like some people's hugger is a cup of hot chocolate. Some people's hugger is sitting listening to Glen Campbell. Some people's hugger is like cosy socks and a, a quilt on the sofa in front of the telly. It's that thing of like well-being and kind of taking time out of the day. It's a Scandinavian thing. Oh, yeah, it's, been, it's not a new thing. It's been around, in Scandinavia, it's been around for 18. Bet you thought you are on deal or no deal when the phone rang. I don't understand what that means. Never watched him, Deal or No Deal. Never. Um, I'm lucky Alexa doesn't understand the thick Glaswegian accent, so we're safe, says Sandra. My hubby talks to Alexa like she's the other woman with a silly soft voice. Oh, no. Is that? Am I allowed to mention it? Oh, no, because so there's a film where a man falls in love with his Alexa, apparently. That's weird. See, I don't understand all this. Is that Alexa AI, then? Yeah. I don't understand. So Jeremy Vine played a speech that apparently he said, but he didn't, it wasn't him. It was made by AI. Yeah. And, then, and then people, got, apparently on um, the social, some, some of the profiles aren't real profiles. They're AI, AI profiles. Mm -hmm. But uh, didn't, we do, didn't Tom Cruise do a film called AI once? I'm sure he filmed a film just after. Yeah, yeah, when, when, it wasn't, when it was one of those things, oh, in the future, it'll never happen. It's just frightening, isn't it? What, so you can get, you can get to write your essay? Oh, do you, think, oh do, you know, uh, do you know that Hannah got a distinction, got the highest mark possible in her MA? She's, uh, maybe she's AI. Huh? No, she didn't. Not her, all the work she put into it. She'd be so upset if she thought that. No, that'll never happen. <laughs> she only did it to prove that she could write an essay. She, that's the only reason she did it. She, it's, it's not, she's not planning to go and work on um, what she studied and everything. She studied mud in the end of the thing, didn't she? Mud and moss. Oh, don't get her talking about moss. Oh, she goes into one when you talk about moss. Right, I've got to go. I've got to go now. Uh, make sure you check out, especially on that bumbleberry. Going to sell out. There's a lot on pre-order you get involved in. Are you going to swap them over in the break? They'll all be on uh, on today's show during the break. Uh, Adele's up next. Now, the next one is the one where she's going to do half an hour on the dress and she's going to do half an hour on the two overlockers, the two affordable overlockers. We will see you in four minutes from now. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Sewing Street app. Head over to your app store now and search Sewing Street and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favourite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? then click the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking here for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching on the go with Sewing Street. Have you heard about all the different ways you can shop on Sewing Street? 
You can shop on our website, sewingstreet.com, and you can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. Just call 0800 001 4433. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street in one day, you will only pay one postage of packaging. Happy shopping! Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times, or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself something fabulous. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Have you heard about all the different ways you can shop on Sewing Street? You can shop on our website, sewingstreet.com, and you can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. Just call 0800 001 4433. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street in one day, you will only pay one postage of packaging. Happy shopping! Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. 
head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Adele's back. Hello. We're all inside the studio. We have to run all over the place here. <laughs> so and now, now, a lot of you will be thinking, I've seen Adele make this dress before. Well, yes, you have. But it sold out last month. So we thought, well, then wait and wait and wait and wait and wait. All the people who missed out last month can now come and get it this month. So we're not doing a full on demo. We're going to do half an hour of demo on this. And then we're going over there. And Adele's going to talk to you about the two overlockers, two affordable overlockers on that table over there. Um, and, 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 um, so let's just talk about the dress first of all. So it's an Austin dress. It's called the Austin dress, right? It's a sleeveless dress, um, which you can either do like this, or you can do like this. It's got dark, oh, sorry. Do what? Yeah, so you can do it like this, or you can do it like this, right? So fully gathered or flat, it's got, this one's got, oh, they both got buttons all the way down the side. Yes. But you don't need to do buttons on both sides, do you? No, I love a cheap button placket. So you could cheat and sew one side up and then you could sew halfway up to then, sort of yeah. waist and then just have buttonholes there. Absolutely. Now you can have patch pockets on it as well. Now it's American sizing this. So the first size pattern is 0 to 18 with a B cup. Advanced beginner, the Austin is a semi-fitted sleeveless dress with armhole darts and a keyhole opening at the centre front. Customise the Austin with your choice of a knee-length A-line or midi-length gathered skirt. So the bodice is the same on both of them. Yep. You just choose which skirt you want. Add up optional patch pockets to carry snacks. Oh, I see. For you and for your furry friends. I thought they were saying put your furry friends in your pocket. <laughs> Top stitch seams and button band closures at the side seams have both function and interest. So, 0 to 18 is 32 bust, 25 waist, 35 hip is the zero. 18 is a 44 bust, 37 waist and 47 hip. 18.99. 18 pounds and 99 pence. They're, obviously, they're both the same price, but we're just doing the 0 to 18 first of all. So don't go, don't immediately just get it and make the size pattern. We should never do that anyway. Make the size pattern you are in a shop. Don't do that because they're American sizes, these. Yeah. And then we also have it in the 14 to 32. So the 14 to 32 is this one. Same, same design, same pattern and everything. But this time it goes from a 40, 33, 43, which is your size 14. Uh, right the way up to a 58, 51, 61, which is your size 32. 2nd of September was when Adele did this last time. Oh, I've got an image apparently to show you. Oh, there she is. There I am. At home. Yep. With the cheese plant. <laughs> Never move your furniture around. No. Why do you? Oh, yes. Well, we have a, a bit of a... It's an L-shaped living room going into dining room. Oh, OK. So, so you not can't much really you can move it around. And we've got a corner sofa. Oh, um, no, in that case, definitely can't. Yeah, and that table behind me, actually, was what my dad made with my granddad. Oh. So when he passed away, I got the table. So it's my now plant table. Oh, lovely. No, no, only because my mum, when I was little, she used to, every week, she would move really? furniture around. Yeah. And then someone said it's a sign of not being very happy, not being content. Oh. And then I've suddenly found that I, I, have, I do it now twice a year, really. I do it winter and summer. 
So I move things around. So in the winter, I have the sofa facing the fireplace. Oh, No, yeah. in the winter, I have it facing the fireplace. And in summer, I have it miles away yeah. from the fireplace. You see, it? where we've got our L shape, our fire's in the middle. So we can't oh, move okay. it around. Yeah. So we're really restricted. Um, but yeah, we've got a nice big L shape. And then I've got my blue little uh, knitting crochet chair. Oh, uh, nobody else allowed to sit in that one. Well, the cat seems to get on it all the oh, time. Oh, yeah, of course. Uh, question to say, Ben. <laughs> Is the piano in tune? So the piano is in tune. Um, I tried to learn myself, teach myself, which I did all right. Yeah. And then my daughter started taking lessons, but then COVID hit, her lessons stopped, and then she just, so just didn't want to do it anymore. Yes. It's got plants on the top and candlesticks. No, I, I don't want to put anything that will, could damage the wood. So right. it's got a few photos on. Right. Uh, but my husband was saying we might move, get rid of it and get a nice chair there because no one plays it anymore. You see. Oh no, there's something lovely about. I, I, I'd love a piano. I can't. I'm not musical in yeah. the slightest. But I would love a piano in my house. That's the thing. I see it as a, a beautiful piece of furniture. Yes. Yeah. And it is in tune. And also, the kids will have left soon. You don't need another chair. No. No, well, they don't ever sit on my blue chair anyway. They all scooch on the soft sofa Aww. or in their They'll soon be gone, so you'll have the sofa to yourself. Yes. <laughs> Come out. Right, OK, so there are your patterns, there are your patterns. Let's do some fabrics very quickly before we go on. Now I've got linen and I've got some printed cotton. Shall I start? Oh, let's start with that linen that the yes. dress is made out of there. So this is your pink. Now, I don't think they call it pink. I think they call it lavender, this one, don't they? Lavender, this one's called. Enzyme washed, it's, 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 so it's washed, so it's pre-shrunk, but I'd still wash it. And they put an enzyme in it just to give it that lovely finish. But you can wash this, no problem at all. Lovely, isn't it? So what have we got here? We've got four metres, 100% linen, 49.99. Beautiful, right, that's that one. Oh, now, hang on, I need to, what's it, a bundle of four metres? Let me just So, four metres will give you the largest size. Of, of the largest? Of the very, size. very large. Oh, brilliant, size, yeah. brilliant. Okay, so if you make a small one, you'll have some left over. Oh, you'll have some left over then. When you make yeah, it. so for a size 18, but that's 44 bus, that's what this pattern goes up to. Yeah. You need uh, three metres. Oh, there you go, so you will have some left over. Yeah. Right, what are you using today, the shutters? The green. I just say it. Green. Oh, green. <laughs> I think, how's she announcing shutters? <laughs> I never know how to say it either, because lots of people say it in all different Isn't ways. Isn't it pistachio? Oh, is it? No, chartreuse. No, it's chartreuse. Chartreuse. It is a liqueur. It is a liqueur. Is it? But it is quite pistachio coloured. Well, I only know it because in, um, with, no, not jewellery. Going way back when I was a child, when you used to get the box of chocolates. With the boozy. Chocolate. No, no, no. Well, they were just, we know those, there's not any rules, but one of them was a chartreuse, and you bit into it and it dribbled. So it's like oh. a liqueur chocolate. But I don't think it had that much alcohol in it because it was in a normal, like, dairy box yeah. or something like that. I've not it? seen liqueur, liqueur chocolates for years. You've not lived. No, I had them when I was yeah, growing yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. But you know, when you see all the Christmas chocolate, I don't really see them anymore. No, you're right, but then you also don't see jellied fruits anymore, do you? Oh, candied fruits. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Anyway, that's your shutters. Then I've got, I'm imagining duck egg. Might not be. Oh, teal, they've called that one, have they? Mm. No, I've got pewter and navia over there, so it's teal. It's definitely teal. I'd say that was definitely more of a dark duck egg than a teal, wouldn't you? Yeah, teal's more of a green, isn't it? Yeah. 49.99. Then I've got the navy. Beautiful. This is gorgeous fabric, I can't tell you. So if you're going to make any of Jules's dresses as well, Jules Fallon's dresses, these, these are lovely linens for those. And trousers. And trousers. And jackets. And jackets. And cushions. Yes. Forty-nine Do you know what this would be lovely with? And I wouldn't normally mix the linen and the cotton, but you know the uh, bumbleberry strips we just had? I'd add strips of this in between as well. Mmm, a little flash. A little pop. little pop of colour, yeah. Uh, then I've got red. That's red, red. It's called dark red. <laughs> Not oh. light red. <laughs> no, I wouldn't call it dark, though. I'd call it bright. Bright red, that one. It's almost like post box red. Is it? Do you think? No. Royal red. Royal red? Is that a colour? Royal red. <laughs> and then last but not least, I've got in the linen, this one. 
uh, pewter. Pewter. 49.99 for your four metres there. Then I've got two printed cottons. I've got a paisley for Charlie. Well, it's paisley and succulent, I'd say, that one. Nice, snap. Uh, you'd have to back it if you're going to make a jacket. A back it to make it. 29.99, that's a good price. 29.99. Charlie, you can't make jeans out of it. Well, you could, but they wouldn't be like your normal jeans. I've never seen you in a pair of jeans. What I think show? I've only ever seen Charlie in tracksuits. I've never seen him in proper clothes. I've not even noticed what he's wearing. I know he's wearing a hoodie today. He what? He's wearing a hoodie. That's all he wears. Well, he's got something on the bottom, Oh, yeah, no, no. <laughs> like hoodies and tracksuit trousers. Yeah, and then oh. he's, he's about this tall and he's got feet this big. Oh. Not like he's going to topple over, is it? <laughs> well, he might now. He's bulking up for winter. <laughs> that, that was his words, not mine. He's like, I'm bulking up for winter. And I said, you've been bulking up all summer. What are you talking about? And then I've got the floral sprig one. 29.99. Have you? He's getting upset now. I have four jeans. I have four jeans. Oh. And you've worn what? You worn a purple paisley shirt once. I bought you that for his birthday. <laughs> Did he wear it out of just politeness? Yeah. Oh, no, he came, no, he came in. Went, I've got your shirt on, John. I've never seen it since. <laughs> What's the matter? Right, okay, 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 right. So now yep. we've only got, well, we've only got 15 minutes left, but you can have a bit longer. Um, because you, you, when we're we, just going to look at the top part. When you were on last time, we made the whole dress. Yep. So if you want to go and look at the YouTube for the 2nd of September, then please do so. So we'll just do a recap of the bodice now before we go over and do the overlockers. Yeah. yeah. So the bodice, it has bust starts, but they come from the armpit rather right. than from the side seam, okay? Yeah. So if you need to do any adjustment on this, I would say 100% make a 12. Right. Yeah. Okay. It also has buttons either side. So it's a little bit of a different construction um, in the fact that really, if I opened it up, it's too... One yeah, yeah, so it's only attached piece. really at the shoulder seams. It is. The two side seams. Got... Now, have you done it properly there? Have you done yes. buttons all the way down? All the way sides? down. And then also it's got a binded uh, neck. Bound. Bound, yeah. Neckline and yeah. also arm. Lovely. Line. So and a little button. Do. And a little button. Now this is my little tip. So it asks for a ru uh, what's it called? Rulo. A rulo. But I actually got a little bit of elastic. Oh, okay. Because I think that's a little bit easier to pop through yes. the button and also a little bit more comfortable. Yeah, because it'll move with you, won't it? It will, and like sort of doesn't feel so restrictive. Yeah, right. And yeah, it's got this keyhole. Now, if you're a bit worried about how low that is, you could just always Make bring it Make it shorter, because it, it doesn't affect how you get no. it on or off or anything like that. No. The, only, the only thing I'm going to tell you about this is you will not be able to put sleeves in it. No. One, because it opens down the side seams, and two, because the armhole is cut too yes. open for a sleeve. But I was talking to my friend at work, actually, and she said it would be, look beautiful with a long sleeve top on underneath. Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. Look really yeah. nice. So. Well, that, so that means you can wear it all year round. Yes, and we often think of linen only as a summer yeah. fabric, but you can layer it up. Because it's breathable, you won't feel stuffy as you're no, layering no, it up. Exactly. So it would be lovely to have a pair of tights. Well, opaque, nice sleeve. thick opaque tights and boots. Yeah, and so long, long sleeve, sleeve. top. Yeah. Uh, and then a card, nice chunky cardigan, yeah. wool cardigan. That owner cardigan. Love it. Okay. Right. So, also, you do need a little bit of interfacing. Oh, right. Now, okay. for some reason, I've only got the black interfacing yeah. in the show this time. It's very, oh, no, it's very popular. It is very popular, but don't use it on the lighter colours. If you've got the shutters or the pink or the teal, don't use it on that because it might show through. But uh, this was my idea, this, because we always sell the white one. Yeah, we never And I said, what happens if you do a black dress or yeah. a dark dress or a, a denim dress or something? Use this one instead. It's 2 99 for half a metre. It's cut to order. So it's 90 centimetres wide. So if you wanted a three metre piece, order six units, you'll get three metres. Yeah, and I always say have uh, interfacing in your stash. Oh, totally. All so the time. So you get to a project and then go, oh, I've forgotten the interfacing. Yeah. If you just always keep it topped up, it's one of those things like your threads. Yeah. Okay. And the reason why you do need it is it goes on the side to give that some stability as you're putting those buttons. Oh, yes, in. yes. Because you wouldn't Okay, because it's too. not a separate placket. It's still the same. Oh, okay. You fold it over and that creates the placket. Okay. okay. So please do put that in. So I'm going to pop the bus starts in. We're going to join it together and then we're going to put the neck. 
binding in. Brilliant. And then we'll get onto the overlockers. Yeah, fantastic. Okay, so just pop this on. That's her giving you he a, a heads up, Levi, that we're coming over to do overlockers. <laughs> I'm not being bossy. Just putting the bus starts in. Now, my tip for bus starts here is the last part you don't want to shorten your... No, sorry, you don't want to do a back stitch. Right. Because you want these bus starts to fit nice and flat over the bust, OK? So what I recommend is that you get your stitch length and just pop it all the way down and then you can just go off. Like that. And I've never had one undo on me yeah. by doing that. OK, you can also do that and then tie it if you really want to be sure that yeah. it's it's done correctly. OK, right. Next bus start. And then what I definitely recommend is that you iron these bus starts out. So I know before we had a ham, didn't we? Oh, yeah, yeah. They're from the other hour, from the yeah. hour earlier. The ham. Is the ham around? Levi, the ham. <laughs> the one, not the one in the bag, the one to, that uh, Dale can use. Yeah, and then what we'll do is really press this out because what bus starts do is it gives shape to a flat piece of fabric because yes. our bodies are not flat, so we need to have a 3D shape, shape created. Thank you. Thanks. And then these are brilliant. So they're full of sawdust, aren't they? Yeah, that's right. So they're nice and... and um, what would you call it? Solid. So, no, but it's not really solid. Because if it's solid, you wouldn't be able Robust. to... Robust. Well, basically, they're full of sawdust, really so you well. can manipulate them to the shape yes. that you want. And then what happens is the, you can steam and steam and steam, and the sawdust gets wet, but then it'll dry naturally. I just keep mine on top of the radiator. Uh, yeah. In the winter, anyway. And, uh, and it really helps get that beautiful shape, because if you're trying to press that, Dark on the flat, on the yeah. flat you're going to get a small yes, yeah. gather there developing. Yeah, I think people think they're only for curve, but they're for anything that's three, slightly 3 d Yeah, necklines, yeah. perfect. Armholes. Sleeves, Armholes, yeah. Toys, um, bags. Sleeve heads as well. Oh, it's definitely a sleeve head, yeah. Yeah. So I'm just pressing that. Yeah. Now, like you said before, 100% always pre-wash fabric. Yep. Yeah. Okay, I never ever sew without pre-washing my fabric. First. Do you do? You're talking dress. We're talking dressmaking now. Yeah. If you um, were making a quilt, do you make quilts? At all? Never made one. Okay, I won't ask you that question. Then. Sorry. No, that's fine. Never no, made okay. one. Um, I've got a runner that's half done that I started years ago. Table runner. Yeah, and I'm not very accurate in the fact that the points are all matching up, and oh. it's annoying me. So I've kind of put it yeah. to one place. Okay. Well, but, different people like different skills, don't they? Different absolutely. Art, they? And I'm really enjoying my crochet at the moment. Oh, good. Yes, now, did I see somewhere that you'd done one of those amazing blankets? Oh, yes. One of that, was the, it the Persian tiles. Yes. yes. So that sits on my, uh, my knitting chair. And then I'm just making some mittens at the moment. Mittens? Mittens. Crocheted mittens? Yes. Oh. Yes. Actually, we went to, is it Compton Verney? That, that very posh house. Dulcie and I went to a... F no, it can't have been last Christmas. Tell me that's not Christmas. It must have been a Christmas fair. Um, and nearly every stall, it's all like um, artisan mm. makers and everything like that. It costs £17.50 to go in. <gasps> I know, just to get in through the door. Um, but... Um, and the Warwickshire, the Warwickshire st stitchers were there as well. But, but they had a... Um, nearly everybody had crocheted. And Dulcie bought a lot of them for... She was working on... I can tell you now. I couldn't tell you at the time. She was working on a film called, called Wicked. Right. The Munchkins then. She was buying all these amazing Ooh. crocheted, like, green mittens. And yeah. Like that. I love crochet because I can do it quicker than knitting. Knitting yeah. takes me forever. You only have one stick as well, don't you? Yeah. Uh, Crazy Rain says hello. Wendy says, morning, John. Watching you whilst travelling to pick up my daughter and the grandkids to go on holiday. <gasps> Ooh, Wendy, how lovely. Nice. I hope you're not watching while you're driving. OK, what I have now done is yep. I have just sewn up the front and I've stopped at the notch. Right, okay. so that's where, that's where the pattern tells you to go yes, to. Yes, If you does. want it higher, would you yes. just carry on going up higher? Up yes, but I would try it Over your head. before because I wouldn't want anyone to get it stuck. No. Now, 
I need to also put the back seam in. There is a back seam to this. All right. Don't cut it on the fold because, as you can see, John, our That's back yeah. has a very slight curve to it. Yeah. And you don't want it to be straight like that because then it will stick out, out at yeah. the back. I'm just going to, again, you've got to remember right size to right size. And we've also got interfacing on the edges of these as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. So your centre back seam's not the straight then, it's a slight, not a slight curve. Very slight curve at the top. Yeah. So just be careful with that because you want to carry that through. It's not straight, otherwise you could have done this on the fold. Yeah. And then what we're going to do is we're going to attach them at the shoulders and then put the neck binding on. And especially when you do work with linen, press, press, press. Because let me just show you the difference. Yeah. So there is a seam that's not pressed. Yeah. Okay. And there is a seam that has been pressed. Right. So there's a really clear difference. Yeah. And by not pressing it, you're going to be shortchanging yourself because that's not going to be the right width. Then when you come to do the next part, it's all going to be out. Even uh, in dressmaking, I would suggest pieces. that you iron every time you Absolutely. sew a seam, you press it, yeah. Absolutely. I always have my sewing machine, sewing machine and iron yeah. set up together. When I went over to my sister-in-law's, we, we did a bit of a sewing day and oh, we yeah. always have the, we're like, if, you yeah. want, if we put this on a, Time lapse would be up, down, up, down, yeah, up, yeah, yeah, down, yeah. constantly, yeah, constantly moving. So you go see your sister-in-law and you have a sewing day, do you? Yes, we do. So we go over and it, it makes us sew because you just sit there chatting away. Yeah. And the kids, the husband? Well, the husbands go metal detecting together. Okay. And then we do sewing together. Ah, oh, kids? Uh, well, they're teenagers now. Well, you the them. youngest ones, the older ones, they do what they want. Right. The youngest two, they play together. Oh. They're 11, so they still play together. They're, they're adorable together. They're like the closest cousins. Oh. Um, same so age. she got kids the same age as your kids? Yeah, so she has three children, and there's uh, a three-year gap, two-and-a-half-year gap, yeah. then my daughter, then their youngest, then my youngest. Oh, There's only a couple of months between them. They all get them. on nicely. They do, they do. And the, the youngest, they are now 11, but in the family we always say, oh, what are the babies doing? Yeah. We call that, them the babies. You'll soon have to stop that when they start getting moody with you. No, they'll always be the babies. They get spoiled. But they're funny to listen to. They, they talk to each other like sisters. That one's, I, I'm never going to be worried about them because they Isabel... Isab yeah, Isabel is sort of the one that will be like, right, do you think we should do that? And then M Michaela's the one that's like, yeah, let's go. And the brave one actually gets bakish, oh. fantastic baker. And then Isabel's the one that's like, right, we now need to tidy up. So Which one's yours then? Isabel. Mine's oh, okay, oh, blame me. I thought then, you said the... No, no. Um, Michaela's very much like my eldest. They're like oh. two peas in a pod. They're so alike. And they're your sister... Sister-in-law, so kid. Alex... Oh, the is twins? The is twins. It the, twin, the husband's twin? Yes. Right. And we're... Um, me and my sister-in-law are off on holiday together. Just the two of you? Yes. Where are you off to? New York. My husband... You've only just come back from Australia. I know, if my husband's hearing this, he's like, all we ever hear about is New York. Oh. Like, <laughs> so, yeah. When are you going? At half term. Which is what date's that? Uh, we're going there for Halloween. Oh! <gasps> They really, really do Halloween big. And then, of course, there's the parades and yep, the shops. Yeah, that's what we're going to go and watch. Fantastic. So we've got it all sorted. Me and my sister-in-law. No you know kids. where you're staying? Yep, got it all sorted. I love Flying that. out on the Monday, coming back Friday morning. Oh, oh that'd be perfect. You yeah. won't, you'll, be, you'll be in tears when you come. Have you been before? Yeah, only when I was really young. Oh, no. So no, no, no. as an adult, I've never been. And it's just getting cold. And, and you know, you see in the films, you see the grates on the road and the steam coming yes. out. Well, that doesn't really happen. And I moved there in the winter. It did. It's like, look, look, the steam coming Aww. out the road. It's just fantastic. And we're going ice skating in Central Park. Oh, God. Really Empire State Building. Yeah. So. And it's lovely because me and my sister-in-law, we've already got our itinerary sorted. We're very alike. So we're going to be like, right, next shop. Next, next. Oh, like brilliant. This.
We've okay. got to Barney's. Barney's is a gorgeous shop. Ooh. Clothes shop, it's gorgeous. Oh, really? Well, we're in the garment district, so oh, yeah. I've got a voucher for Mood Fabrics. Oh, very nice. So I'm going to go there, buy some fabric. Oh. Anyway, back to the press. Oh, sorry. That's right. Right, the binding is cut on the bias. And right. I want to talk about this if you've never heard about what binding is. You can buy pre-bought uh, made binding, but this actually gives you a piece to make it. Now, with it being on the bias, it allows it, look, to stretch. Yeah. If we did it on the grain, there'd be no stretch. And you need that stretch because we're putting this to a curve. Yes. In the instructions, it doesn't talk about folding this in half to begin with. I've done it because I find it easier than trying to fold it in half whilst it's on here. Yeah. Okay. What we're going to now do, have this right side to right side, and we're going to put the binding directly to the neckline. Right. Yep. Raw and, edge to raw edge. Yep. And as you can see, that fold in a moment is going to fold over and then create a beautiful finish Lovely. on that side. Now... They, this is longer than the actual neckband, and there's a reason for it. So that you can, you're not going to stretch this part out, but mm -hmm. this part does have a little bit of gear. Yeah. So we're going all the way around. Once we've done this, we will sew it at a normal seam allowance, but then we need to cut it down because you don't want any bulk here either. And I've also pressed the seams open on the shoulders yep. to try and relieve, relieve all that bulk and also pressed the seams at the back. Yeah. Um, and it's going all the way around. Now, if you find this way a little bit fiddly, get some shop-bought bias binding. And oh, yeah, it that yeah, way. yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't have to be. <coughs> you can't see this. <coughs> but I think it's worth splashing out on... Um, you'll go to the haberdashery shop and you'll see they've got cheap and they've got yeah, the more the expensive. More exp I would go for the more expensive. And I wouldn't normally say that, if, especially if you've got a lovely satiny one, because remember that is going to be round your neck yep. the whole time. And the cheap ones tend to be that rough, I don't know what it's made out of. They say it's cotton, but it's but the it's roughest cotton. Yeah, and it's so really could, stiff. And it's a loose weave and everything. Yes. Uh, and if you think that's going to be round your neck the whole time doing that. So if you can get a satinized one or a really beautiful cotton lawn one, then do that one. I'll tell you what liberties sell the most gorgeous yes. bias binding made out of their lawn. You'd only need half a metre to go yep. around your neck, couldn't you, sort of thing. And then that, oh, no, because you want to do your armholes as yep. well. But that way you know you're going to have a really lovely cotton next to your skin. Yeah, like or you can actually use these pattern pieces if you've got some scraps. Oh, yeah, oh, yes. you can make your own, liberty. obviously make your own, yeah. Um, sure. Because there's lots of tutorials where you sew it round and round and round, don't you? And then it creates a beautiful spool. Yes. So there's lots of options that you can do with the bias binding. And it does leave a lovely finish instead of having a big facing. Yes. That has a tendency oh, no, to it's slip neat. out. It's very neat. Very, very neat. And also, neat. I think this has been taken from a vintage pattern because you normally see the darts going into the armhole in a vintage do pattern. You? Yeah, so I think it, it's got a kind of taken from a 1950s vibe, I think. Oh. It's an unusual shape dress. Yeah. And then I think, I did the straight um, skirt. Skirt. I think the gathered would give a completely different feel to oh, it. Oh, no, totally. Totally. Totally yeah. different feel. Now, I am conscious of the time, so all I'm going to do is quickly cut this down just so that I can do a quick stitch yeah. on the top so that you can see the effect. All right, lovely. Okay. And then we'll move on. Have you got a ho next holiday book, John? No, I've had three this year. Yeah, but I thought you'd be planning next no, year's um, uh, The fam, my, my brother wants to go somewhere like Barbados next year for Ooh, the family holiday. Oh, like Caribbean. Yeah, but also his middle child, George, is getting married in America soon. We don't know when, but um, they live in New York, but they, well, in New York State, not in New York. Yeah. Um, but they want to get married. They want to move back to California because that's where they met at university in California. Mm. They want to get married on the, well, there's a bit of a thing going on. George wants to get married on the beach in, and like have a lovely linen-y. Tegan wants full on, big, big dress, one. loads of people, big hotel and everything like that. So we'll have to wait and see what that's like. Uh, sadly, I had to miss the first of Adele's show. What fabric and colour is the jumpsuit she's wearing? Thank you. Helen, it was the me... No, light. No, so lightweight. Light. It light. was the light coloured denim or chambre, light coloured chambre. Uh, that was the colour she's wearing. Yes. 
Uh, morning. Oh, Stelsey. Stelsey, my friend, Dulcie. Hey. Just talked about it. Um, watching you with Diana Collins, who's a very famous costume designer. Very famous costume designer. Uh, she's come up today for the weekend. Oh, that's lovely. I was just talking about you, Dulcie. Ooh. When we went to that um, fair, that craft fair at... Um, Compton Verney. Was that last Christmas? That wasn't last Christmas. It was cold, wasn't it? Because we sat outside and had our coffees and hot chocolates outside and we saw the Watcher Stitchers, didn't we? It was, what's the name? Judy from Kyneton. Anyway, anyway, anyway. anyway. Um, onwards, because we've got to get to the overlock. Yeah, I'm just quickly pressing this on the inside just to show everybody what it would look like. This does take some time. Yeah. Please don't rush this part. I know I'm doing it incredibly fast to give the vision of what it will be. I would spend more time making sure that that seam is nice and flush like that. Yes. And that all of those raw edges are covered by the bias binding. This is also another time I'd get my ham Yes, exactly. Out. Have you given it back to Levi? Has he put it away well, already? It's on here on my trolley. Oh. But I'm just quickly doing it. He's normally put it away and refiled it by now. I wonder is if he's he very efficient? Fabric. He's very efficient. He just doesn't like staying very late after the show's finished. Oh. Is that your feedback? Hey. Is that your professional feedback? My professional No, he's, he's very good. <laughs> if, he, if he's in the mood. Where is he? <laughs> Lacklustre Levi against Leave It Out Levi. Oh. Right. If right. you could do a little bit of a close-up, I can show you what's, what's actually yep. happening here. Come on down then. So there is our raw edge. I've cut that down. There's our fold. So we fold it and then fold it again. And then what we will do is sew along here. Yeah. And then that will give an absolute beautiful finish. Yeah. And brilliant when you're throwing it in and out the washing machine. Yes. It's not going to go. Like sometimes it won't. a facing will fray or get stuck or whatever. This is just, and you just press it and it's done. Sort of thing. Yeah. And that will go all the way around. And like I say, it does take some time. Yeah. Please take your time, press, press, press. And the beauty of this linen is it really does press. Oh, yeah. You don't beautiful. want to have the raw edge like that. Don't do that yep. because otherwise that will fray. Yeah. You fold it, fold it over, and then it completely encases that seat. Brilliant. Okay. So what we're saying is go to the 2nd of September and you can watch a full-on demonstration of the whole of that dress totally. We just wanted to bring it back today because so many of you missed out on that day. So while Adele makes her way over to the overlockers, I'm going to just recap the two, the two pattern sizes we've got because it comes in two different sizes. It's the Austin dress, two different versions. The bodice is the same on both. Bodice is the same on both, right? But the different skirts, you can do the flat skirt that we've just done, the flush skirt, or the gathered skirt. You've also got pockets that you can put on it as well. 18 99 Now, this is American size, is 0 to 18 B cup. Um, and that goes from a 32 bust up to a 44 bust. And then we also have it in the uh, sizes 14 to 32 D cup. And that one goes from... A 40 bust up to a 58 inch bust. They're your measurements, not finished measurements, your measurements. All the fabrics, all the linens, all the cottons and everything are all on the website because we need to move over now to do overlockers. So while I walk over there and we move a couple of cameras, you need to watch, are you ready? This short film. Have you heard about all the different ways you can shop on Sewing Street? You can shop on our website, sewingstreet.com, and you can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. Just call 0800 001 4433. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app, onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times, or four times. So that means you pay once, 
Then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself something fabulous. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times, or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself something fabulous. And we're back. And now look at it on a different table again <laughs> in our new studio. It's fabulous. It's going to move around, isn't it? Right, very quickly, I've got three overlockers to bring you today. I've got the air threader in the next hour in about 20 minutes, right? But Adele's going to talk to you about these two that we've got today. So I'm just going to bring the graphics in for these two, first of all. The most affordable one we do is the 664, right? Now, £339. Uh, it's on, it's on three-way split play as well, I think, this one, isn't it? Let's just check, let's just check, let's just check. <gasps> I'll wait, I'll wait. Oh, there you go, 0% interest. Oh, it's so slow today. <laughs> uh, hang on, that's not three-way. Is that five-way? Five five-way, five-way five split pay. Blimey, that's ridiculous, isn't it? We were trying to do our maths quickly. No, no, we weren't. Well, no, because I was expecting to be at 113 yeah. or something yeah. like that. So five-way split pay, first of all. No interest charge whatsoever. You don't have to wait till you finish paying for it. It's sent after your first payment. So if you buy this today you do, and you take split pay, you do your first instalment. If you haven't bought anything else yet today, you'd also pay your £3.95 post of packaging. However, if you've already bought something else, you don't add any P&P to it. So now, the thing, I'll be very quick, uh, because I want Adele to do all the talking in this hour, but when I got my first overlocker at, well, it was a great big industrial... Oh! Great big industrial one <laughs> <laughs> from, um, fr uh, from, I don't know what happened then because there's nobody on the camera. Um, uh, it was when I was at Merc the Mercury Theatre in Colchester and uh, we bought the industrial one. I couldn't. And poor old Franklin's, the boys at Franklin's had to keep coming up to re-thread it for me because it was the threading that was frightened, frightening. The yeah. thing that's brilliant about these, I'll just show you very quickly on this one. I'll turn it to two, shall I? There you go. You can see that you follow all of the threads. Each thread has a green, a yellow, a red, and a blue, right? You follow the lines. It's also in the instructions manual. Um, and it's so easy, so easy to follow this one. So this is the most affordable one we do at £339. It's the 664. Now, the one Adele has got is called the 664 Pro. So what it is, it's the same machine, but like a deluxe version of it. So Adele's going to go through in a second what yes. all the different things are. So it's £559. That will be on now to be interesting to see what split pay this is on. Because if this is on five-way <coughs> five split pay, that'll be brilliant as well. But let's... Oh, yep. Yes. They're not meant to be on five... Five-way split pay is for our sewing machines that are like 3,000 and things like that. Not for things that are £559. But anyway, we will not charge you any interest whatsoever. So you will pay £111.80 um, uh, for, for five months. One today and then four after that. Be paid for in January. Uh, the best thing is what, Ben? Oh, we're crashing the price. Oh, Oh, it's the deal. It's the last day of the overlocker deals because I've, I've got a deal on the uh, air threader in a minute. Okay, so it's going to be less than 100. Look, if you take the five-way split, it's going to be less than 100 pounds a month. 80 something. There you go. She's working it out in her head. 95. 95. Just so well you don't teach maths, isn't it? Science is the application of maths. She's a science teacher. <laughs> uh, anyway, 470 pounds. Right, now, why do you love this machine? Then? Okay, so why I love this machine is this dial here. Right. Okay, because there is more to an overlock than just a, an overcast stitch. Oh, sorry, sorry. No, yep. no, I don't think they will, uh, Ben. 
Right, carry right. on. So there are 12 different stitches that you can choose. Right. And that is the thing. People think, oh, I only have to do uh, stretch fabrics if I have an overlocker. No, you don't. There's absolutely abundance of what you can do with this. So there's gathering. Uh, there's, uh, let's just see. Yes? Now, do we have to turn it round for you? There we go. There you go. Is that right? There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Right. So there's... New cameras, new studio. We'll get it right. <laughs> there's your normal stitch and your st uh, stretch stitch. Yeah. But then there's gathering. There's stretch wraps if you want to do sportswear and swimwear. There is a uh, three t uh, threads wide, three threads and narrow, and then a rolled hem. If you want to do really delicate sort of um, lingerie or underwear, you know, where you've got those really beautiful edges. Or um, you could do, if you make chiffon scarves for people at yes. Christmas, just buy a few metres of chiffon, do the rolled hem yeah. around the edge and you've got presents like that, haven't you? Absolutely. And there's not even just one rolled hem, there's two, two versions hems, yeah. and then overcast. But also there's a flat lock, flat lock hem. Can't get me worse. Oh, no, exactly. So this is to talk about undergarments. Now, if you look at bras along the edge here, you actually have the flat lot where the elastic's in. Right. So it just gives a beautiful finish to your garment. Yeah, brilliant. So I definitely was under the illusion that if I had an overlock, I can use it on stretch. Yeah. I always have mine set up now because I can finish my seams with it, I can gather with it and so on. Well, and also when Rebecca Harrison's in, because she's got to travel from home, she cuts all the pieces out at home and she does what I used to do in theatre and Dulcie used to do in theatre as well, is you'd cut all your pieces out and you'd automatically yep. overlock around all the edges. Yep. So you're it's kind of stable and everything. Whether or not you use that as your finished edge, which most of the time you would yep. do, but you know that it's not. And so if, you, if you're going to start a project, then not go back to it for a little while. You're not going to fade away and things no. like that. I love, I love overlocking. Yes. Sort of, I mean, I just think it's the best thing because it's exhilarating to use as well. Yeah. But what were you saying about that thing so on the front then? This dial on the front tells you exactly what tension that you have it on, at what point you have the a needle and also talks about, so this there's something called the, the feed, okay? Differential feed. That's it. Yeah. So on a normal machine, you only have an underdog feed. Yeah. And then the top one is just pressed with the foot. Whereas on an overlocker, it's being pushed through on top and bottom. So it's like having your walking foot on then? Absolutely. Yeah. But <coughs> need to, if you have more delicate fabric, yeah. then you don't want to have that pressure all the time, the same as what you would do if you had a, a woven fabric. Yeah. And so what this does is it tells you exactly what setting that you need to have everything on for which So you choose which stitch in. you want. So if you, so for example, if you... Oh, go, on, go on. Go on then. No, so no, you get... No, no. One, two, I've, OK, number five then. Number five. So yeah. what we then do is turn this dial till it says number five. Yeah. Now, that tells us that we only need three threads. We won't need the red threads. Right. So we take that one out. It also tells us the tension for each of the threads. Right. Three, three and three. So this tension frightens a lot of people. Absolutely. On my terms, you know, I won't touch my tension at all. Yes. Really, unless I really have to. But this way, you can play with your tension and, and know that you're going to be doing the right thing. Yeah, so I've had an instance with my overlocker that doesn't have this, that I moved it, and as I was moving it, I moved these dials, and I've now never been able to get it back. Perfectly. Oh, no. So it is a little bit frustrating. Like, this one here, you can see, it's all a bit too tight, yeah. and it's took me a little bit of time to try and feel comfortable with it again. So this tells me about exactly what tension, tells me what stitch length to have it at, and also about my differential, uh, differential, differential feed. Differential feed needs to be on one, okay? Right. Also, it tells <coughs> me that I only need the left-hand needle, not the right-hand needle. Right, if you're only using one needle, take the other one out, don't yep. leave it in. No. Because it's still gonna be going up and down through your fabric like that, and you don't want that to happen. And also, it has a dial here that tells you exactly where that cutter's going to be and where yep. that needle's going to be. Because also, people get very worried about uh, seam allowance and overlock. Uh -huh. But this one tells you exactly where that needle is going to be hitting and what seam allowance is going to be there before the cutter comes along. Okay, and in your, in your um, instructions manual, it takes you through absolutely everything, not just, the, not just the threading up or anything like that. It also tells you how to replace the knife, how to clean the upper knife, how to clean the feed dog, how to oil the machine, uh, test stitching and everything like that. Yep. Now, um, 
it does gathering, doesn't it? I'm yes. Just, I don't. I can't see where. So it's, it's... that is number three. Oh, okay. Oh, we've already read that out. So number three, because what you do is you three. change the tension completely, change the differential feed, and it will actually gather for Shall you. Shall we try it? Oh, go on then, if you want to. Okay. Oh, so I've got exciting. some fabric. Yeah. So the gathering, if you didn't know where this was, yeah. you've also got inside this sleeve here, yeah. uh, cover, you've got pictures of all the stitches. So you know, yeah. oh, number three was my gathering. Change this to number three. It says three, 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 three. So I'm going to change all my dials now to three. Yeah. It says that my stitch length needs to be on four. So I'm going to change my stitch length till it's on four. I'm just going to turn this around to make sure it's on. Yep. And then it says my feed needs to be between 1.5 and 2.25. Yeah. So let's change that. Okay. Yeah. And then I've got some fabric right, here. Close. It won't so it won't, won't stitch so, that. No. Also, what you need to know is the 664 Pro does come with a little... Um, Gubbins tray, uh, Levi, when next time this one comes out, yes. you know, the little tray that sits there, that comes with the six. We're all learning, that comes with it, so your rubbish can drop into it. The 664 doesn't come with it. You can buy a, a, a one from Elna, we don't sell it from there, but this one comes with the little tray to catch all the threads and the fabric and yes. things like that. Do you so, want to turn the machine towards you, yeah. safety-wise? And then I've got two needles. It's telling me to keep the bottom lever down on stitch. I've got, I'm just going through everything. Yeah. Then, yep, I want the, uh, the cutter up and then N, which is where my needle is yep. sitting. Right, let's see if this works. So this is... Oh, no, is it... it Hold on, I know what we can do. Okay. All we've got to do is this. Jump. Ready? Jump. Oh. Now, yeah. also, it is a little bit heavier than your normal machine, but this has also got feet that stick. Suction, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So it's really stable. It's going to reach the floor. I'll put it onto there, John, look. OK, you sure? Yes. Right. <gasps> and let's see. Oh, 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 mind your fingers. Now, that's the thing. You said mind your fingers. Yeah. My finger can't get anywhere near the footer. Near the footer. blade, no. OK. Now, we've got some scissors, John. Uh, on the wall behind you there. Oh, yes, and I'll make sure I pop them back. Yeah. Now, it's started to gather. Yeah up there but if you wanted more of a gather let's change the stitch lengths again and let's go again so you've got a slight gather now this is the thing with gathering I would only do this gather if you weren't trying to get a piece into a certain length yeah because it gathers it you can't then pull it right okay. all right yeah. so just be aware of that and then So it's only a very slight gather because this is quite thick fabric. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So and also is... you play with play yeah. with all your dials, everything. There was something going on there. Also, if you do a rolled hem, you need to change this from standard yep. stitch to rolled hem foot there as well. There you rolled go. hem stitch as well. Um, so not only can you gather, you can do all those different um, widths and everything that we told you about. Uh, right now it does. Oh no, hang on, just go up the other way around. Yep. It does come with a little box. With all of your tools in, your little pincers in, your um, screwdriver, everything, little um, uh, nets to go over your threads and everything like that. And uh, also and... some brilliant tweezers. Oh, yes, I was using them earlier to, to when I have threaded up the other one. Yes. You need your tweezers you to do your tweezers. threading, yeah. But also it's got a threading guide here, doesn't it, John? Yeah. So you can't just put them in the order. There is a particular way that yeah. they have to be threaded. Yeah, or we'll start from this side. You'll we'll start yeah. from the green side over and there and work your way across. And your last ones to go Exactly. In. Also, you lift the foot up while you're threading it. If you open this, I mean, I will switch the machine off when I'm threading it up, just be on the safe side. But if you, if you try and press that button now, because um, the, the thing is open, it should, no. look, nothing, it, it won't work. If the things are open, it won't work. Um, and then also, the other thing I always do is I very seldom, it has got a, um, a, a, a foot lift at the back there. Oh, no, hang on, which way do I have to turn that? Mm -hmm. You see there, it's got a foot lift at the back here. If you've got, a, like, a really oh. bulky, some wool. Hang on, where's, where's the camera? Oh, it's over there. Hang on, there you go. <laughs> Like, look, there. Yeah. you know on your sewing machine, you lift your foot up all the time like this. We'll get Levi to get it on number two. There you go. Look, I don't do that. I just lift this up here and the fabric goes underneath. But while you're there, 
You see that red button in, I've got to do it backwards. <laughs> see that red button in there? If you're having trouble threading your needle, all you do is you just press that little red button and your needles will come up like that for you to thread them. And then when you need them to go back in, you just put them back down again. So it's not so difficult to get to to thread your, th thread your threads through your needles. Yeah. Oh, I see it. Can you see it? It's like yeah. a little red button. Just press it in. Your needles will come up, thread them, press the button back down again, just put it oh, back down into space. Amazing. And you don't have to have it with a blade. If you don't want to do cutting... It disengage your blade. Disengage your blade Completely so you don't do cutting. You, um, so, so it's doing all that stuff with the amount of people who've got this who absolutely love it. But remember, today is the last day, last day of this deal for £479. So tomorrow... When I'm in tomorrow, if I do this tomorrow, it'll be £559 again tomorrow. Uh, Five-way split pay. So October, November, December, January, February. Oh, Valentine's Day to be paid for. Valentine's Day. What will I say, Ben? Yeah, £95.80 is your, is, your, uh, is your split pay payment. No interest charge whatsoever. We send it out. Now, you get a two-year warranty from uh, Elna. They come directly from Elna in Stockport. They're on the shelves waiting to come to you now. Um, you get your two-year warranty. Also, their customer service team are brilliant. And they, you can ring up and go, oh, I can't get this to work. And they'll take you through it. They'll talk you through it. They are fantastic. But in here, in the brochure, it has everything, troubleshooting, everything you need to know is also in the brochure, as well as being on the front of, that, of the machine there. Right. Right. We're going to go for a quick break now. When we come back, I will show you the air threader, which is a different... Now, uh, the thing is, I go wild about the air threader. It's, it's twice that price. So it depends on your budget. It does, it does depend on your budget. If you can afford it, well, I'll show you. Go for the air thread because it's so easy. It, it, you can thread it quicker than you can thread a sewing machine. It's that easy. Um, and I've got all sorts of tools and books and everything like that. When are you back next? Um, November, I think, the 18th. November the 18th? Yes. Oh, it's not that far away. No, no. I'm busy. Busy, busy, <laughs> busy. So when's your half term? So my half term begins the 30th of October. And, but your kids have already had theirs? Already had theirs, so they were off last week. I've got another week left at school, but then I will only have a short half term before Christmas. They've got a big nine week half term. And then where does, your, where does New York fit into there? Uh, when I'm on half term. Oh, that's soon. So next time we see you, you'll have been to New York. Yes. You'll have bought us all a present from New York. Then. Oh, so I've already started packing. Uh, fridge magnet. Oh, that's the point, when we move studios, we have a column in the gallery there where we all brought the uh, we all brought our um. We need to go and get them then. We need to go and get them. <laughs> uh, I'll see you. Thanks ever so much. Thank I'll see you. you in four minutes from now. Hello, I'm Jane Greenoff, and I'm stood in the barn here at Pink's Barn in Gloucestershire, England, which is where I live with my husband and I stitch. I, st I think I stitch in my sleep. Um, I've certainly been stitching for over 30 years now. And by stitching, I'm talking about counted cross stitch or counted embroidery in general terms. I also collect old samplers and I've got one to show you here. Now, if this smashing, it was actually stitched in 1796 by a little girl of eight or nine. And it's absolutely charming. So I collect antiques. I love to draw and create antiques for the future and look forward to seeing you all on Sewing Street sometime in the future. Have you heard about all the different ways you can shop on Sewing Street? You can shop on our website, sewingstreet.com, and you can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. Just call 0800 001 4433. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Back by popular demand, introducing the one, the only, Gemporia Festive Ball. 
party with your favourite presenters from Gems TV, Hobby Maker, Jewelry Maker and Sewing Street. We're all together for a night that's going to be the talk of the town. Situated at the fabulous Stratford Manor, close to the world famous Stratford upon Avon. Tickets are just £99 per person, including a welcome drink, a three-course dinner, half a bottle of wine, and music that'll have you dancing all night long. There'll also be a shop at the party, and even a tombola, if you're feeling lucky. Numbers are limited, so order your tickets today to avoid disappointment. Let's make it a night to remember at the Gemporia Festive Ball on Saturday the 25th of November. See you there. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself something fabulous. If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Now, those overlookers were brilliant, weren't they? But if you can, I don't want, right, this, this is me being serious now. I don't want anybody to overstretch themselves because there's nothing worse because we've all been there waking up at four o'clock in the morning in a cold sweat thinking, how am I going to pay? How am I going to pay? I don't want anyone to do that. Don't want anyone to do that. Which is one of the reasons we introduced um, split pay so that you could spread the cost and not worry so much about it. Because the thing is, let's put the graphics in and I'll, and I'll just talk money first of all. So, this is how much this machine is supposed to be. And after today, will be, right? That's the price this machine sells for. We've got a special deal on it now, and it's a nice little deal of the money that comes off there. Five-way split pay, remember? Five-way split pay. So if you buy it tomorrow, you'll pay £1,199, and your split pay will be... £239.80. But last day of the deal... 1,059, which means your split pay will drop down to 210, is it? Something like that. 211. 211 pounds and 80 pence. Right. So 
I'm just saying, you could put £1,059 straight on your credit card. Then what happens tomorrow if you need new tyres? What happens if your boiler breaks down? What happens if your bath leaks or whatever and you suddenly need that cash? What we do, what we do is we offer you split pay. No interest charge. You will never be asked any more money than that. So today you'd pay your £211, whatever, or £210, uh, £11. Um, no interest charge whatsoever. We send it to you straight away after the first payment. We don't wait till you've paid all five instalments. So you'll be you'll, you'll have used this for five months by the time you finish paying for it. Finish paying for it in February. And uh, do you know what? It's just, uh, uh, first of all, overlockers in general. I love, 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 love an overlocker. But this one is absolutely magnificent because it's so easy to thread. But remember, today is the last day of this special deal. Now, you've heard me go on about this over and over and over and over again. I love it. Now, what I will do, first of all, I'll carry on talking about money for the start to start with. Comes with a two-year warranty from Elna. They're delivered from Elna, directly from Elna. They have a brilliant customer service, so that you can ring them at any opening um, office times. But, oh, I forgot where I was going with that then. I was going to go somewhere very special with that. I'll come back to it anyway. Um, oh, wait, isn't that weird? I must be getting old. Where was I going with that? Money. Five. Uh, anyway, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Um, I just think they're the easy... Oh, no, i tell you what I was going to do. I'll tell you what I was going to do. We haven't got any price comparisons because we are the sole distributor of... We're the home of Elna. Wherever it's gone. There's a sign somewhere. There's a sign somewhere. Um, but what I can do, and I'm not dissing any other make, because, uh, like, I'm, I'm an Elna, right? I, I've, all my machines are Elna. Um, and I've got friends who and all their machines are Dukey and everything like that. Uh, Karen, however, in Scotland, she's a mixture of all, look, home of Elna. But um, what I was going to say was, even here, we have two Dukey air threader machines. One is 1,295, and the other is 1,495. So I'm just saying price-wise, if it was £50 different, I wouldn't even mention that. But it's hundreds of pounds different now with, with this money off. And I'm not, I'm absolutely not dissing Dukey at all, because I love the Dukey boys and I love Franklin's and I love everything they stand for and everything. But if you're an Elna girl or an Elna boy, you're an Elna boy, aren't you, sort of thing. So what a way, last day, last day to take this as, as um, this deal. At £1,059, as I say, at midnight. So if you're watching this on YouTube at one minute past midnight, tonight, which is Saturday night into Sunday. Um, yours won't be £1,059. You'll be charged £1,199 for it. Just saying, just saying. Right, so look at the threading, right? So the, you always have to thread from this end, right? But your lower looper and your upper looper are threaded. Oh, hello. Your uh, uh, upper looper and your lower looper are threaded by air, right? Through by air. So what you do is you take your thread up here, through the telescopic, down through here, down through your tension. Then you take it here, and then you see here, you've got a hole here. What you do is you put about an inch and a half, an inch to an inch and a half of thread into that hole there. You turn this lever to the hole that you're threading. So this is your lower looper. Then what you need to do is you see this switch here? That's on sewing at the moment. You click it, right? And you're on to threading. You then lift this lever up. Oh, no, you twist it. Oh, yeah, I've done it, I've done it. So you twist this, the, the clutch around here so that it can't move. And that's aligning all the tubes and the pipes up there, all around, all around here. Then you literally lift this up, push it down. The air is sucked in from the outside here. Push through, 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 through. And that's your lower looper threaded, right? What happens is you'll see the thread just come out here. You get tweezers with the actual um, overlocker. So you pull the thread through to the back just to pull it through to the back here. You don't have to do anything else with it at all. Then what you do is you then take the next one along, the red one, put it through the guide, through the tension, down there. Then you put the, an inch and a half into that hole there. You twist that to that one. You do exactly the same. You lift this lever, push it down again, and it goes whoosh, and you'll see it come out there. Get your tweezers, just pull it through to the back. Then look at this for your needles, right? When you thread your needles, right? So the next one along is your blue one. You take it through the tension guide, then you literally take it across here, over there, down there through the guide, and then you thread your needle. Now, I, you know me, I thread my needle by eye. I don't use a, 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 a needle threader. This has got a needle threader, look. Where is it? Look. For the left and the right needle, it's got a needle threader. So if you're not, I don't know how I, I, I mine must just be muscle memory, because it's def definitely not my eyesight. 
you just thread it through that needle and then you take the next one, the last one, the, go up, round, down, th follow the arrow along there, over the top there, through the guide, through there, thread your needle and you're ready to go straight away. That's it. That's how easy this is to thread. Then what you need to do is you need to turn that back to sewing, which means your, your, your wheel will then, look, you see all the workings will all move now. You close up your machine, you close up your machine, you put your gobbins box on, you twist it round, you get your thread. Now, I don't know if Charlie can see this. Get your thread. Hang on, I'll just need to lift that up to put this on here. All our desks are a little bit high at the moment. Ready? And off we jolly well go. Now, it's all very well saying, oh yes, John, but you're going in a straight line. Let me get to the end of that line. I love overlocking. I just, there's something about it. There, there, now, there is a little cutter on the side there. I never use it. I just take it back round and cut it through the blade. But look, there's a circle here that I've cut out when I did the cir Fisker circle the other day. So let's have a look at which is the best way to do it. You can, you can, you can, but hang on. I have to do it. I've never done a full circle before. Hang on. You must be able to do a circle. Hang on. Lift that up. Oh, there you go. There you go. There you go. Come on, John. Not thinking properly. Pop it in there, pop your foot down. Now, yeah. Right, obviously I'm not gonna go as fast on this, but look. Uh, the, you can pulse it, they call it pulsing it when you go like that. You just pulse your, your foot onto your, I'm not cutting anything off because I don't really want that circle to be any bigger than it is. But look, I'm going round a perfect curve I won't do the whole thing. I'll take it off there so you can just see. Look, I'll put it on the table now. Look, so give that a press and then you've got a perfect curve. So if you're doing armhole curves, got a bit wobbly there, armhole curves or anything like that, you can happily go around curves or anything, anything you want to at all. Now, Jane from Elna, has actually put a quilt top together using an overlocker. I wouldn't necessarily suggest it because you, you, where, where your seams are, it's going to make it a little bit too bulky, isn't it? Comes with a two-year warranty. Uh, comes with a spare blade. Have we got the slides for this? Have we got any slides? Are we, did they all transport over? Here you go. So you get the accessory box, the screwdriver, the tweezers, the needle set, the net, the spool cap, the lint brush, oil tube, spare upper blade, which is fantastic. You shouldn't really have pins anywhere near your overlocker, but if there's one in there and you go over your blade with it, a lot of the time you wreck your blade. Then if you do that, you can't carry on using your machine. Whereas, however, with this one, you can use the spare upper blade, you can swap it straight away. You don't have to ring Elna, say, can I buy a new one? Can you send it to me? You get a needle holder, a loop of thread, a wire, a waist tray, a foot controller, and a dust cover. Uh, now, you must get, doesn't mention, oh yeah, needle set, needle set. Um, you do get the needle set as well. Now, I promised, I did, I said I would look at the needles, didn't I? I haven't done that today, so I'll, I'll try and do that tonight and look at it, but I'll tell you which ones are which. But look at this, you can do four thread programs, overlock, stretch stit, decorative over edging and gathering, three thread overlocking regular and wide, rolled hem, narrow hem, peacock hem, flat lock and pin tuck. And then two thread, you can do flat lock and rolled hem. So all of that, you can do all of that. Like Adele was saying in the last hour, you don't just finish off your edges with it. It will do all of that. It's fantastic. If you've got a piece of chiffon and you want to do a, Christ, you know, like make scarves for Christmas, you literally, you know how roll temp turns it? Well, you know, if you do it on your sewing machine, you then sometimes have to go along and trim it. This trims it as you're doing it. As you're going around your roll temp, it trims it all. So you've never got the, it's just fantastic like that. A uh, message on my bottom. I've had many of those, too, have I? Uh, oh, Elna Overlock, it takes longer to describe how to thread it than it actually does to get it up and running. I love mine. Sheila, you're right. You're right. It does take me longer to tell you, but it's that simple. It's really, really, isn't it, Charlie? Charlie knows this because Charlie can do this one as well. Um, and it is the last day. And I don't, I'm not adding any, I'm not adding any undue pressure at all. I promise you. But, but a cash saving at what was £140, is it? £140 saving. Yep. So £140 saving, right? £140 saving. Uh, so you could use that. I've got some lovely threads coming up and I've got a lovely table thing coming up. You could use that to buy those, couldn't you? Or 
I just, I just, I just think, um, I don't want to, I, 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 what I really want to say to you is just buy it, buy it, buy it, because it's a brilliant price, it's a brilliant machine. But obviously I can't do that. Um, because I don't want to add any undue pressure. Because, But as I say, I don't want you putting yourself in any form of debt or anything like that. So use the, but if you are going to do it, if you don't want to buy it in one go, do it on split pay. Do it on split pay. The other thing is, right, okay, like, for example, right, one, put £1,059 on your credit card. Fine. Then you think, oh, I'm going to pay off £211.80 each month and it'll be fine. At the end of the five months, you'll still owe hundreds of pounds because of interest and everything, right? Ours, you can pay that and you don't know, you, all you pay is that price plus your postage if you, if you haven't already bought something else, right? So if you haven't bought anything else today, the 3 95 will be added to your first payment. But if you already bought, you came in and bought the early bird, you already paid your 3.95, so you don't need to pay another 3.95, even though it's coming from or directly from Elner in Stockport. These are on the shelf waiting to go. So, oh, it's the weekend, so they'll get the email on Monday. You could be using this by Thursday or Friday next week. They're that quick at getting everything out. It is brilliant. It's a lovely thing. Now I can see lots of you. Well, I can't see, but Ben's told me lots of you got it in your basket. Um, please check out. Please check out. Or if you don't do it now, if you need to think about it, that's fine. Uh, it's not like I've, uh, I've got lots. I've got lots of these, so it's, yeah, so it's not like I'm going to say to you, if you don't check out, you're going to miss out. You won't miss out. You won't miss out, but you'll miss out on the deal. So if you need to go away and think about it, have your, it's, what day is it? It's Saturday. Have your Saturday lunch, go shopping, do whatever you've got to do. As long as you do it by midnight, you'll be fine. But anything after midnight goes back up to the, the, the original price, and that's £140 saving. Think what you could do with £140. Whether you spend it with me or whether you spend it on something for the kids for Christmas or something like that, you've saved yourself. Uh, even, even taking the split pay, you save that £140. D do it in one go, you can. If you can do it in one go, then that, that's absolutely fine. Then please do that. But I'm just saying, we've put the split pay in there with no percent interest to help you to spread the cost, especially this time of year and especially with everything that's going on in the world and everything like that. Just spread it across five months and, and, it, and it's, it, you'll hardly know it's going out, will you? £1,059, have a think about it. Right, if you are going to buy an overlocker, whether you buy this one or you buy the um, one that uh, Adele just had, the 664 and the 664 Pro, you need some of these, right? These are overlocking threads. Right, now, uh, it'll look like it's a considered purchase for threads because it's about 79, yeah, 79.99, right? But look how many threads you get. You get four black, four grey, four silver, four cream and eight white. It used to be that you got four white and four ivory, but they've now started putting eight white in there. These are the colours you can use all the time on your overlocker, right? So this is going to last you. Now, the thing is, what you'll find is that the loopers, the two that you thread up first, use more thread than the needles. So what you'll find is those two will start running out quicker than those two. With a machine like this that is so easy to thread up, you just take those two off and you put them there, and you take those two off and you put them there. You can use any thread you like on your overlocker, but these Madeira ones have been specially made, so they've got less lint. So when they're stitching, there's not as much fluff, there's not as much fraying or anything like that. However, do, you can use these to construct on your overlocker. Don't use these to construct on your sewing machine because they work together to create a, a net to create the stitching, right? So that's nice and strong. If you try to put these on your bobbin on your sewing machine, won't be strong enough, wouldn't be strong enough. Um, but if you've got, if you've got uh, um, overlocking you want to see and you want it in red or yellow, or what a lot of people do is they put four different colors on things. You can use your Gutemans, you can use your Aurifils, you can use anything, good quality. Don't use um, some cheap rubbish, not that we, we don't sell any of that, but you know what I mean? It's kind of like, you can use any thread you like. And the fact that when I had my first overlocker, I was terrified about changing the thread because I knew it would go wrong. You can't go wrong with this. The threading is so easy. Right, so if Charlie can do it, anyone can do it. So if, if you want to, right, now you saved 140 pounds. That's 80 pounds, right? That's 80 pounds. You've still saved 60 pounds by getting this and that, right? Now, also, uh, we also have this, right? This is the overlocker mat. Now, you don't, ne you don't have to buy this, right? Because the, the machine has got suckers on the bottom. But if you've got a table that wobbles, if you work on your dining room table or a best table uh, and you don't want it to mark, or if you work at night time when the kids are asleep or the husband's asleep up upstairs, right? This um, absorbs noise. It absorbs uh, um, vibrations and things like that. And it just, and it saves your table because it's, it spreads 
it spreads uh, the, the, the weight of the machine across there, so it's not going to mark there. If you're upstairs sewing, you've got people downstairs, you want them to hear, then you put it on one of these, it'd be brilliant. Uh, that's just an added accessory. But by this, you've still saved yourself £45. If you bought all three, you've still made a saving of £45, Dave. So then do what my mum used to do to my dad. Well, it could have cost me £200. I've saved you 50 quid or whatever. Do you know what I mean? It's like you've saved money, haven't you? And I'm not trying to be glib or whatever, but I just put the machine back in because I just think if you can afford this um, and you want to save £140, today's the day because it's the last day of the deal. It's the last day of the deal, right? So it should be £1,199. That's right, 1,100, yeah, 1,199. You're saving 140 pounds today. And it's on five-way split pay. Right, there's lots in baskets. Check out, check out, check out. I'm gonna move on. Okay, uh, now, something that also sells out every time we bring them to you are these. Right, so hang on, where are we? There, here I am. Am I in the wrong place? Okay, here it comes. Now, you all love your quilters clips. These are your extra long quilters clips, right? Every time these come to air, they sell out. In fact, when we first had them in March, I think, did we? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, they were launched in 2021. Then we didn't get them again till March this year. Oh, last year, hang on, 2022, right? So when did we have them? So then just recently we've had them. They've sold out twice. Oh, it's the first. No. Oh, okay. So I thought we'd had them just recently. Um, so we haven't had these since March 2022. So 18 months ago, 19 months ago. Now, if you don't know what they are. Oh, too late. I've opened it. They're the large uh, clips. I'll show you. These are brilliant if you're doing quilting, if you're putting binding on things. You see a lot of our guests use them as well. So look, they're the extra large, they're the extra large ones. But what I love is you see on the back here, I don't, have to do, I don't know if you can see that. Well, no, you've got, you see the measurements there, quarter inch, half an inch, three quarter of an inch. So you can put them so far from where you need to stitch and then you've got them, them measured on there. So how many did you get for 12.99? Hang on, 20. Get 20 in here. You're not going to do it, are you? No, no, but I, I thought you meant this March. Okay, so now, he's going to get into so much trouble for this. Too late, you've said it now. Right, okay, these are meant to, our price for these is now. Our 2023 price is 12 99 Our 2021 price, he's not supposed to do this, 8 8 pounds and 99 pence. You get 20 of them in there, red, green, purple, blue, and pink. I know, that's not, that's the 2021 price. N March 2021 price, not... This year's price. Have I lost you? Have my batteries gone? Yeah, my batteries have gone on my um, talk back. I thought it'd gone very quiet in the gallery. Keep going through, keep going through. I imagine there's lots of you there. Beautiful. Oh, hang on. I've got, I can see questions coming through, but I need to just plug in here first. Derek said, I was wondering what the different between the two sets of, uh, oh, Derek, I, no, I'm, I'm gonna have to look into that because what it is, is one's flat-backed and one's round. I always thought all overlocking needles were round. I didn't realize some were flat-backed and I need to look into this before I bring them to you because I got a message from somebody last week saying, they bought these after me saying, oh, they fit all overlockers, they don't fit their Elner overlocker. So I need to look into these. And I meant to do it first thing this morning, but it was a bit ha fre hectic, frantic this morning because of one thing and another going on. And I didn't look into it. So I promise I'll do that. I promise I'll do that for you. Uh, the what, sorry? Okay, be careful, be careful, be careful. Loads of these have gone. Uh, it's 100 in baskets, you need to check out. They are gorgeous. 
Um, now, the larger ones, because you, you can get further into the binding. If you're doing a nice wide binding, you can, because the little ones only go to there, don't they? So you can only clip the edge, whereas these, you can clip right in and hold them in there. Um, also, Susie uses these. When, so you know if you cut lots and lots and lots of squares out and you want to keep them all, you just put them all in a clip and hold them in a clip. Load, and they shouldn't be 8 99 They should not be £8.99. He's trying to explain himself in his shift report now about why he's got done that. Shouldn't have gone to eight pounds and ninety nine pence. Got a question? Is the Mac good for sewing machine, or is it just for overlockers loving the show? Right, we have we got the over. Oh no, we haven't got the sewing machine one on today. Well, can we find it? Okay, it depends how big your sewing machine is, right? So that one there. Where's the red Mac gun? <laughs> Leave us put it away. <laughs> You're turning into Michael. What's it? You are. Don't pull a face at me. You try battering me, I'm battering back. This is 40 centimetres by 40 centimetres. If your sewing machine's bigger, we do do a sewing machine version, which is 40 by 60. We're going to see if we can get it for you now. We're... Right, half the stock of the clips gone. There were hundreds of these. Flat, check out, check out. People are going to miss out. People are going to miss out. Right, Ben needs them all to be gone. Then nobody will be able to see what he's done. Yes, I know, but they, it's all very well saying, yes, they sold out at, at 2021's price. We've had to pay, the, we've had to buy these at 2023's price, and he's just sold them at 2021's price. $8.99. Beautiful. Gorgeous. £8.99. I will come back, I will come back, I will come back to them, but I just need to check out. Right, that's just, how many are there left? I left. And how many baskets? Okay, there's 100 packets left, which you think, oh, cracky, that's a lot. 140 in baskets. So 40 people at this point are going to miss out. And when we see it, their name come up, when you see your name come up on the list, right, we don't know how many taking until you check out. And from the what, hundreds that have gone already, people are multi-buying. So like, it might be 100 left and 140 names on the list, but those 140 names, imagine if they all want two packets. Because at 8.99, you definitely want two packets, right? There's not going to be enough to go round at all. There's not enough to go round if you take one each. So if people that are ahead of you in the queue or, or, or already got them in their baskets and they, they take um, and they take two, then that's less chance that you're going to get yours, isn't it? I'll leave it with you for now. I'll just give that to Levi so he can put that away. Um, they will all go. They will all go. In fact, I've opened one, so there's one less. There's one less. So there's 100 left, there's 99 left, because I've got this one open. Oh, right. Who was it asked about the sewing machine, Matt? Rebecca Jane. Right. This is the size for the overlocker. If you want the bigger one, it's 15.99. It's 40 by 60, so it's another 20 centimetres in length. Because I don't think, I don't know if your sewing machine has fit on there. Of course, I'm at the end of the studio with no sewing machines. Don't worry, don't worry, Levi, I don't want a sewing machine. Uh, so that's the longer one there, fifteen ninety nine, fifteen pounds and ninety nine pence. What are you hanging around for now? Hanging around like a bad smell over there. Right. Oh, don't. What's the matter? What do you mean, bless him? He needs to learn. Anyway, moving on. Where are we going next? Comic boards. I've got two sizes now. The other day. Um, we did these the other day. We launched, relaunched them back the other day. Hundreds went. Um, have you got your picture from Anna in Coventry there? This is the big pack of 100. Big pack of 100. Most affordable way of buying it. 14 99 You get 100 in there. Now, they're acid-free because they're made really for putting your comics and paper in their thing, but they're brilliant for wrapping your fabric in them. Hannah said you have to do it with half a metre, but actually I've done them with fat quarters. Look at, look at Anna in Coventry. She is going to do a new picture for us because that was quite a while ago, that picture. And she messaged in because I said to her, oh, I don't know if she's watching. She said, darling, I watch every day. Um, she's going to do me a new picture. She has got a filter thing on the window so the sun doesn't um, fade her fabrics or anything. But she said she's going to send an updated photo as soon as she can. So I think what she said was being redecorated. Were you in, Charlie, when we did it? I think she... Did you what? 
either redecorating or knocking a wall down or something like that. So she can't take the picture yet, but she will do. So you get a hundred of those boards. Now, you must be thinking, oh, hundred, I haven't got a hundred fabrics. Go to your stash. Go to your stash. I bet you any money you've got a hundred fabrics in there. And how easy, because my cupboard is like my big Indian double cupboard like that's in my office, right? And you open the double doors like that, the two top shelves are crammed with fabric, right? And um, you can't see what's in there. And I think, oh, no, I've got something yellow in here. And you end up pulling everything out. This way, if I put mine on these, they'd all be lined up inside the cupboard like that. So I'd be able to see exactly what I've got and the colours I've got and everything. 14 99 for 100 there. This is Hannah. Oh, hang on. I'm going very fast. Doesn't normally go that fast, does it? There you go, there you go, there you go. This is Hannah putting a piece of fabric on her comic board. Hang on, is this the right one? She doesn't talk. You can't. I've not seen this one before. Unless she starts it halfway through. No, no, there wasn't a plain bit of fabric, but she kind of moves. I've never seen this. It's backwards. It was going backwards. That was being played in reverse. That's why we've never seen that one before. It's because we move studios. I blame Hobby Maker. There you go. There you go. Right now, she moves it to the middle. I thought it was weird. It was going double speed backwards. Then she moves it again in a minute. Don't you? There you go. And then she goes, there you go. Moves it again. You don't have to take as long. You can do it much quicker than that. Now you could use your big clip rather than a pin. Anyway, 14 99 for 100. Now you might be thinking, I don't need 100, John. You will. You will. But we've got 25. Package 25 here as well. Now, obviously, the pack of 100 will arrive like that. This is how your pack of 25 will arrive in a bag because we've obviously opened it and separated them. Test the waters. However, saying that, saying that, right, we, um, we get these, they sell out. I mean, we bought hundreds and hundreds and hundreds this time. And it takes us forever to get them back in again. Three ninety nine. Three ninety nine. Keep going through. Twenty five of them. Twenty five you get of these. Thank you. Loads in baskets. Check out, check out, check out. I've got loads to show you still. Yeah. Add it to your order. Add it to your order because you don't pay any more PMP. I'm not letting anything go to that side of the desk. You're not getting it, Levi. Right. I'm just going to go back to the clips because I need to see how many people are going to miss out now. FQE139. Now, these are meant to be 12 99 there are 70 left, 134 in baskets now. Check out, check out, check out, check out, check out. Before I move on, uh, are we able to get a shot of the overlocker? I know I'm making them work for their money today, aren't I? You see, my screen here has still got comic boards on it. So that screen there is no good for me, is it? Because it doesn't catch up. The big, you know the big screen with the red writing on it over there? Here's the overlocker. Let's just put the graphics in. This is meant to be £1,199. Right, there are nine in baskets. Nine in baskets. Make sure you check out, check out, check out. £1,059. £140 off. Five-way split pay. Interest-free. £211 a month. I'm, I, 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 listen, I can't tell you how to spend your money. I can't tell you what to do. But I, there's so many people. Well, I told you, eight, nine people got it in your basket. Make sure you check out. Make sure you check out on those. Right, where am I going next then? Kai replacement blades. These are made out of um, Samurai Warriors blades. These are this metal. It's from Japan. Five ninety nine. They're brilliant. They're absolutely brilliant. Now, you must check that they fit you because these are the ones with the double thing in the middle there, not the three things. So you must check that they fit your um, rotary cutter. Obviously, they'll fit Kai ones. They normally write on the back whatever, which are the ones they, they do. But look, it's tungsten steel, 45 millimeter. Hey, who's producing today? 
Okay, so she should send it through. Five ninety nine. That's just one replacement blade there for five ninety nine. Beautiful, top quality, top quality. Which book? I've got five or six books here. Adaku, or do you mean Elisa Lex? Elisa Lex is made to measure book. Now, what day did I launch this? 13th of October, Friday the 13th, last Friday. Uh, loads of these went, she's adorable. She's absolutely gorgeous, right? And um, I had been told, on that day, we had lovely Sophie in doing cross-stitch at 8 o'clock. We had Elisa Lex in at 10 o'clock doing this. And I'd been told in an email, both of your guests today are pregnant, they might need a chair, blah, 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 blah. Didn't read it properly, did I? So halfway through the show with Elise Lex, she goes, oh, this is that dress. And she steps away from the table. I went, oh, like that pointed at her tummy, poor girl. She'd never been on telly or anything before. Anyway, what it is, is this is a made-to-measure ED guide to drafting and sewing a custom wardrobe. So not only at the front here does it have all of a, This is brilliant if you're a beginner or if you're like me and you've done things for years and years and years and you suddenly go, oh, how do I do that again? How do I do this? It, they, it has all sewing stretchy seams, easing seams, uh, pressing seams, clipping and notching, uh, facings, top stitching. So the first part of the book is all about um, uh, different techniques. Then, of course, you've got uh, putting your zipper in. Then we move on to rulos there. We were talking about those earlier, weren't we? Then we move on to the circle skirt primer. So what you do is you make this as your basic pattern, then you can adapt it. You can create hacks. So that's to make your full circle skirt there. Tells you how to do it, how to draft a pattern, how to... So you basically, it tells you exactly... Got it here. Uh, drafting and fitting and customising. So really important. She showed you how to do your measurements. Get a friend to do them with you if you can. Length measurements and round. This is really important. A lot of people don't do this. You're making trousers. Really, really important, right? But also, what was she talking about? She called, talked about a crotch sausage or something like that, didn't she? And what you do, I'd never heard of it in all the years, but it's just that you get some tin foil and you scrunch it up and you, because you need to get the shape. Because some people have got fatter tummy, fatter bottom, flatter tummy, fat, flatter bottom. It gets your exact shape of your crotch, uh, crotch curve, right? So you can adapt your patterns to, to do it. It's brilliant. Then you do uh, mapping your shoulders and things. But then what happens later, common issues, how to fix them and everything. But then you go later in the book and there's actually projects, right? So there's draft it yourself projects here. You've got a wedding guest dress. Now, there's no size on this because you're making it to your measurements, right? One sewing machine, simple. Tells you how to get your paper folded in half, which measurements to put where. Create your own dress there. It doesn't matter what shape, how tall you are, how short you are. Skinny or voluptuous, it really doesn't matter because you can make the patterns to fit, fit, to fit you, right? Then you've also got, oh, this is still the same. You see how many pages? It goes on and on. There we go. Classic a sheath a skirt. Again, any size tells you how to do it, how to cut it out, how to sew it together, how to customise it. Look, so you can do a little frilly one. You can do one with a, I don't know what you'd call that bottom there, fluted, and then the lovely button detailing. Then this was the dress she was wearing. Well, not in this colour. She'd made herself a green one because she was pregnant. That was on the, um, that was on the mannequin, if you remember. Um, it's just, and look, placement of fabrics, that's not, that stripe there isn't part of the pattern. That was just a, a pattern on the fabric. But you could do it plain. You could do block colours. Or like she, like Elisa Lex had done, she wore, done it all in the same colour. Make it with an added, added frill, fluted skirt, different necklines. There's so many things you can do. Then we've got the faux cute jumpsuit. Now, it's, it's a two-piece. It's in two pieces. It's not, a, it's not a jumpsuit at all. So it's a faux jumpsuit and it's cute. Not, it's not faux cute. It's faux jumpsuit that's cute. Beautiful. Uh, sweet, sheared top and dress. Again, any size, any shape you are, you could make this to fit you. At £21.99. Uh, now, I'm missing to remember they are signed as well. They are signed. Now, I've not got many of those left, so be careful. Be careful with that one. Oh, okay. We're going to do clapper. Okay, so now this isn't necessarily for dressmaking. This is for when you want to crease or... 
a, you've got a wool seam or you've got a denim seam or you've got a heavy seam that is, those dress in there you make with light fabric, you press them like you saw Adele. So you'd be better off with your ham or your sausage. This one here is fantastic if you've got denim that you want to fold or wool. Tailors use these an awful lot. What it is, it's a wooden block like this and that's made with a, a close grain wood. And what you do is you steam your fabric, and loads and loads of steam going, and you whack that on the top. It, what it does is it soaks up the moisture but keeps the heat in. So you can create the most beautiful seams, you can create the most beautiful hems using heavy wet. I, when, when we used to have the really heavy denim, I would show that four layers of that. Steam it, press it that, and you've got the sharpest, crispest hem or seam or anything like that. You can also use the top here when you're doing collars and the, the, the edge of collars or little seams and things. You can use all of it all the way around. Now, the one I've got of these cost over 50 pounds, right? I don't know how this is only 19.99. It's made of beechwood, I think, this one. Yeah, beechwood. Mine was made, mine was made with, um, maybe it was the wood. Mine was made with a different wood. Anyway, 19 .99. They are brilliant. They are brilliant. Uh, and and um, uh, tailors, people who do a lot of tailoring use these. So Dulcie will have one of these because she, when we were at college, she concentrated a, a lot on the men's tailoring side. All right, now, lots of people asking what the early birds was. Have I got it? Yes, here it is. Beautiful. These Now, these are needle minders, but you can use them for so many other things, right? So, you get five. You get all five of these. And it's not $19.99. They go to $12.99. There you go. Right, so you get all five. So you get the cupcake, the sewing machine, the strawberry, the cat, and the rainbow. Now, uh, they've got a little loop on the top, so if you wanted to, you could put a ribbon through them. Or you can put them on your work, you know, like if you've got it on... Well, first of all, you can just keep it on your desk and throw, throw your needles at it. But if you're doing cross-stitch or embroidery or something like that, you literally just put it up there, and then as you park a needle, you can just park them on there. But don't do this if you've got a pacemaker or a... What's the defibrillator? Defibrillator. Yeah, we've got one in our village. But look, you can wear it as a little uh, lapel pin. Or a dress on your dress or something like that, look. Oh, look, that's very apt because I've got the, um, charity awareness and the NHS all in one. But also, what I also said was fridge magnets. If you've got, like I've got on my fridge, I can't do I haven't got the metal here. Um, you can put a little post-it notes up for yourself on the fridge. And my fridge is right, is right by my back door, right? So I literally walk out and go, oh, remember to do that. Or you know, if I need to remember to bring something to work with me. Put that up there. Twelve ninety nine. Uh, now that we had hundreds of these, absolutely hundreds of them. Not anymore. Brilliant. Okay, so clips. Just recapping for you. Ben needs these to be gone. Eight ninety nine. Now they're meant to be twelve ninety nine. The twenty twenty three price is twelve ninety nine. There are forty left, and a hundred and forty six in baskets. Check out, check out, check out quickly, quickly, quickly. I'll be leaving in fifteen minutes' time. I'm not going anywhere. Right, Joe, let's have a quick check on the overlocker because so, well, there were nine people had it sitting in their basket last time I was there. Just have a look at the overlocker there. It's gorgeous. It's the 864 Air Threader. It's so easy to thread. I can't tell you. You will love it. Just go and look at our FIFUs on our website, right? Oh, there's now 10 in baskets. There's now 10 in baskets. Uh, lots have checked out as well, but there's still 10, 10 hanging around in baskets. It's one th Now, at midnight tonight, it'll go back up to £1,199. Uh, there'll, there'll still be five-way split pie on it, but your five-way split pie will be more than... Uh, oh, it, does, it normally comes up on my screen. Oh, no, I've still got sewing clips on my screen. That's really delayed, that one, isn't it? Uh, how much was it? £211.80. Yeah, £211.80. Um, it's an air threader, so your lower looper and your upper looper are threaded by air, which makes it, well, you saw, really, really, really quick. And, uh, and the overlocking, the standard, it's not just about the threading up, though. The standard or the quality of the actual stitches are fantastic. 
I've got this one, and I wouldn't tell you, I wouldn't tell you any different. Hang on, message on my bottom. The best machine ever, says Leslie and Charles in Tyne and Weir. Well, you're all right up there because it's really bad, the weather up there, isn't it? It's Derbyshire bad, so, oh, no. It was bad. You see, I put on my Facebook, uh, my Facebook when I got, no, on, fam on our family WhatsApp, when I got home, I said, well, be careful, everybody. And then Julie put a picture of, like, a road near them, and she, she's got a great big Range Rover, and she couldn't get across it because of the water. And it's all brown, isn't it? Why is the water all brown? Why is the water all brown? Because it's come through the mud, I suppose, isn't it? Anyway, check out, check out, check out on your uh, overlocker there. The ground is too saturated, yeah? I was a bit worried this morning because the bridge, normally when it floods, the bridge by the four alls, right? Well, I was home. I got home all right because it hadn't been raining that heavily. But when I came through Stratford, there's the river where the old folks' home is has completely burst its banks. Then the one coming up through uh, Camden Road, that burst its banks. I was like, I'm dread... And, and I was on... When I come to work, I come the other way, and there's a little bridge by the four walls there, and that always floods. You only have to have a tiny bit of rain, and it floods. And I was really, really panicking this morning as I set off, thinking, am I going to get over the bridge? You know what I mean? Anyway, luckily, was the water is, like, just literally lapping. So the bridge is this high. The water was lapping over the side of the bridge there. So, like, the bridge was level with the water level, like that. It's that high. Uh, no, they're not yet. They're not yet any moment the homes, the, the, the mobile homes that are there will all raise up because they're all, all the new ones are all on um, hydraulics, so they'll raise up in the flood. 12 overlockers in baskets. Make sure you check out, make sure you check out, make sure you check out. I want you to get one. If you really, really want one, please, please, please check out. Today's the day to get them because remember, after today, they go back up to one. For, it, it, for, if you don't want to save, but listen, there's no pressure. If you don't want to save £140, it's absolutely fine. Buy it tomorrow or next week or the week after or nearer Christmas or whatever. Because that they'll, they'll be, and for the foreseeable future, they'll be £1,199. Just thinking, £140, what would you do with it? Because you're saving it. It's not like we're giving you £140 worth of gifts that you might never, ever use. We're literally taking £140 cash off that price tag. I know. I know. Please check out if you want it. Right, where am I going next then? We should do a Daku's book because that was on yesterday, wasn't it? A Daku was in yesterday. It's our brand. Now, world exclusive. World exclusive. You can't buy this anywhere else, right? You can buy it on the Long River pre order. You can buy it from a very famous high street stationery store pre order. Um, it's meant to be $16.99. That's you, Ben. What did you not see from yesterday? Oh, hang on. How much did you sell for yesterday? Yeah, exactly. Sometimes it's just as well I'm here, isn't it, Levi? Well, no, but surely it's on the figures underneath. Did it not show you on the show history? Oh, okay. Anyway, look. So, it should be $16.99. It's $13.99. Oh, now I'm hoping that wasn't just for the day. Oh, that might be my mistake, that. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, mm, it might have just been for the day the Daku was here. But anyway, it's too late now. I've done it now. $13.99. So, you can buy it elsewhere, but they, won't be, they can't send theirs out yet because it's on pre-order. Ours are ready to go. Theirs won't be signed. Hi, John. I've got the air threading overlock and game changer. Lots of Amanda in Swansea. Amanda, tell all the people they've got it in their basket. Oh, she did. It's just, it's just a brilliant machine. I, you know me. I can't tell a lie. If there's something I don't really like, I go, oh, I've got the, oh, I won't do that because I like those. Oh, I've got this book. Oh, yeah, move on. I, d I don't go on and on and on about it like I have done today. Or I always go on about it. Who knew a machine could thread itself? It's so easy. I can't tell you. Absolute uh, brilliant. Oh, is she wandering? Oh, she's early today. Becky, she didn't arrive till... No drinks in the studio. Get it outside now. Take it outside now. Oh, she brings that gin and tonic in with her every day. You know the little tinnies you get of gin and tonic? She's got a few of them in her bag. Anyway, if you buy it from elsewhere, it won't be signed. It has actually got yesterday's date on it. Doesn't matter, because that's when she was here doing it. Right, now, the garments, they go from naught to five years old. So they're the clothes, but they've also got, I'll show you, right? I'll show you here. So you've got accessories, 
homewares and clothes. You've got patterns for all of these in here. From Now, some of them go from 0 to 5, some of them go, are adaptable to 7, but on the whole, let's just say, so like the Olivia bib obviously is a one size, but let's find the little boy's t-shirt or little, hang on, where is it? Hang on, there we go. Clothes, there we go. So you've got your lovely uh, bloomers, your little Sydney shorts. Uh, that's the hus her husband's called Sydney, by the way. That's named after her husband there. Adora is her daughter. So these are all using her wax cottons. Sterling was the son. And what was the other son? Zachary. Zachary, there you go. Beautiful look. Romper. It was on yesterday. It was on yesterday. So go and have a look. We've got some of these fabrics still in stock as well. If you like African wax fabric, some of the fabrics are still in stock on the website. Beautiful, aren't they? $13.99. It'll have been one of the ones that... $13.99. Uh, friends in my hometown lost their production of Priscilla Queen of the Desert being forced to close after their opening night due to the storm Babette was meant to be going to their matinee today oh I wonder why they've called it storm Babette or Babet is it I don't know anyway I hope you're staying safe I hope you're staying safe uh, so that's a dark who's book there Friction Le Friction Pens Ten ninety nine. Now, 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 now. I'm going to do a. Sorry, Liv, I can't reach that far. No, no, no. It's these pens, but they're on the other day. Thank you. No, no. Look, 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 look. So I should read. I haven't got an iron switched on, so I can't show you the work. But the, uh, no, you can. So if you buy two packets, look, you can put them together like this, and you've got a little stand here, which means they can stand up. But what I was going to say was, if you buy this from us. Price comparison, that's four pounds on its own. So you can come onto our website and you can, wait, well, it's 3.99. You can buy a friction pen for 3.99. There it is, look, I'm not lying. There it is, 3.99. So how, how, that just comes like that, right? How can this be four pens, black, blue, green, and red, with a carry case that turns into a little stand on your, on your table, be 10.99, that should be at least 16 pounds, shouldn't it? And now the way they work is you are, you, uh, you, uh, you, oh, hang on. There you go, there you go. They've got the thing there, the, the clippy thing there. You write on your fabric, you mark your fabric up, press it or use a hairdryer, it disappears. Uh, you can use it to write on paper as well and use the rubber at the top there to the friction, friction. Don't use it for legal documents or anything like that. Don't do it if you're going to put it through one of those, um, what's that thing, plastic, where you plasticize something. Laminate, laminate, laminate. Anything with heat, don't do that. Don't write an on address on an envelope and leave it on the windowsill. Yeah, Hannah, uh, Hannah wrote Laura's birthday card in friction pen. When well, she just ironed it, not when. Now, the other thing, ha the other thing Hannah does, right, is she knows she's just finished her MA, got distinction, highest mark you could possibly get. Well done, Hannah. Um, she uses the friction pen to mark up her references in her book, right? Then she goes through all the library books afterwards and irons them and all the marks disappear. So it goes back to the library and nobody would know any different. So the, the highlighter ones are really good. So I haven't got them today, but the highlighter ones are good for that. We've got them on Thursday. Got them in Thursday on the tools hour. Right, I've got a magic scene wand here that Susie Duncan adores from the June Taylor range. Oh, I can't get it out. Come on. There you go. Right, it looks like a wooden wedge. Well, that's all it is. What's that for? Oh, you're itching stuff. Sorry, I thought you were going like this. Get off. Thirteen ninety nine. Warm it up. You know, Stuart uses his, his thumbnail when he when he sews a, a seam. He uses his thumbnail. It turns out. Use this. Don't want to use your thumbnail. Use this. You can also use this. Uh, keep this against your not touching your iron. But if you've got the Eliso iron, it's on its up one. You just slide that underneath, and it warms it up, and then you can use it as a press to do like thirteen ninety nine. One last recap of each of these. Right, so we've got the clips first, because these are going to sell out. We need them to sell out. $8.99, they're meant to be $12.99. They're the big clips, look. 2021 price. Oh, no. 
Anyway, 8.99, you'll, you'll get in trouble for that. How many in baskets? How many left? 157 in baskets. 30 left. Yes, so, so Hannah got, as I said earlier, she's got a distinction, highest mark you could possibly get. Right, so that's that one, that's that one. And the air threader overlocker. Now, I'm a bit worried because so many people have got it in baskets. Some of you are checking out, some of you aren't. You're saving £140. Right, there are now 13 people with it in their baskets. Please check out. If you want it, if you want to save... Uh, look, I, I, as I said, I can't tell you how to spend your money and I don't want anyone to put themselves in any form of financial whatever. But we have split pay with 0% interest. We've just taken £140 off the price. It's the last day of the deal today. Last day of the deal. So at midnight tonight, it goes back up to £1,199. Right, would you like to see tomorrow's menu? Fab, it's me tomorrow with Rachel, producer Rachel, Rachel's from Dudley. Uh, fabulous Fabrics at 8 o'clock. Winter Botanical Quilts with Amanda Little at 9. We love William Morris at 10. Christmas window wall hanging. That's very unusual, the window wall hanging. Oh, it's very unusual. Then uh, Levi's got a lot of sorting out to do. 12 o'clock, Miss It, Miss Out quilts are all upstairs waiting to come down. Uh, he might, he'll do it in the morning knowing him. Right, would you like to have a look at Hobby Maker's um, menu? Oh, They've never sent it. Do you know what you've got? Linda Chapman. Oh, well, we know it's Linda Chapman because she's been in here now making loads of noise, hasn't she? <laughs> Linda Chapman, first of all, what does she do? Uh, Card Emporium. Card Emporium. Tilly Victor. Who? Tilly Victor. Tilly Victor. He's a lovely man. <laughs> uh, who else? Uh, LM uh, Craft Design. LM Craft Design. Oh, there's loads. Uh, yes. Then you go home. Someone else takes Zena comes in then. Oh, no. Zena's been in there this morning. Yeah. Oh, she's on tonight. Oh, what's wrong with that girl? She can't, she's got no home to go to. Anyway, I've got to go because they're waiting to come on. Uh, check out your baskets. Please, please, please check out your baskets, uh, especially on the clips because Ben's going to get told off for taking them down to 2021's price. Right, we've just discovered that we have had them since then and they went at 12 99 so there's no way they should have gone to 8 99 So you'll be in a lot of trouble doing that. And if you do want the air thread, remember by midnight tonight, the price will go back up. I'll see you tomorrow morning. It'll be a fun show tomorrow because we've got Rachel from Dudley, who is Hannah's, uh, not Hannah's, Hayley's best friend from school. She's worked, she worked with us at Rocks and Co. She's worked on Gems as a, a producer and she now sits up there doing buying now. Well, she says she sits there gossiping all day. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Go nowhere because Dave's up next uh, with Hobbymaker.